Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. We are back with more Final Fantasy VIII today. And other than the fact that I tried every single guide I could find online to try and get random rule abolished and nothing fucking works, I'm in a fantastic mood. <laughs> I, I really did try every guide I could find online. And a lot of them agreed about like very specific things you could do to very easily get rid of the random rule and how it was super easy if you go to certain locations. I tried five different things, all of which were confirmed by multiple users to work. Fuck it. We're done with triple try. <laughs> I even then made a separate save slate and literally card modded every card that I don't use. There are some of them you can't get rid of because you need like five to ten of them just to make one item. Yeah, I I gave up. Because <laughs> even then, after I tried challenging the old man after getting rid of every card that I couldn't use, I still had a few shitty cards and it was just impossible. With the random rule, you just can't get anything defensive. You just fucking fail every time. With that said, we're basically done with triple triad in this run <laughs> because of that. But with everything else, things are going good. Um, I just got the go-ahead that enshrouding's ready to go, so I'm going to actually put up the premiere video for that tonight set that up nice and early so it's ready to go um if you didn't see i dropped the silhouette for the archivist yesterday on twitter um feel free to share any predictions for what you think the outfit's gonna look like on twitter and yeah everything's going ahead with archivist debut it looks like everything's gonna be at the right time so that's all good <laughs> there was so much good news this morning after a really really aggravating night but with that said it also unjunctioned all my gfs the last time it threw people out of my party so i have to do all of this again so sorry but i have to find the big number <laughs> this is gonna take just a little bit god damn it but good morning everybody how are you guys doing hope you're all having a wonderful day 39 not bad at all 51 is way better though Magic, 33. 44, let's go. Oh, 54. Oh, they're all 54. That works too. <laughs> Dilf, 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 Dilf. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Just got home from work, so I couldn't be better. Hell yeah, Kameen. Oh yeah, this is the absorb one. Life will be good for that. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if I can get some absorption. No, I'm using my other things. Oh well. Super strong against ice magic, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Do I want some of an item? Yes, but also card. Just boost her health. Yeah, fuck it. 6,000 health. <laughs> I also found out I had not equipped Finarnar to anyone for a long while. Or changed her learning options, so that was a thing. <laughs> Auto potion? Use recovery items automatically when hit? That's kind of crazy. Support magic refine? Oh, hell yeah. Start with that. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, Do, 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 do. But yeah, sorry that I'm having to do this straight away. You stopped at Fisherman's, right? Yeah, I did. I stopped when I went insane because I tried so hard to abolish all the rules here and it just did not work. <laughs> so now we're just working with what we can work with. Bum, 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 bum. I'm surprised. Oh, there's only 15 full lives. No wonder. It's like, why is his health so low even with full life? That should be a big one. 52, 53, 65... Yeah, 65 sounds good. Um, vitality should be ref well, no, protect. Spirit should be shell. Magic I don't know. 27, 31, 32. Oh, 47. Okay. Sure. Bum, bum. Oh, this is his element. I guess Fireaga. Fuck it. <laughs> no, that's probably going to fuck us up later. Oh, well. It is what it is. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. 
got someone with the items already, so we don't need that. Jesus, Zhao is just a tank at this point. <laughs> okay. Well, today, the plan is to first start off by hopefully getting a new girlfriend. There's a new girlfriend we can get if we go to a secret area. The recap done yet? No, I haven't actually done the recap. I mean, <laughs> last time, essentially. Ooh, Zhao still had some space for some regions. Last time, essentially, we came to Fisherman's Horizon. We crashed. Uh, we had a little civil war in our garden, but we dealt with that. Um, came here. There's a bunch of pacifists here who didn't want to have anything to do with the war. They wanted rid of us, but we got attacked by Galbadian soldiers. But now we've reunited the party and we're essentially just leaving. They want us to go to Balaam because we just want to see what's going on with Balaam. Maybe check in on Zell's mom and see if they're being invaded since, yeah, Adea seems to be invading everyone for the chance of finding Elune. Would you rename Quetzalcoatl and Shiva if given the chance? Quetzalcoatl, probably Enna. Um, Shiva, I don't know. <laughs> Genuinely don't know. I see. No clue. No clue. Hey, girlfriends? Yeah, we're going to get a new girlfriend. Only one, though. You can technically get two now, but if you get one early here, it kind of ruins some other stuff later on. Roger. Yep, that's my party. Okay. Why can't I move the camera? Oh, it's fixed to where I am. So we have to go to Centra. I believe is down south. Oh god, how do I get around this? Um. <laughs> Why is there just a giant stupid road? Oh god. Oh, good for them. They've connected. They've connected their continents. So proud of them, but it's in my damn way. Oh, God. Can I not even get it? I, do I have to go around the entire fucking continent? I guess so. Maybe you can't even get them right now. We'll find out. Um, um, Quetzalcoatl is a burb. Hell yeah, they are. Which place are you looking for again? I'm going to the Centra content to go to the Centra ruins to get a girlfriend. Maybe Petra because ice to penguins? Mm, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, it feels weird calling Shiva Petra, though. <laughs> How dare they build bridges? Exactly. How dare they do something useful for themselves? Get slightly in my way. Now I have to go around an entire fucking continent, which, wow, actually. This was like a real time kind of thing. Going around a whole continent would drive me insane. <laughs> I think it's one of these ones. But I don't actually remember which one. <laughs> it's one of these floating islands down. Floating. One of these islands down here. Well, there's a beach here, so screw it. Why not? Bum, 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 bum. Let me open the world map. Maybe I'll be able to remember it. Oh my god, I forgot to shut that up again. There we go. Uh, um, um. Oh, it isn't one of these ones, is it? It might be down here, actually. Shit. Yeah, no, I'm wrong. It's down there. <laughs> Fuck. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you can just drive right off the edge of those? That's annoying. Bum, bum, bum. I find a beach to get on, but you can just drive right off of them otherwise. What the hell? How do I get onto this island? There is no beach for me to board at. Shiva is Millie because she's sexy. <laughs> Don't lie to yourself. Come on now. <laughs> you know the truth. Ah, Cactuar Island. Look at him go. We can't get there just yet. We need something else to get there. The tiny bit of beach you can get up here. Ah, God. Only you could do a little jump. Why, game? Why would you tease me? The idea of this tiny beach you can't actually use to get anywhere. Man, that's so mean. I'm not wrong, right? You can get to Centra right now. I think you're supposed to be able to. Now I'm starting to lose faith. Brain is coping. <laughs> I mean, Mildred would be very happy to hear that. So, you know what? At least you're helping her. Jeeva Millie going to be singing Toxic with Diamond Dust? <laughs> And get there, but only with the beach. Yeah, I can't find the right beach to actually get on this stupid continent. Ah. This must be it. Ooh, that area is creepy. 
That's definitely not Central Ruins. I don't remember what that is. But we're finally on the continent. <laughs> so now we just have to find our way along. Oh. God, they make this so difficult. Seriously? You can't go from this way either? What the shit? What if I get off of my ship? Can I get through this tiny little area? Find out. We're supposed to be flying? Yeah. We basically um have a moving ship now. <laughs> it's weird. We can cope for giant. Millie is sexy, if you guys say so. As long as you believe, that's all that matters. Do, 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 do. I have no idea how strong the monsters are going to be here, too. Let's save real quick, just in case we get party wiped immediately. Bum, bum. I just been a passenger on the ship. The damn captain smacking all the walls on the way. Yeah, just crashing again and again and again. You can get through here. Okay. The central ruins are somewhere around here. That thing looks terrifying. Oh, he charged himself. That's creepy. Why did we do double damage to him? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Why question something if it works for you? Um, I think it's up this way. It'd be real funny if I'm going in the completely wrong direction. <laughs> Either of you want to get a damn G fucking limit break? Thank you. Took forever. Not the super arm. What is that? It looks like one of the bugs from... Not Space Invaders. What's that super propaganda film that I love? Starship Troopers. Yeah, it looks like one of the Starship Trooper bugs. Anything draw-worthy? I don't know. We're on a mission right now. <laughs> we'll deal with these guys when we actually have time. That one had a lot of health, though. God damn. Yeah, I think it's somewhere out here. Eh. I might be completely wrong after all. <laughs> Used to love Starship. Oh, Captuars! That's terrifying. Okay, they ran away. We'll beat the shit out of this worm, then. Cactuars? Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't think you could find them here. What I need is Tomberries. Didn't know you could just walk here already? Yeah... I thought you could, but man, they made it hard. Yeah, they got away. That's fine. I don't want them anyway. They're boring. Oof. There we go. Rhinoa's beefy as shit now. They're really good for AP farming. Yeah, and for a couple of other things in the future. When you actually want to use them, they're very useful. <laughs> Ifrit just learned a thing. Oh, he's pretty much out of things to learn. Okay. Um, sure, go with your summon magic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is here. But I cannot see it. Which is confusing the shit out of me. Am I going insane? I might be going insane. I'm pretty sure there's a way to turn off encounters as well, but I don't remember how. Oh, for fuck's sake, Zell. And Zell's dead. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. Worst thing is getting to the central ruins isn't even the hardest part. Lucky score always hits them. Yeah. I mean, it's 255% hit chance. 
Okay, do some life. Followed up by a lot of cure. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? I'm actually going to Google this real quick. <laughs> Travel to the central continent south of Unrock? Huh? It is supposed to be on the map. What the shit? It's not like a hidden location. Hmm. Am I going crazy? I was in the right place before. What? Ah, oh, man. I missed thought. I fucked up. We're on the wrong continent after. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, uh, shit. It was the one to the left. <laughs> fuck. It's been a while since I played this game. Oh, man. Okay. We have to go all the way back to our ship. Probably means more fights along the way. Niji lost for real. Hell yeah. Let's try to actually kill one of the. And he's gone. <laughs> fuck you, Cactuar. <sighs> Good luck not to die. I'll be fine. Tomberries don't scare me. Much. Where the fuck did I leave my ship? <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Now we've got a problem. I guess while we're here, we might as well see if we can draw anything useful. Nah. Under magic. Oh, and that one died fast. Love the return gag of the Cactuar running away. It's so torturous, man. It's so torturous. I really wish you could actually look. I don't want either of these things. There, no battles. Fuck it. I'm using my hacks. Why have a GF to do that? When you can just turn it off whenever you feel like. Okay. Wrong continent. Let's get the fuck out of here. But somewhere here, actually. I was right the first time and I did a dumb. Now the question is, where is it on this stupid continent? Looks so barren and uninviting. Uh, there it is. Okay. Okay. We're in the right place. Finally. Really wish there was an easier way to exit the ship as well. No counters is good when you're stuck on a puzzle. Yeah. I mean, we won't have a puzzle for this one, though. I'm not going to do the other one that we could technically do here. I'm just going to do the Tomberry. First, we're going to heal Squall. Then we're going to save, because this might go horribly wrong. <laughs> Tomberries are not fun enemies, is all I will say. Okay, come out. Fuck. Ooh, pretty. Nah, not worth it. Wait, which one of you has card? Right, Noah? Damn. Nice! Free GLI card. They're cute, though. Yeah, until they pull out the knives, then it becomes a problem. Okay, here's where I want to be. You'll notice the timer. We don't need to worry about that. Back attack. That's not great. <laughs> it is definitely suboptimum. See how tough these guys are. Uh oh. He's advancing on me. And he's got a knife, but don't worry. I grew up in London. I'm used to people having knives. Uh oh. He's getting real close. <laughs> oh, shit. How much health do you have, sir? Maybe I need to look up a guide for dealing with Tomberries. Jesus, I have to kill like 20 of these, too. For the love of God, no. Ah, yep, he's dead. Oh, it's only Chef's Knife. He could survive. Yeah, one more of those. Okay, we ain't in time for Renzi Kukin yet. Now we are. 
Oh, dear God. School's about to die. <laughs> oh, finally. Okay, he barely survived. <laughs> the slow little waddle? Yeah, but it's a terrifying waddle. Especially since he just slowly approaches you. And then when he finally gets to you, it's just like, oh, we're going to die. Bum, 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 bum. And we have 20 minutes to do this. Oof. I should heal score just a tiny bit. Keep his ability to do Renza Kukin, though. Come at me, Tom Berries. One down. Yep. 14 to go minimum. Come on. Give me Renza Kukin. Come on. Oh, for fuck! I hate this game sometimes. Give me Renza Kukin! I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna go insane. This is probably the best way to deal with this, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, not everyone's grudge. Ah! It's because the audio is so delayed on. Fuck! Audio comes after the normal. Fuck me! Fuck it. Just kill him. This is not going well. Should have kept your HP even lower. Yeah. I mean, I guess it takes him a while to actually get near me. The sad thing is one stab is going to kill me right now, too. I don't have the opportunity to take three stabs. <laughs> ah, he coming. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, okay. What I'm actually going to do is heal Squall for one more. <laughs> so that he can, like, take one stab and then continue renzaku -king. Oh, Jesus. These Tomberries suck. Two down. 13 to go. Yeah, I didn't think you'd have the ability. <sighs> well, Squall's dead. Our strongest fighter. That's actually a problem. Um, she can't even use magic. Yeah, get him, Angelo. I mean, doggo three. You okay? It looked like it hurt. Nah, it's oh fuck. Accidentally used full life again. <laughs> There we go. Those who don't know, everyone's garage is related to the amount of damage a character has dealt during the game to enemies. Yeah. Which means pretty much if he uses that on school, I'm fucked. Yeah, yeah. Do your little chef's knife. Get a crit hit every now and then. Oh, he fell over. How cute. He fell over again. <laughs> okay, you know what? He has his adorable moments. Still don't like the knife, though. The worst thing is dealing with the knife is the easy part. Oh, Jesus. Why is he now going off to school? I mean, fucking Zell. Oh, this is the first time we've ever gotten the longer thing as well. I forgot they could fall over. Me too. <laughs> A booyah! It's just all booyah and punch rush. Saves the most time, baby. I do kind of wish it went faster, though. <laughs> Oh, God. This takes a lot of time, but it does a lot of damage by the end of it. I, I input things wrong. Whoops. That's fine. He died. 
Was that only our third? Jesus. Ah. Oh, Mary, knife to meet ya. <laughs> God damn it. It's the time that you use his limit break goes up the longer it's been since you used it. Oof. I didn't know that's how it worked. There you go, Zell. To him who doth vanquish me. Shut up, dude. I'm not even here for you. I've got my own shit to do. Talking all biblically to me. Actually, yeah. Just spam attacks for now. Not score, not score, not score. Okay. He can survive that. Could make the combo and finish it faster. Which combo? really kind of wish you could set a HP amount. <laughs> like if I could have scored at exactly 1400. Just so he doesn't die from one stab, but can render Kukin from the beginning. That would be optimum. Oh, he fell over. Poor little guy. And he's going after Zell again. Shit. That might not end well for Zell. At least they're falling over a lot more. First battle, they just went hard. Beep. You have 400 health. How are you not instantly ready to do? <laughs> Tom Berry sure or something? Yeah. The worst thing is the girlfriend we get from this isn't even like super amazing. Good John, is it right to hit super old Yoda? Yes. Screw super old Yoda. It's not even Yoda. If anything, it's just a random Grogu or whatever the fuck they're called. You try to adjust it with off on HPJ. Ah. Would be intelligent. I'm not that intelligent. That was gonna die. Yep. This is fine. Because you should be close to dying too, buddy. <laughs> the sound effect is freaking cute from that too. Oh my god. No respect for the elders here? Nope. Fuck the respect for the elders. Get up, Zell. It's sleeping. Wish there was a way to turn up the encounter rate, too. Are you an Elder 2, Fuchan? Even more reason that I shouldn't have to respect them. Not score, not score, not score. Okay. That shit hits hard. No, no. Fuck! I hate this shit. Ah. Cease this, you stupid lizard. The worst thing is you can't even card these guys. <laughs> so if you card them, you don't get what you need for this. Got karma'd. It's monsters that I've been killing. Just because I've done a lot of damage to monsters doesn't mean I should die. Oh, hey, over. So cute, but so scary. Yeah, they are really deadly. That chef's knife is no joke. Maybe I should break the game a bit. <laughs> Give myself some huge vitality. Okay, he can probably Renzakuken. He can't Renzakuken. That's aggravating. Ah, he keeps falling over now. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yeah, now he can definitely run the Kukin. Faded circle, baby. Okay, I'm just going to leave scores HP that fucking low. We're just going to spam Renza Kukin and try and get rid of these guys. Come hither, night. Blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. I think I'm going to have to leave this place soon, too. As unfortunate as it is. I'll have to come back in. There we go. No, 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 no. Okay. 
That's fine. She's done barely any damage to enemies. <laughs> barely works on her. Oh, he creeping. Seven, let's fucking go. Right, Noah's so beefy. It's it's actually just based on the weirdness of that attack. <laughs> it's not that I know has got like huge defense or anything. Which I mean everybody has pretty huge defense for where we should actually be fighting. These are just specifically hard enemies. But yeah, keeping school this broken is actually working way better. His Renzakuken is fast and it does so much freaking damage. That was what, the sixth Tomberry? I hope. What happens if the timer runs out? Nothing good, but thankfully we can just run away and come back. Damn, the full seven. I'm also thinking about making the flame saber for not school, not school, not okay. I'm also thinking about making the flame saber for school, just because it looks cool. No, not attack! Fuck. This is the problem when you go at three times speed. Oh, man. Tom Berry's a stressful little bitches. This is the seventh? Okay, seven down. I'm gonna try to get to like 12 and then exit and then come back in. I really wish that was a better area for running around in circles too. <laughs> the junction system really is broken. Yeah, I mean, it can be so much more broken than I've been using it too. No, 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 no. Okay. It is terrifying that if he just use one, uses one specific attack on score, it's an insta death even with full health. <laughs> no. Just do your creepy little walk, friend. There you go. Ah. <sighs> If anything, you should just fall down a bunch. My heart isn't ready for this. <laughs> that school will keep dying a lot. Probably when we get to the king. Okay, that was number eight. We managed to get... Hmm, we might not even be able to get to 12. That was eight. We definitely don't want to go too far under four minutes before we start getting out of here. Oh, there we go. No! Probably gonna need to heal them too. <laughs> Just because they're tanking all the everybody's grudges, which is nice. Stop counting and it'll come faster. You think that, but I also need to know when we're getting to around 15. Because that's when we have to actually fight the boss and not just a normal enemy when shit gets real bad. I honestly might have to look up a freaking guide for the boss. That boss is going to be beefy. Okay. That was number nine. I, I might be able to get to 11. Just keeping school injured is the best way, huh? Yeah, it's totally not just because I like to see him down on his knees or anything. Totally not because battle damage is sexy as fuck. Oh shit, I should have helped healed Cell. And I only got four hits with Renzikook, and that's not great. Suboptimum score, what are you doing? Come on, give me seven. Five is better, I guess. <laughs> Distracted by the battle damage. I mean, it's so sexy though. Zell's limit is good, but it's also really slow. <laughs> so Renzakuken is the one to rely on. Okay, let's heal the shit out of them. Good taste, Fuchan. Mood? Exactly. Battle damage is just incredibly sexy. So many cures. She's almost out of cures. <gasps> I healed the wrong fucking... I was distracted. I'm a fucking idiot. No! Wow! <laughs> Okay, fuck it. We leave now. Do, do, do. We'll come back in a minute. 
How dare thou fly, flee from thy destiny? Because I'm, I'm scared of you, buddy. Just gonna simply say that. You're a scary mf -er. And I nah, have to do this now. Take him out. Fuck it. No chance to card. Just spam the two buttons moves and Zell's limit break. Yeah, but I mean, just because it slows down from the triple speed thing, it becomes a bit of an issue. Let's just run in circles here. Fuck it. I am Odin. I'm aware. <laughs> I know exactly who you are, sir, and I don't want to deal with you. Not score. Okay. Still not score. You mother... Oh, you know what? That helps me. I'm okay with this now. Not again, though. Okay. I hit Zell pretty hard, too. Time for Renzakuken. Yeah, this is basically just a Renzakuken battle. <laughs> Stop using that. Just walk. Come at me, coward. No. The more I fight these guys, the stronger everyone's grudge is becoming, too. Just kind of stop! Fucking... Not a fan. I'm not a fan of this shit. What can I draw from you? You know what? Yeah, let's grab whatever the fuck that is. Deaths. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense from you. Okay. <laughs> so long as you don't get a game over, you can still keep the counter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure leaving and coming back in doesn't affect it. I think you're fine. How am I doing? I should probably heal up Zell. Any of you guys have cures by any chance? Nope. Oh, thank God. You can't use them when they're not in the... Mm. Well, give them to Rhinoa then. There we go. Now she's got more. This is a stressful area, man. I want to give him a bit more? No. There's no point in giving him a bit more health <laughs> because he still gets one shot. Do, do, do. 11 dead? Yeah, we're getting close now. I think it can happen anywhere between 15 and 20. I don't remember the exact math. I really hope they did not change it for the remastered version. Considering what they did to the card game rules, who knows? Okay. Take him out, Squall. 12 Tomberry, here we go. Fuck yeah, we're getting close now. So it'll only take a few more hours. <laughs> Not Squall. Okay. At least he doesn't use that on Squall as much. Like, you know that the enemy NPC knows that that's fucking scary, so. <laughs> you got a chef knife, you can do him back. I, I wish it works like that. The chef's knife is a good item. I forget what you can turn it into, but you can refine that into some good shit. Wee. <laughs> okay. Evil number 13. Let's go. Five. Not the best, but I'll take it. Really, school? You have like no health. The fuck did I need to reload that like 12 times? Oh, thank God. 1001 rinse of Kukins. I mean, killing 15 Tomberries as it is is probably going to be like five rinse of Kukins per Tomberry, so Jesus. Like 50. Squall is working hard. I'll give him that. Mm. 
No, you fucking... <sighs> that ruins my plans for another minute. No, I don't want full life. I want normal life. I hate you, sir. I hate you with all the passion in the universe. Watch him do it again. Just because he hates me. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Got a full seven. That's what I'm talking about. On the upside, perfect health for score. Yeah, it just, it took away a turn, which is always a problem. Holy shit, Hope Schmidt, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. Hope you're enjoying the stream, and I hope you have a good day. Thornberry King, when you kill all those bears, when you kill 20? Ah, oh, I thought it was anywhere between 15 and 20. Well, that was 13. I'm still gonna leave, and after the 14, <laughs> save then as well. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Wait, that was 14? I thought that was 13. Don't do it. Ah, he didn't do it. Good. Don't do it. That was so fast. Are you shitting me? You got attacks like seconds apart. Just chill and go easy on counting each one? No, because that's how you end up getting wiped <laughs> by the Tomberry King if you're not prepared to save and go into that battle seriously. Tomberry King is so much harder than these fuckers. You plan on playing other FF games? Well, we already played 16. <laughs> if we ever got permission to play 7 Rebirth and Remake, I'd be all over it. Um, maybe some more in the future. Definitely not like the original 7. I was talking the other day about how I might want to play 9 because I don't even remember that game properly anymore. Thornberry King? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the GF we're going to be getting. However, he is a grumpy boy. He is a lot stronger than these guys and a pain. Can't remember which one's worse between him and the Cactuar thing, though. No, 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 no. Okay. Do, do, do. No! You're not even supposed to be able to do that. I get my limit break up. You're not supposed to be able to attack before me. Again, he doubled that shit. That was like a second away from the time he used the last one. He's hacking, man. He's hacking. I really do need to organize my magic at some point. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, school. Get up, you lazy bum. Oh, God. I could have actually used it there. Okay. I'm actually going to save now. That might be 15. Will you be getting Odin next? No. No. Because if you get Odin this early, it fucks you out of getting a different uh, girlfriend later on. Well, not technically. What it does is it changes your different girlfriend later on. It has some cool flavor text that comes with it, but yeah, we don't we don't want to do that. Fuck shit! I see yellow and I heal. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I know you're Odin. You've said this three times, sir. That happened to me. Wait, what happened to you? <laughs> Accidentally healing or... Because I think, yeah. If you get them this early, like, it's fine. It's expected. It's just not optimum. Oh, fuck it. We'll just let him stab me. Well, no, because if he stabs me, I just insta-die. Give me Renzo Kuken! I fucking hate. Fuck it. 
I could just punch him with Zell. Dying is actually probably the solution. <laughs> then I can use life and be back at the right amount of health. I don't believe such a tiny difference in health makes such a big difference. This is fine. Oh, he fell over. Poor little cutie patootie. Ah. Oh. Getting Odin early is what happened? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That's the problem. If you know where secrets are, sometimes this game will mess with you and be like, oh, you thought that would help you, did you? Oh, he's going after everyone one by one. So hard to get a crit hit in three times speed. Up oh, there we go. Okay. Should I? Nah. Attack. <laughs> That's when he dies. Really? Ah! <laughs> uh, Rhino just did six six damage. Perfect. Every time you say Ren's a cooking, all I hear is Ren's a cooking. That's strange. It's very strange. <laughs> 17 Tom Berry's dead. Perfect. Okay, this time let's not fuck up Squall. <laughs> Zell. Boop, boop. I know. Oh, she took a beating that round. Boop, 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 boop. So I'll get to 19 and then I'll save again because I'm a little baby bitch. <laughs> then we'll see what the Tomberry King's like. I cannot remember how hard he is. I just remember he's a lot stronger than these and these are kind of kicking my ass. Only four? Come on, Squall. Don't do it. Good. <laughs> I wonder if he has everyone's grudge because if so, that's going to be a problem too. Don't. Why? Why the fuck do you get to do that? Broken little creature. Just die and stay dead. They're gonna have Renzakuken PTSD? Good. After the amount of times they've killed me or just reduced the shit out of my health. I hope they do fear this for the rest of their lives. Hope when they look in the mirror, they just see Squall standing behind them. It's a counter specifically. Oh, that makes more sense, actually. So that's why it manages to overpower the actual limit break. Hey, yeah, do your little steps. Squall. Squall. Squall! Jesus, dude. Okay, at least it was a big one. <laughs> 19th encounter. Okay, I'll save. You guys count better than me. I thought we were still on 18. Okay, so that means that hit right now. That's no big deal. That's why he's not doing it on school so much. Because he'd have to do it after a limit break. I wonder if there's like an element you can charge into that actually does more damage to Tom Berries. Okay, so that should be number 19. Question is, can I get out of here before the king finds me <laughs> imagine imagine 69 i'm sorry i have to ruin that just in case he does get me on the way out yeah yeah i know i'm running away blah 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 i'm a wuss i don't even mind being called a wuss i know i'm a wuss <laughs> okay come at me king or maybe one more and then a king. Yeah, I know you're Odin. Ooh, they are just not coming. Yeah, I struck first. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, he did get double steps in. <laughs> Yikes. He is a scary boy. So this should be the final normal one. You're a chicken horse. You know what? I would take that from Safer. Honestly, 
That's like one of the kindest things he could say, considering the kind of shit he says to school that's actually biting. That was a big one. Let's go. Got any stasis effects to slow him down? I have some slow magic. I don't want to look up a guide if I don't have to. Like, I'd like to be able to do the battle by myself, but yeah. Worst case scenario, I can look up what he is weak to, what kind of status effects work. Okay, you're dead. There we go! Fuck me! Oh, I didn't know this happened. That was weak. That's nice. I wonder what kind of magic he has. Cura and life. Nice. Um, doesn't matter. Okay. The mission is the same as before. Just rends the kook and the shit out of him. He's a big boy, but we will deal with this together. No tiny boy anymore? No. This is the daddy. This is the one who came out and said, what the fuck did you just do to all my children? How much is this going to do? Ah, school's dead. <laughs> the way he falls over so slowly. Get him, Doggo3. Yeah, that's what you get. When you let your heart win. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Draw cast life. That would have been smart, actually. Uh oh. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> I mean, certainly could have been better, but. Do we have any kind of slow thing? Um, too late to find out. Fuck it. Nice crit hit. Thank God score does so much damage at least. Oh, attack. Fuck. What if this fight takes the whole 17 minutes and then we can never get Odin? Score's dead again. This is okay. Get him, Doggo. Honestly, yeah, that's better. That's way better. <laughs> oh, I only brought him back with two. Ah, he's... Whoa, he's alive. How are you alive, sir? And he's dead. You motherfucker. How did he attack that quickly? <sighs> these these Tomberries are broken, man. Bam. At least he fears Squall. That's good. He should fear Squall. <laughs> We're getting a lot of Doggo 3 rushes in this one. I just think it's cute. <laughs> come on. Come home, Tomberry King. And he's dead again. <laughs> This is fine. Should probably heal up too. Don't you chill, buddy. Chill. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That was a good time for that. <laughs> oh, man. Game breaking enemies. We've been fighting this battle for four solid minutes at triple speed. Yikes. There we go. You're right, his knife is so small. He can't help it. It's a chef's knife. It's the same as the little Tom Berries. He's just big. It's not that the knife's small. He's just so big. <laughs> He's doing his best out here, guys. Don't be mean to him. He can't help it. This world isn't built for somebody his size. <laughs> Want to scan him to see how much HP he has? No, I don't, because we got him. Yeah, shrink down, you little bitch. That's what I thought. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Tom Barry joined your party. Ah, oh, man. Royal Crown. GF loans magic plus 60%. Jeez. It's not 80, but it'll do. Okay. I mean, this one has to be named Uki Kira. <laughs> it's, it's a little guy with a knife. It's just... Any other ideas? Or Uki Kira? <laughs> Perfect. Ayoshi, it's totally Uki. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Let's go. Ukiki. Okay, let's see what he can do immediately. Cause oh my god, this is how far ahead we are now. Bum, 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 bum. Haggle received discounts at shops. Easier to buy rare items. Initiative enables actions as soon as battle begins. That's kind of crazy. Restores HP by walking, and he's got auto potion as well. This is some crazy shit. Um, initiative, I guess. Wait, what? Use level up, use level down. That's a thing? Evasion plus 30? Luck plus... Wow. I'm putting you on school immediately. <laughs> Jesus. There's all kinds of weird shit. Hey, nothing new there, but I think he has a lot of abilities. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, I still haven't got counter on. What's wrong with me? Ah, uh, uh, blah, blah. Let me check other people's abilities. That's not bad. Go away, Irvine. Does she still only have two? <laughs> That's fine. Level down. Honestly, those could be useful. If I ever need to get specific items from enemies, they're locked towards the le levels of enemies too. Tom Berry is cracked. He just has some weird skills. Shut up, Odin. No one wants anything to do with you right now. I'm back for you someday. Someday is in heavy quotation marks. Okay, now we can go back to the main story. I feel confident now. We got an extra GF. Our harem is growing. So now we get to go to... Balaam. Yes, okay. Balaam's up there. Do not know this world map nearly well enough. We. You can do little like little hops between land masses. That's kind of sick. What do you mean there are girlfriends other than me? Yeah, sorry, Tom Barry, you ain't that special. <laughs> I'm glad you joined us, but <laughs> I have an entire harem over here. Well, so you can get renaming tags, so. I could eventually rename some of the GFs that I didn't give actual names to. Let's go around this giant continent now. Oh my god, it's so fucking huge. Uh, just give me a beach. Give me a beach. And I, I don't even want to be on your stupid continent. I'll just jump off to the other side, you dicks. Does this count as a beach? It does. Okay. I can't. It doesn't lead anywhere. This is fine. We're almost around this now, anyway. It only took like 12 hours. Bum, 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 bum. I just want to go home to Balaam. Why are you making it so hard for me to go home? There we go. Bum, 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 Okay, Balaam's somewhere. That doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh god, you can't just save anywhere anymore? You have to, like, load first? Oh, oh yeah, this is gonna be the part with one of my other favorite cutscenes. It's time for war. I forgot about this part. And they took away my favorite save spot. I... Why did they take away that save spot, man? Got Fu making school do Renziku can ASMR. Gamer boyfriend is a distracted and plays FF8 while you cry in the corner. <laughs> Not good at all? Nah, they were ready for us. They they knew we were coming here. You know what? I'm going to keep school this low health, though. I like that. What do I have junction to his health? Because it's not working for him. Cure Aga? Why are you the only one who doesn't have region? 
put region on vitality? Fuck off. Take Kiraga instead. I was wondering why his health was lower than everybody. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> now we could heal him a tiny bit more. Just one tiny baby cure, please. There we go. You won't die as, or, as often. Take care of yourself, King. No, I, I like the idea of him being constantly one step away from death. <laughs> to me, that's very on brand for school, Leonard. <laughs> okay. Let's go see what the hell is waiting for us out there. Yes, I want the same party, please. Um, 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 um. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go to Balaam. You're not gonna hurt me, right? Uh-oh. Oh, I can't even land here? Okay, I guess I'll land on the beach. Beach. Um, yeah, I'll get off here. Uh, uh. One really good quality of life change they could have added to this is just the ability to just step out <laughs> rather than having to run through the garden every time. Oh, I can't imagine how annoying this must have been without three times speed. Because I definitely did it when I was a kid, but man, looking at it now, I'm like, oh, God. God, every time, really? Okay, come on then. You just, you're just gonna die, guys. You, you bugs, you literal bugs. The true sailor VA landing on the beach, bado bado, stepping on the beach. Boo, boo, boo. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Okay, well, what the fuck's going on in Dollar? What the hell? What's going on here? You can just talk to Nita to get off? Wait, really? I thought he only said, are you ready to depart? Yo, what's going on in there? I mean, you could talk to him, Zell. This town is under the control of Sorceress Adea. This town is off limits while we conduct our investigation. It'll last for several days. Once you're through with our investigation, you're next. So just stay out and stay put. Yeah, about that. Oh, he won't talk to me anymore. He's just doing a little dance. Making a little love. Get down the night. Well, this is aggravating. Zell, how do you feel about this? I don't think he much minds. We were forced out of town days ago. Our daughter's still at home, but there's nothing we can do. With all these soldiers from Galbadia, you've got to stop and wonder whether Galbadia fell to the hands of the sorceress. I don't know what to do. What's happening to this town? When can we go in? I knew this was going to happen. I would have brought my daughter with me. I hope she's all right. Hmm. There we go. I wondered why he wasn't messing with us before. You guys look suspicious. What are you doing here? What's Galbadia doing in a town like this? What do you want? Are you residents here? Yeah, that's right. At least residents should be allowed in. It's off limits. You cannot enter or leave. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> Is Zell really about to make the same mistake he did at the fucking TV station? <laughs> you're talking to a seed from Balam Garden. <laughs> what? What is it now? You said this town was off limits. Does that mean we can't deliver a message either? That's too bad. We have some info on a loan. Uh, what? Uh... Wait a minute. Tell me everything you know about her. Do you actually know who she is? Kind of. But we need to get inside to confirm something. If you find out any information at all, go talk to the commander. She's staying at the hotel. You'll be rewarded. This guy's a freaking idiot. <laughs> no, why? Why would you do that? What? Why did it try to take Rhinoa away from me? But then it was like, nah, you can have Rhinoa, it's fine. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm gonna go see Zelf's mom first. I wanna know how Mama Dink's doing. Huh? Th that, that's all, Zell. That's all. Also, I'm pretty sure. I think you get an extra scene with Selfie in your group. 
Shit, no, not Junction Exchange. We can't switch. Well, I don't like Selfie anyway. That's a shame. You definitely get an extra scene if you have Selfie in your room, in your group for this. Yo, Skull, that's my room up there. Don't go up. I'm scared. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. Ma, you're safe. Zell, how on earth did you get into town? It's all in my brains, Ma. We just said we had some info on a loan. Piece of cake. What a relief. I was worried you might have beaten up one of the guards. Not yet, but we're about to murder a bunch of them. <laughs> The soldiers have threatened that the sorceress will burn the town to the ground should there be any disturbance. What if we kill everyone in town? Sorceress Adea? Is she here? I noticed a woman with the Galbadian army. Grey hair, patch over one eye. Oh shit, Fujin's here. <laughs> Must be Fujin. So they're here. Leave it to me. I'll get rid of those jokers. Could Safer be here too? Good, good thought. School, good thought. <laughs> it was school's brains, though. Don't question Zell. Let him tell his mama he's the best. Thank you for having us over. Oh, this is the mother. Thank you for having us over during these troubled times. Zell, I'm sure the whole town is counting on you. But don't strain yourself or take any chances. But maybe just sock in the no one sock in the nose might be good. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were concerned about me. <laughs> just wait. I'll show him what I'm all about. Yo, yo, I've been practicing my special move just for a day like this. Hiya! Super miracle kick! <laughs> He's so adorable. Zell is actually smaller than he looks, but he talks too much. Yeah. Zell's in his own little world most of the time. Okay, let's go beat up Fujin. Honestly, one of the best girls in the game, though. Kind of fucked up. Oh, okay. Can you let me in? What do you want? If it's the commander you're looking for, I have strict orders not to let anyone through. What? Information about loan? Hmm? More rumors. I know that we'll get a salary cut if we let him through without confirmation. Yeah, I know. In this army, your salary gets cut based on just how the boss is feeling. Guess it goes with the territory when you can't choose your own boss. Yo, listen! We have top secret info. Bring the commander out here. These guys are kind of suspicious. <laughs> that did not work. Even slightly. <laughs> I'll show them what I'm all about, he says, and starts running in circles around the room. Look, man, he is a puppy dog, <laughs> so this is fair. <laughs> yeah, totally. Have some respect for the captain. The captain is currently on patrol. Fine, I'll go find the captain. See if I care. Hey, buddy. What, what are you... Okay. Zell! Yes, you're finally here. You have to go avenge my boss. Those Galbadians broke the boss's arm. All he did was ask a question. He wanted to know what was to become a Balaam. Oh, man. If only I was strong as you, Zell. He's a bit of a hometown hero. Everybody loves him. That's kind of cute. Commander? No. Captain. I don't know, but I haven't seen anyone who looks important. Well, not this way, then. Let's go towards the train station. Leave selfie party at the missile base was also suspicious to everyone. And yes, she got away with everything. That shit was wild. Hello, Zell. I knew you'd be back. Already got the Maverick, right? Yeah, good. And I've got the Valkyrie. Yeah, fuck it. I'll probably never use her still, but <laughs> she can have a morning star. That's a lot of soldiers. Why are you guys creeping around? We good? Understood, sir. The food supply will be delivered to the hotel. Yeah, that's right. Better not try to cheat us now. Listen up. Sir! Be sure to keep your eyes open. Sir! That guy's a bit of a dick, huh, guys? You want to go grab a burger? <sighs> a big one. He has a big dick? Oh, okay. There's got to be a more efficient way to find this girl. Let's gather everyone and tie them up. That's it. What? You got a problem with that? Yeah, it sounds like you're going to torture them or murder them. <laughs> I'm hungry too, you know, and I have to live for food. What's up with that? Hmm. 
Well, how the fuck do I get into the hotel? There's no patrol going on, you liars. Go and find the captain. No, fuck you. I've been around town. Unless they went back this way. Or into this house. Kitty cat! <laughs> Sorry. Distractions. Capitan? I, I see no captain. And he won't let me past him now. What the shit? What? The captain? There's no way the captain would be walking around town. Have you found out anything? Have you met the commander? <sighs> <laughs> Okay, so they were lying to me. Get out of my way. You still haven't found the captain? We found him. Whoa, no way! You guys are awesome! I thought we'd have to send out the search dog again. You get pretty tired chasing after the dog. Okay then, bring the captain here for me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that lie did not work. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, maybe... Dog! I've been told to use this dog to find alone. Without a scent to go by, what can we do? <laughs> Honestly, good question. That does not help. It's a cute dog, though. Just enjoy the dog. Pet the dog. Love the dog. <laughs> all I do is crouch all day and look for clues. Alone's possessions, some scent for the dog to go by. <laughs> okay, so we can't actually use the dog to find the captain. I don't have anything with the captain's scent either. Well, this has been a weird experiment in uselessness. <laughs> Captain's on patrol. Go find the captain. The captain will be sure to re reward you. Go find the captain. Where does the captain take a nap? You know, I've been wondering that. Before you know it, he's nowhere in sight. wonder if he has a secret hideout. Captain's napping spot. Maybe the kid knows. You know what? I feel like the kid would know. Bum, bum. There's anyone who knows about secret napping spots. It's always children. Hey, you. Yo, yo, I've been practicing my special move just for this. Hyper super... Nope, okay, that done, did nothing. They say the town will be released in several days. Wonder if it's true. The whole town's on edge. The resident and soldiers. Hey, I've told you time and time again not to act wild in other people's houses. Maybe he's sleeping in Zell's bed. We can't stay at the hotel. Uh, I guess we have no choice. Let's just go to my room and rest. It's not like I'm inviting you guys, okay? It's because we have no other choice, you fucking cinder. <laughs> oh, no captain. Whoa! This is nice! The bed is nice and open. Man has a giant fucking gun collection. Punching bag on the wall. Banners? Yo. So, this is Zell's room. Is that your grandfather, Zell? Yep, he's the person I look up to the most. He played a big role in the last war. He wasn't just strong. He knew when to attack, when to retreat. Any kind of situation, he maintained his composure and stayed cool. So basically the opposite of you. I was gonna say, I was gonna be like, yo, the apple fell pretty far from the tree this time. <laughs> yo, Skull, why are you dissing me? Don't worry about it, you're fine. It's probably none of my business, but... Maybe you're being a little too cool, Squall. Ah, that was a terrible pun, Rhino. That's barely even a pun. That's just a different meaning of the word. Oh, how even Zell laughed at him. <laughs> She's got you there, Squall. Why don't you try to show a little more passion? You know, like me. Never. I will never be like you. Oh my god, he got his hoverboard back. Let's go. Why can I not save? Apparently, I took one step too far. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for best girl. That was a good moment for her, honestly. And yeah, there are different scenes in this bedroom depending on who you bring in. I remember selfies being really good. I do not remember the Irvine one. I saw a couple people saying, oh, yo, Irvine would have been great. Take it down, school. Look at it jiggle. That's too strong for me. Oh. I didn't realize that was taking... I'm trying to look at the picture of the grandpa, damn it. So that makes sense. The gun collection is actually probably his grandfather's war stuff. Oh, let's go to sleep. He's got a punching bag and a speedball. Damn. That one I can't play with. Look at those jiggles, physics. Hell yeah. 
Okay, now that we've rested, we should be good to go. Oh, yeah, I've been practicing my special move, blah, 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 blah. Capitan's got to be around now, right? What if the captain is the dog? <laughs> you still haven't found the captain? Where the heck is he? This is pretty bad. The commander's going to realize the captain's nowhere to be found. And she'd throw a tantrum finding out that the captain's actually taking a nap instead of being on patrol. The commander's freaky way of talking. Ugh. Gives me the chills just thinking about it. I wonder where the captain sleeps. There's no way he'd be behind the car again. Thank you. There we go. Also, how dare you diss Fujin like that? Fujin's way of speaking is adorable. Is it a bit eccentric? Yes. Did I go the wrong way? Also, yes. But that's beside the point. <laughs> You're still napping? Yeah, he apparently just naps slightly more than me and Zhao. Capitan? There we go. How's it going? Is there any way I can help? Who? Or rather, what are you? Shh. Keep your voice down, man. There's only one story here. You know, alone, you get nothing by giving info to those Galbadian soldiers. If you find out anything, come to me. Those Galbadians have no intention of paying. I'll give you money for it. You have my word. Hey, you know where the captain is? We need to find him to see the commander. The captain, huh? If you want to know, it'll cost you. I have to eat two, you know? <laughs> I got three types for you. Fuck you, buddy. Why? Oh. Hey, thanks, man. Here's the scoop. This is the place where the captain used to nap. The reason why he no longer sleeps here is because the commander nearly ran him over when she went out looking for a car. So I don't think you'll find him here. Is that it? You piece of... Cool, thanks, man. You know how the town entrance is guarded? There's actually a way to get out. I ain't saying the captain left town. Just enough space for a little kid to crawl through. If you find a kid who wants to go out, the kid has to have what it takes to distract the guard. That doesn't even tell me any... How much money do I have? Okay, actually, this isn't too bad. Hit me with the gold, you piece of shit. Oh, thanks, man. You're pretty rich. Well, anyway. The captain's at the end of the harbor. I saw him go down the fishing rod. He fucking knew! It's not even a hint! You're in Balaam. The Balaam fish is quite the delicacy. Maybe that's what he's after. I hate you. I could just reload the game. Get all my money back, but no. It's a matter of principle. Get... There we go. Scam for real. The worst thing is I was down at the bottom of the harbor. There's nobody here. I've been lied to. Unless they... Oh, they mean where the boats are. <laughs> scam for real? Yeah, it wasn't even like a subtle scam. He knew all the info. He gave me info that had nothing to do with the actual... Com Wait. What does he mean? Bottom of the harbor? Is this not the harbor? Are you the commander or the captain? We were just talking about that girl alone. If she landed here, ba 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 ba. There is no captain! What? What? Huh? Hello? All I do is crouch all day and look at clues? Told to use this dog to find alone? There is no captain. I actually got scammed. This is 100% a fucking scam. Give me back my money. F fuck you. What? Is there a different harbor? Well, maybe I do need to use a child to get out of town. Maybe it's outside of town. My brain. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go talk to the kid. Maybe this is when we use the kid. Maybe we say, hey, there's a secret way out of town, you know. Nope, yo, Zhao, I've been practicing my miracle kick. Blah, 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 I told you a bunch of times. Blah, blah, blah. All the same shit. I'm going insane. This is one thing I've always hated about JRPGs in general. They have so many things like this where it's just like, they don't really guide you <laughs> and i don't need everything handed to me on a platter or anything but jesus christ a little more information would be nice mommy and daddy haven't come back i can't take it i can't take it anymore yeah you should get out of this town 
Hey, small child, would you like me to tell you how to leave the town? Since her parents are away, I'm packing her bag so that she'll be able to stay next door. Don't know what'll become of alarm. Sure, the sorceress and Galbadia don't give a rotten hoot about this here town. Yeah, okay, that did nothing. Do none of you want to sneak out? I can, I can send you to your mama and your daddy. Want to be backseated or keep suffering? I'll keep suffering. I think I just have to talk to fucking everybody. It's one of those things where even though people didn't have information before, they'll probably be like, oh, yeah, I saw the commander. He's right behind you, you idiot. Whatever is in the store is basically all we have left. Thanks to Mrs. Dink, there hasn't been much of a panic, but there's not much we can do. Those Galbadian soldiers, they're just trying to torture us slowly. Everyone's basically on edge. Hey, if you're done with your errands, go home. If I see you loitering, I'll have to take you in. Captain's napping spot? How the hell should I know? Wait, what about a roof? So now it's a captain's search instead of a loan search? Oh, could it be that the commander is looking for him? That's too bad. If only we had somebody who has a good nose for those kinds of things. Fuck you! I know about the dog. I'm not able to do anything with the dog. What was that? Where does the captain take a nap? You know, I've been wondering that myself. Well, you know it. He's nowhere inside. Wonder if he has a secret hideout. Fuck me. Okay, I'll go talk to the dog again. This isn't the way to the dog. <laughs> the captain, he's probably taking a nap. Oops, I mean he's on patrol now. He's a very hard worker, always patrolling, so don't bother him. <laughs> totally. Such a hard worker. Let me go talk to the puppy. The puppy will know everything. He did say he was at the end of the harbor, so... Oh, the captain? Yeah, he was just fishing here. Fuck me. I Yeah, I'm an idiot. He caught a few and got really excited. Said he was going to eat them right away. So he went somewhere where he can cook fish. Do I have to fish and then give the dog a fish so the dog can find the captain? I'm told to use this dog to find alone, but without a scent, what can we go by? It's show the dog a fish, please, for the love of God. This is a genius plan, and I'm angry that I can't do it. <laughs> All I do is crouch every day, blah, 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 blah. Okay, he went somewhere to find a, to cook a fish. We're just talking about that girl alone. I don't know where the captain is. If you can't find him in a small town like this, he might be hiding. What could he be doing by himself at a time like this? Oh, my brain. Captain's currently on patrol. I'm just going to continuously go everywhere I've been. Okay, she's moved. That's good. <laughs> of course he came here to cook his damn fish. Just now, a man came in and asked if he could use the kitchen. I think he cooked some fish. The whole room is filled with this strange odor. Can I use that for the doggo? No. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Rhinoa, can you get Doggo 3 out here? Maybe we could use him instead. Yo, yo, I've been practicing my secret move. <laughs> okay, now I need the dog because there's an odor in the kitchen. Oh my god. Bum, 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 bum. Boy, searching for people sure is tough. You think so too? Well, why don't you go back to the hotel? You never know, the captain might be there. Don't even fuck around with me. I want your dog. Finally, our shift is almost over. The dog's done for today, too. Another hard day's work. Gotta go feed the dog. Wait. I can't take your dog. Is he actually just gonna be back at the hotel? Because I swear to God, I will put my fist through my monitor. All I do is crouch all day looking for clues. Blah, 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 blah. I fucking hate that so much. I ran through the town five times. How did I manage to miss him going to the harbor, coming away from the harbor, going to Zell's house, leaving Zell's house? The commander's pissed off because the captain's still not back. Oh, okay. She said she's going to lock the captain out of the hotel. Man, I feel sorry for the captain. It's not like you have groundbreaking news about alone, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow, today's probably a bad day. But now the captain set a new slacking off record today. He must have found a new hideout for his naps. There we go. Fuck you, food. Fuck you, Raijin. <laughs> Angry food is the best food? It just makes no sense. How did he get past the town continuously? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, Captain. I overslept, you know. So, like, is Fujin really mad? Yes, Captain. The commander's furious. I love how they made Fujin the commander and Raichin the captain. That's so mean. I mean, for obvious reasons, but still. 
You guys, help me out here. We gotta calm Fujin down, you know? Raijin! Wow. What are you guys doing here? We're here to liberate Balam, you, you know? I mean, uh... We're here to liberate Balam. <laughs> he picked up the you know. <laughs> Safer told us to give you a whooping if we saw you, you know. You soldiers, help me out too. You know. <laughs> you got one who just adds you know to everything. And then we've got one who just speaks in single words. I do like his weapon though. Yo, that's a thick ass staff. You'll pay for this, Raijin. But first. Oh, it's not you. Must be Fujin. Okay, none of you have anything. You must die. Oh, one down already. How dare you not have any useful magic. This poor dude. I just captured a fucking Tomberry King. Think that you can stop me? Oh, I forgot I had counter now. That's fucking sick. Um, 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 um. Just the hope that he goes to sleep at the end of our attack. Nope. <laughs> it's thick and long. Hell yeah, it is. And Rhinoa has her own counter with the doggo. Yes, keep him asleep forever. A stun lock. Ugh, you got me, you know. Bum, ba -dum. Tatiana Gorshuk, I am asking you very politely now, stop backseating me. If I want to be backseated, I will ask for it. If I want to hear some mechanics of the game, I will ask for them. So thank you for trying to help, but I only want that if I actually ask for it. Oh yeah, the commander's got to get a whooping too. He did want that nap. Well, now he gets to sleep, so it's all good. <laughs> so I guess you're the commander. Pack your bags and get the hell out of Balam. Wait, does he not recognize Fujin? Raijin? Defeated? That's right, baby. Now where's Safer and the Sorceress? You're all going down. Zell, calm down. Fujin, looks like you're on your own. You still willing to fight? Rage! I fucking love her. <laughs> <laughs> She's not alone. Major comeback, you know. I'm wide awake now, you know. It's like waking up after a satisfying nap, you know. <laughs> we only made him stronger. <laughs> Rage. I love her, man. God, she's such a fucking mood. Are you willing to fight us? Rage. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> Time to get serious, you know. Yeah, I'll say. But first... Give me that Pandemona. Yeah, she got the strong magic. <laughs> oh, first try again. We're getting real lucky with stealing GFs. We really are, Mr. Steal Your Girl. Well, we don't need protects or shields. This guy will go down pretty quickly. Ooh, she's got a Chakram too, but she uses it way cooler than Rhinoa does. <laughs> You know, Foo stealing everyone. Yeah. Just jealous, man. I'm just jealous. They all have such lovely, powerful girlfriends. I want them to be mine. Alone. Where? <laughs> Still love her. <laughs> God damn it. Uh-oh. No, I didn't want to counter on her yet. She'll have her turn soon. Do you wish you could play as Fujin? Yeah, I wish that was something they added. I wish you could have Safer in your party more as well. Ouch, that one really hurt. That's some big healing. Now watch me undo it with two attacks. There we go. <laughs> God, I love Squall. Now go to sleep, sweet child. It'll all be over soon. You enjoy your naps, don't you? There we go. Sorry, Fujin. They got me, you... Uh, he didn't even get to say you know. No. Do we need arrows? We do need arrows, actually. Well, 
We're back to draw. To <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. That's how I felt about Beatrix. Beatrix is amazing as well, and they're very similarly coded. Fujin is so beautiful. Yeah, I love the hair. I love the eye patch. Personality is just a lot of fun, too. Just the single words, most of them of which are just rage. <laughs> Oh shit, she woke up. Ah, that's fine. As long as she doesn't make me counter her to death, this could be fine. He really just ran away. I mean, he was gonna die otherwise. <laughs> they're loyal, but they're not loyal to the death. <laughs> that's on another level. Also, Beatrix kicking the party's ass, climb hazard and all that. Yeah, Beatrix was fun. I always like it when like an enemy can join the party later on makes it feel that more satisfying not necessarily enemy to lovers but enemies to friends and Beatrix and Steiner definitely had something going on I love her weapon me too I wish Rhinoa could steal it although Rhinoa's looks pretty badass as well not the Zan alone where exactly um fuck it Oh, we're all doing good. Almost everybody. School was the only slow one. -na 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 -na. Okay, it's time to end this. Except for school. Nope. School two. Bum, 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 bum. Well, the caveat that I don't like them to be greatly weakened, which often is the... Oh. Alone. Where? <laughs> she's still going. Yo, she's strong. <laughs> I want them to be greatly... I don't like them to be greatly weakened. I defeated. Okay, okay. She just wanted one more chance to ask us. Give me the person who is still boss material. Yeah, I feel that. Like they absolutely kick your ass most of the time. But every now and then, when they actually join your party, then they're suddenly so much weaker. What was that in recently? Oh, The Last of Us Part 2. Where when we had to fight against Ellie, she could like run while she was crawling down on the ground. That shit was scary. And I was like, wow, she powered up. That's going to be awesome. And it never happened again. Oh, we finally got Mug. Okay, I, I have no idea what to name Pandemona. I mean, it's a wind and gravity based kind of beast. I'm just going to call it Ren Ren. It looks kind of alien-y. <laughs> it's not, but I'll go with Ren Ren. You don't get like a dinosaur in this game, so Ren Ren will do. Asta colors? Oh, Asta works pretty well, actually. Yeah, it's purple and yellow. And still kind of space related. We could say that this is Asta's true form. Asta. <laughs> I'm good with that. We got Starboy. Are the two of you taking orders from the sorceress? Negative. Wait. Oh, well, that's Raijin. I was going to say, Fujin did it fool. No. The sorceress has nothing to do with us, you know. We're acting on our own. Own plan. We're on safer side, you know. That's up to you, but... Enough is enough. This isn't an internal garden conflict. We can't back out, you know. Negative. <laughs> Safer has a lot of followers, but we're his only friends. We're a posse, you know. The Galbadian soldiers are only listening to Safer because they fear the sorceress. Without us, Safer wouldn't have a posse, you know. Aww, they're so fucking cute. They're so funny. They're funny, but they're also just genuinely really loyal when they care. Aster Windy now? I mean, it's like a solar flare, right? It kind of works. <laughs> if you guys stand behind him that much... Tell freaking Safer to stop this nonsense. Affirmative. We ain't no sellouts. Aww. We're behind Safer all the way, you know. I mean, Fujin agreed. She said affirmative. So yeah, they'll try to get him to back down. Okay. Understood. So you want nothing to do with Garden now? Oh. From now on. We're not going to hold back. I guess that's how it goes. That's what comrades are all about. 
You're just gonna let him go? Squall? Don't wanna... Talk anymore, you know? Kinda painful. You know? Oh, that's sad. This is one thing I really liked about Fujin, Raijin, and School as well. Like, even though Safer and School always fought each other, they, like, they had, like, an innate understanding of one another. When it came to Fujin and Raijin, they genuinely respect School. It's just they're absolutely loyal to Safer. And Safer's lost his way right now. Even Raijin is just straight up like, we could talk more. I mean, you could maybe convince us to join Garden, or maybe you could convince Safer to leave the Sorceress. Uh, you never know. Wimp. <laughs> I love Fujin. Run. <laughs> but yeah, the nuance of some of the characters in this game is honestly really freaking impressive. <laughs> I feel sad. Friend or foe. It all comes down to circumstance. That's how we were raised. It's nothing special. Nothing special? Is that true? Then what is this that I'm feeling? Let's go. Yeah. School's realizing he has feelings. He has caught the feels. Nothing special, only edgy as fuck. <laughs> at this point, he isn't even edgy. I mean, he's say he's putting up his walls still, but at the same time, his mind is speaking the truth now. The nuance they were able to give to a character that only says one word at a time. That's what I mean. It's impressive. That Just that one affirmative was good. And then her showing how much she was in pain when school literally said, like, are you sure you want to abandon Garden completely? Like, they didn't like that. <laughs> but at the same time, they're not going to let Safer down, so... Where are we going next? Hello, excuse me. What is it? Have you decided on a destination? Still thinking. Um, can we maybe go to Trebia Garden? It's like in the mountains, so maybe the sorceress will leave it alone. But maybe, you know. But I thought it was destroyed by missiles. Oh, I see. That's why. Of course she'd want to go. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. The fact that she didn't even try to play that card either. She was just like, mm, maybe could we go check my, the place I grew up, the place I was raised. I, I, I saved Balam Garden from the missiles, but I didn't save them. Could we maybe go see what happened? Safer Raijin and Fujin. Seems like yesterday they were part of this garden. Yeah, I really wish you could recruit them. They're good kids. They're just lost kids. Where's our destination? Oh, God. Don't ask me. <laughs> we ready to go? Hell yeah. Please don't tell me you want to quit. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. It's terrifying every time you do that to me now. Oh, yeah, I got a new GF. Fuck. This takes me back in here. <laughs> we got a new GF. Let's see what they're all about. Esther. Bum, bum, bum. Initiative enabled. Oh, you've got initiative too? Speed junction. That would be kind of crazy. Strength plus 20. Use absorb command. I don't even know what absorb does. Let's do speed dunk junction first. I feel like that's going to be pretty crazy. Imagine oh, getting something huge. I bet if you junction haste to speed, it just goes nuts. And then you can just attack like five times per turn. Um, Absorb? Drain HP, right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> I mean, just having said that, yeah. It makes the most sense if that... <laughs> Just absorb people in that kind of way. But I'm wondering, like, do you eat enemies or do you just kind of like f uh, do some damage to them and you absorb whatever you take from them? That's what I mean. <laughs> oh shit, the other garden's gone. Ah, I guess we have to go find Trebia Garden then. She said it's in the mountains. Honestly, I have no idea where Trebia Garden is. Desert prison, wind hill. Timber! Fisherman's Horizon. Trebia Garden! Okay. Oh, it's the giant continent we just came from. Shumi Village. Oh, that's some interesting side quests. But I don't remember what they were. <laughs> Fuck. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. 
Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's go to Trivia Garden. We don't need to go to the Shumi Village just yet. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I fuck. Oh, there is a button to just get out. It's A. <laughs> it's the most obvious button. Son of a... Oh, that's going to help us in the future. <laughs> Isn't eating enemies a real ability? Um, it definitely was in other games. I don't actually know if it is in this game. Wee. Any beaches for a poor weary traveler who doesn't want to go the whole way around this thing? Oh, I hate you. Why? Why are so many of these continents just sheer cliffs for miles? Did you get the rare card from the fisherman mare? No, I've given up. <laughs> I just straight up gave up on doing triple triad for a while. <laughs> Maybe once we can get back to the, the queen of cards, then we'll try some things. But I tried like every guide on how to like, oh. There is not much of that garden left. I, I tried like every guide to try and figure out how to abolish rules and stuff. And it just wasn't working. And I do not want to play under random rules. Oh, no. Selfie. Looks pretty bad. Selfie. At least they had strong outer walls. I mean, we can't even get in, so who knows? Maybe they're safe inside there. No beaches? <laughs> Azukashi! A direct hit. Man, this really pisses me off. We could definitely climb up through that net selfie, maybe. Maybe they're under underground or something. I'm going in. Okay, we'll be right behind you, but I really don't want you in my party. Be careful. Ah, oh, she goes. The backgrounds, though. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't bother to remaster those. <laughs> they remastered all the character models. Makes it even more awkward when you have the really shiny character models and then running along these. It kind of looks like an anime where you have like the things that are meant to be animated and the things that are meant to be backgrounds and they look very different in quality because one of them's like properly animated and then the other one's just like, just always got to be there in the background. Just noticed how short Selfie's dress is. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. She's a valley girl. She's fine with showing off. Score. Have you guys seen Selfie? We're looking for Selfie. Yeah. She ran off ahead. Wonder if there are any monsters around here. Come on, Skull. Let's hurry after her. Aw, see, Skull, you have friends. Everybody's here together to help Selfie. I think the Balam Garden might have ended up like this. Thank goodness we were able to avoid the missiles. Selfie's in shock. I'm sure of it. She's not herself. Haven't you noticed, Skull? Yeah, she is a lot less chipper than usual, but I mean, that tends to happen when your home is absolutely destroyed. I mean, the background does look a bit realistic, especially for those times. Yeah, when it's animated, it's good. There are people alive! Andaga found. We, we don't need that. Oh, she's cute. Her hair is awesome. So, you've been looking after Selfie? I'll just play along with it. I really haven't, though. I've been... I didn't even show her around Garden on the first day. I told her to go screw herself. Selfie's been a great help. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? That's not like Squall at all. <laughs> Whatever. Trying to be nice here, Self. You're clearly tra traumatized and shit. There should be a basketball court in the back. Wait for me there, okay? I want to go catch up with some of my friends. Wow, that was a complete 180. From, oh no, all my friends are dead to... Leave me alone, Squall. Go, go busy yourself with basketball or something. You like balls, right? I'll join you in a couple of hours. I'm going to go get some starby. <laughs> Young lad, what was your name and number again? Have you done a good deed for your academy, Trivia Garden? Good deed, you ask? It's to help rebuild this place. Let's see. For example, if you donated to the Trebia Fund, I'll give you an A. <laughs> He's asking for money to get good grades from his students? That's fucked, man. Ooh, well, that's a lot of freshly made graves. 
Somebody had the same ish jacket as school. A bomber jacket with fur around it. Someone had a really nice rifle. Irvine, you want to come steal this? I'm normally against grave robbing, but I mean, I found zo <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> they have zombie in the graveyard. That's so fucked. <laughs> I think that was school's last space for zombie. Yeah. Um, let's get rid of some of the things we don't need. Uh, buh, 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 buh. We don't need cure. Quistus, that's yours now. Bio? No, we don't have enough. Six. Oh, I assume that we do need occasionally, though. The zombie. Uh, should be good. Why do we have 11 thunders? Oh, fuck. They all have 100. Yeah, that'll do. Guess someone wasn't fully dead. <laughs> They're gonna rise out like the thriller music video. Cause it's a thriller. Thriller night. I, I can't find my way to the basketball court. This is a selfie. I got a widow wasp. We carried the injured ones out in the car. Me? Nah, I'm not hurt. I'm just exhausted. Wait, I'm just sick. I'm exhausted from taking care of everyone. But. Tomberry King, take this! GF summering! Blah. I already dealt with Tomberry King, don't worry. You don't have to worry about them anymore. It's me, I'm in the ground taking <laughs> fat nap. Long as you're comfy. It's interesting that all these models are the same ones as the ones from Balam Garden too. Like, this is Minimog Boy. We were just talking about who would have won the Trivia Basketball Tournament if we'd played. It's all because of the stupid missile. Oh, one of them didn't blow up. That's fucking fucked. I'm telling you, the Mog Mog Moogle team will make it. They'll probably play the Mock Chocobos in the finals. The pronunciation's all wrong. It's Chocobos, not Chocobos. That's funny, because I, I did slip back into saying Chocobos like I used to. <laughs> Gee, I wish the faculty was a little more reliable. What do they expect the student body committee to do under these conditions? Work. We have to remove this missile as soon as possible. There's no more threat of an explosion, but if it falls over, it could crush someone. Can I take it? It's really fucking cool. Aura. That sounds badass. But yeah, no, it's really cool. Can I... It's black and red and gold? Let's just cart that off to the garden. It's clearly innate, so it won't blow up, but... I, I just want to have it in my bedroom. Just to, you know... Complete the ambiance. <laughs> We're leaving as soon as Selfie comes back. We're on standby till then. Everybody, chill. It doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded this garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her and... And? You know, ever since I met all of you... I've been doing some thinking for the first time ever. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Why did this sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? Hmm. wonder if she was living a normal life before all this. Well, we could ask the headmaster whenever we felt like he was married. <laughs> That's a nice bench. That's a pretty nice bench. That was like open wide, bro. Bro. Just because he's man spreading doesn't mean he's doing anything dirty. Sometimes it's just comfortable. It's fine as long as you're not on like public transport or something. <laughs> Why the search for alone? Alone? Inviting score back to the past? Whereas the sorceress searches for it. Could it be the sorceress is trying to make that journey into the past too? Wistis has a good head on her shoulders. No wonder she got promoted so quickly. I gotta do something to show that Selfie can depend on me. Yeah, maybe if you'd taken the fucking shot. <laughs> all of this would have been dealt. Ooh, basketball. It doesn't roll, though. It just slides. <laughs> Journey of the past, like some Anastasia. They do that in Anastasia? I do not remember that movie, man. A lot of crossed arms here. Everybody's kind of emo, man. Everyone's all defensive. <laughs> Tell that to all the men in my country using public transport. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, 
it feels nice, okay? Look, manspreading is very comfortable when you... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Once somebody actually wants to sit next to you, then obviously you got to close them legs, man. You got to crush yourself up into the corner. I'm a big dude with like big broad shoulders. So I always, yeah, being on like a bus in London where there was just, just everybody was packed into the buses. It was nice when you could manspread, but in general, yeah, you have to like uh, just crush yourself into the corner. Turn your legs to the side. Ugh. Don't miss that. I do not miss that at all. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks so much for coming all the way out here, everyone. Cheer up, eh? Thanks. <laughs> I mean, she's already cheery now. I, I, I'm imagining that a lot of people died, but she's just happy there's a couple. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I'm gonna get even. I want my revenge. Um... Yes? Do we... have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know... to avoid any bloodshed. Yo, what the... What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way... so we wouldn't have to fight anymore. What are you getting at? If someone can come up with something, that'd be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared. Uneasy. All they do is complain. And just pretend to be thinking. He's so overly dramatic. <laughs> the way he had to walk out of the shot. God damn it. They criticize others. But in the end, they can't do anything either. Rainoa, why all this all of a sudden? What do you expect from me? I grew up in Garden. I'm a seed. Do you understand? School, this would probably work better if you were saying this out loud. <laughs> you even said her name in your head, my boy. <laughs> Squall, you have to voice your feelings or else I won't understand. You were part of a resistance movement in Timber, right? Unlike others who were all talk, you took to your weapons and fought. And now you're saying all this? What happened to you? I guess... I'm getting scared. Sometimes when I'm with all of you, I... feel like we're on the same wavelength. You know? But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up and... I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. Once I catch up, I wonder. Is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? That's... Fuck. That's way... Whoa. I did not remember how deep this was, or I guess I just didn't understand it at the time, even just the last time I played this, which was only like... Definitely less than 10 years ago. But yeah, she's basically saying, when you guys start to fight, you don't just try to end the battle. You guys get fucking frenzied. You murder people. <laughs> she's like, are you guys going to be okay? Is there going to be a point where you step off the battlefield and you're still battle raged, where you're hardened, where there's nothing left of your gentle selves? So yeah, that's all. Oh, that thinking is actually really interesting. Rhinoa wants peace. Yeah, Rhinoa only fights because she has to. Whatever she has to do, she'll do. But then when she's done, she goes back to being the gentle Rhinoa. Whereas she's worried if they keep up this fight, they're just going to get to the point where life is going to be a battlefield. They'll never be able to step off. They'll never be able to calm down. That's deep. Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that... Rhinoa, I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. Did I just misread that entire fucking thing? <laughs> did I? Is she, does she just mean she's scared that someone's going to die and she's not going to be strong enough to help? Maybe that's what she meant. <laughs> maybe I read way too deeply into that. Or maybe this is the, dif the difference between them. Is that Irvine thinks she's still talking about like not being strong enough and not fighting hard enough. And what she means is them not being able to step up the battlefield. Anyway. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so, I was in an orphanage. Oh, it's this scene. Plenty of kids, 
all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorceress War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. Irvi, wanna play? I really liked this girl, and it made me so happy just talking to her. Shelfie, what you playing? Why? Oh, even as four-year-olds. <laughs> My OTP? I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about that part. I, I remember the rest. Yeah, here we go. Sorry, I'll shut up. Was that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. An old house made of stone. By the ocean? You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. Hey, why didn't you tell us? Yes, why didn't you tell us? Because you two seem to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Sefi and bossy little Quisty. That is just so weird. Huh? <laughs> hey, do you guys remember shutting off fireworks? That was... This way. They were all together as kids. My least favorite plot hole, but it's cute. I... I don't think it's a plot hole. It's convenient as fuck, <laughs> but it can be explained by some of the stuff later. Little ghosty squall. It's fate. Is it fate? Or is it the people who controlled them and brought them here? And there's little baby squall. Okay, kiddo. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. He was a kid, school. Stop judging yourself so harshly. It's okay to miss people who you loved who aren't there anymore. Irvine really got one important scene, but I love him so much. I I forgot. Genuinely, this is the first time that I've remembered that he and he liked self even back as a child. That improves his character so much. Except. He's still trying to sleep with everyone else at the same time. <laughs> How about this? Yeah. The ocean. The lighthouse. We did set off fireworks. Yo! Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks. I'm telling. I'm gonna tell on you. Cry, baby Zell. Go back to bed. If I remember this... Wait. This is normal. <laughs> Fuck. If I remember this, does that mean I was there too? We all got in big trouble. Then what about my parents in Balaam? The dinks in Balaam must have adopted you. Yep, that's probably it. I... was here. Yo, come on. Stop it. Machu and help. <laughs> Look at fucking baby. Sorry. Cry baby Zell. I fucking love his hair. And that's the same shirt he wears in Kingdom Hearts. Who's that? Na 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 na. Stop teasing me, Safer. There we go. Oh my goodness. Safer. My arch enemy. <laughs> no. He's school's rival, bro. He, he just didn't see you as anything. <laughs> wow, he was there too. Well. The fact that Irvine remembered this the whole time as well was kind of crazy. Safer. Safer was always safer. Zell. Always crying and screaming. Irvine. Sorry, don't remember you. Quistus looked adorable as a little baby. Quistus, I think you were difficult to deal with. Selfie, always full of energy.
Um, I wasn't kidding when I said they were all childhood friends. Hell yeah. <laughs> I I remembered most of that. The one thing I forgot was him straight up saying he had a crush on Selfie when she, they were both kids. That's adorable. Safer was there too. Except for Rhinoa, we were all there. Hey, that means... They've just figured it out. Yeah. I was there too. I... Sis... I was always waiting for Sis to come back. I'm... all alone. But I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, Sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. I didn't turn out okay at all. This L. L. Alone. So alone was Sis. She was a bit older than us, and we all used to call her Sis. Quistus, Zell, Selfie, Irvine, Safer, Alone, and myself. Yeah. I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is, but we were definitely together. Even as a kiddo, he manages to be edgy. That's not edgy. That's just adorable. Until, you know, the whole, like, I'll take care of myself became, I don't need anybody. Relationships just drag you down and make you sad. <laughs> how this little ball of sunshine becomes cool. Exactly how we just saw. He first started with the whole, like, sis, I miss you. And then started to think, this hurts too much. I never want to experience this again. And then he put up walls so that he'd never have to feel that way again if he never connected with anyone ever again. You mean, sis is alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. She's part of our orphanage, gang. My bro, you forgot about her up until this point. Does that really count? You didn't even remember who she was. Thank you, Selfie. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you, too. Anyway, this is too many feelings for me. I'm going to leave. Why leave? Let's keep talking. Where's Rhinoa, for one thing? We're having this lovely flashback. Where the shit is Rhinoa? <laughs> it's pretty scary. We've forgotten all these things. So Ma and Pa are my real parents? I wonder where the orphanage is. Hmm. So Sis was alone, huh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, Squall. You kept hogging her for yourself. You sure have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same was Safer, too. You two must have been in Garden by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage, and nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Trebia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so odd that you would forget. I... remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home, so I came to garden at the age of 10. That was when I first noticed Safer in school. Safer in school were always fighting. Yeah, Christus always used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Safer was a kid who always needed to be the center of attention. But school always used to ignore him, but eventually they would end up fighting. Score could have easily walked away from it, but he always took up the challenge. <laughs> I fucking love that. They were rivals right from the way of age five. <laughs> he should have just ignored him, but Score, almost in tears, would say, I gotta do best by myself or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean, alone's place. <laughs> no, Quistus, you were trying to get him into bed. Don't lie to yourself now. You were not trying to be the big sister. <laughs> Safer, still desperate for attention. School still seeking stability. Yeah, their childhoods completely control them, man.
That's one thing that I love about this game. I saw a bunch of people saying they didn't like this plot point, and I, I can get why. It is a bit cliche, over the top, but I still like it, and I think they do, like, defend it a bit later on in the story. I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about school. I thought it was... love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor. When did you ever... But I've come to realize it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that Lincoln had. <laughs> this is the most backtracking I've ever seen anyone do to preserve their, like, confidence. She's like, oh no, it wasn't that I was desperate to get in bed with school. It was just that I wanted to be his big sister. I wanted to take alone space. I wanted to make him feel better. Um, not physically. No, of course not. No. <laughs> it's a good plot point, but the problem is it's too convenient. Yeah, that's what I meant by like a little bit um, cliche and out there, over, like overstretching. It's very much a jumping the shark kind of moment. Try thinking about how actual orphans feel. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. They talk about how, oh, Skull and Safer never got adopted. So, oh, they went to, yeah, they became fucking military trained at age five. It's crazy enough. But Quistus has a very bad life as well, man. The fact that she just casually says, Yes, I remember after I was adopted, it didn't go well. And then she got thrown into garden at age 10. Which means she was adopted for maybe four, five, six years. And then they just essentially gave up on her and just put her in military academy too. That's fucked up. And she just gl glances over that without a, much of a thought. Zhao just ended up there for no major reason, which is kind of funny. Like, he had a good adopted family. They just decided, nah, you're going to become a seed. <laughs> Poor Quistus. Yeah. Maybe that's why she was trying to find stability with school as well. He was like, school's so broken, kind of like me. Maybe I can fix him by being his big sister. Maybe I can take that spot. Quote, unquote, big sister. <laughs> she wanted him to call her Onei-chan. But not in the not in the comfy way. She wanted it to be more of a Oh Nichan, please. I need <laughs> sorry. Oh well. We done? We're not done. Yo, this is getting out of hand. We're forgetting way too much. A misunderstood love. Actually, I'd completely given up when Rhinoa came into the picture. Hey! It must be the same for Safer. I'm sure Safer has forgotten his childhood too. But whenever he sees Skull, his inner feelings start to boil and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids. How's that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using the girlfriends. <laughs> the girlfriends provide us their power. But the girlfriends make their own place inside our brains. So you're saying that the area is where our memories stored? No. That's just a rumor the girlfriend critics are spreading. <laughs> God damn it, Quisters. Literally, this has already been spoken about by people. And now you've got all the evidence you need in front of you. Selfie lost barely any of her memories because Trebia Garden doesn't do it. They literally said at the beginning of the game, Balam Garden is the only one that advocates the use of girlfriends so intensely. From Onichan to Sensei. True. God, there are all kinds of tags when it comes to the Quistus school relationship. It started off with her wanting to be the Onechan, then it turned into her being the Sensei. And then she was like, you can call me Sensei here too. <laughs> and then she finally realized, ah, he's more into Rhinoa. Well, fuck. You could have said grapefruit, but girlfriends, you don't want to know how bad the word grapefruit can be taken. That's a much worse connotation than just girlfriend. Don't Google grapefruit. What would it be? Probably Urban Dictionary. Don't Google Grapefruit Urban Dictionary because I promise you that's worse than girlfriend. <laughs> A lot of urges have overlap, but that doesn't stop them from being distinct either. True. No, 100%. And yeah, the feelings can get confused. I'm just saying. When we met Quistus, she was pushing hard for school to, you know, have some fun. <laughs> I haven't heard of that term in years. I know, right? <laughs> Would have liked a little more foreshadowing the game. I remember info suggesting the memory loss that you could encounter before the being really easy missable in the game. Yeah, I literally only remember the one line. I remember people talking about like, oh yeah, but Lamb Garden are really intense. They use their GFs and nobody else does because they're worried. So yeah, it's just a very small thing. 
they definitely like if they ever made a proper remake like ff7 remake style of this they need to expand the shit out of that they need to expand that and maybe have like a couple different flashbacks that aren't just school by himself in the orphanage but just show some of the other kids just don't use their names then it would be more foreshadowed and it would be more like oh, those other kids with these guys no way you were right about grapefruit and urban dictionary i warned you shiki you googled it after i said don't do it so <laughs> they need to explain a lot of things in the remake oh yeah the, the end game stuff of this is even way 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 weirder <laughs> No, that's just a rumor. The girlfriend critics are spreading. So if we keep relying on the girlfriends, we won't be able to do... remember a lot of things? There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. And how is it that I remember while everyone else is forgotten? Well, in my case, I haven't junctioned a girlfriend until recently. As you can imagine, my amazing stellar personality doesn't get me many girlfriends. But that's why I remember a lot more than you guys. While you guys were all having fun with your girlfriends, I was studying. My memory's impeccable. <laughs> How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with girlfriends was when you came to Balaam Garden, right? Yeah. Oh, do I have to engage? Yep, okay. Just, just continue the conversation, man. Is it because of the girlfriend that we forget? Is that why other forces refrain from using girlfriends? Oh, look at her little dance. I have a confession to make. I can be your girlfriend, Irvine. Damn, Anton. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a girlfriend inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that girlfriend for a while. So I have experience with girlfriends too. Yo, that's kind of young to be experimenting, but good for you, Selfie. I'm glad you, I'm glad you stepped out and admitted that too. But, but it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that girlfriend. It must be the girlfriend's fault. Don't blame her. You don't even know her side of the story. What should we do? What should we... Oh. What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? So what do you want to do? You want to stop using girlfriends now? As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the girlfriend. <laughs> the fuck? That sounds so messed up. There's a price I have to pay for that. I'll gladly pay it. Hey, I know. Let's all keep a diary. That way we'll always have something to remind us. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe. That's for the best. Yeah. I don't care if I forget about my childhood. When Safer used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents and Balaam. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey, do you all remember Matron? She was always wearing black. Let's see. Matron, dressed in black? She's the... She was fine as fuck. Look at the booty, even in the long dress. Ooh, very kind. Long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. I see a resemblance. Matron. They look like... Wait. I just pictured her face and... Look alike. No, that's not it. Matron's name is Adea Kramer. Matron is Sorceress Adea. I love this fucking song. Matron? Sorceress Adea? Why is the matron? Why? You're wondering why matron would take over a country or file missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. You're probably right. Hear me out. Seed and garden were all matron's idea, right? I'm not a seed, but I share the same feelings of all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorceress, right? This is strange. That's right. It was when I was being tortured by Safer. He wanted to know what Seed was. Matron should know. But Matron is Sorceress Adea. There's no denying that. What does this all mean? Skull, you listening? 
I get it now why he couldn't shoot. Yeah, there were much deeper feelings in there. It wasn't just it being his first ever kill. But to be fair, he said he choked on that many times before as well. So it isn't just that he already knew Matron and he knew who she was and didn't want to hurt her because she raised him essentially as a mother for a while. Um, it was also the fact that, yeah, it was still, it would have been his first time killing someone. There was a lot of pressure on him. If he missed, he knew he was fucked. So yeah, it was a lot of things. But yeah, part of it was also he knew she was Matron. So like, this is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh yeah. I understand what Reno is saying. I understand. But I'm still gonna fight. I wanna stay true to everything I've stood for. And I'm sure it's the same for everyone else. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we would have to face Matron. You've all heard this before. Our life has infinite possibilities. I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there would only be one. From the limited possibilities I faced, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of our girlfriends. But I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together. But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow, we're together again. Just like old times, though a lot's changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matron? Or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least it'll keep us together a little longer. Yeah, let's do it. We can't run away forever. It's just such a bummer. Can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know. It sounds right. We can't run from her forever. I know. It's up to you. We're gonna fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all. Come with us. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. Oh, a score actually sounds like a leader for the first time. That's fucking adorable. Look, look. A gift from the fairies. I like that they spelled, spelled fairies the old way as well. It's snowing. Yo, you want to go check on the day's orphanage? I wonder what it's like now. You might find a clue. Who? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? It probably has to do with something that happened in the past. But the past is the past. It's over and done with. Despite what tr oh. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find, but... Let's head for Adeo's house. Ah, let's fucking go school, my boy. You're finally a leader. Right, Noah? No, that's okay, bro. That would be really funny. <laughs> I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless? I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. I think that's what everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. But sometimes you got to. You already said that about the Fisherman's Horizon stuffs. But yeah, I really liked that. I like the emotional development. I like the reveal. Definitely there should have been more foreshadowing. <laughs> and definitely it is kind of ass pulley <laughs> But they defend it a little bit with the whole like GFs, to, like replace your memories kind of thing. And some other stuff later on, so I don't mind it too much. When Safer says his romantic dream is to be the sorceress's knight, it's mommy's issues. 
That, mm, romance doesn't... <laughs> You need to think about the word romance. Romance doesn't always mean romance as in love. Uh, romance can be like a romantic epic, a chivalrous knight. That's more what he means. His romantic dream of becoming the sorceress's knight, of being so important, so heroic, being the person who saves the world. He's just on the wrong side right now. But yeah, even though he doesn't realize it, he's back with Mommy. But yeah, no, he, I, I don't think he wants to fuck mommy. <laughs> I don't think it's that. <laughs> I think it's ideology, although I don't think it's been quite mentioned yet. Yeah, I mean, he's talked about his romantic dream. He's talked about being the sorcerer, sorceress's knight. And he's talked about wanting to be, like, even his childhood, they talked about him wanting to be the center of attention. He's got main character syndrome. He's got protagonist syndrome. Whatever he does, he feels like he's in the right. He feels like he's doing the right thing. And that even if the entire whole fucking world is against him it's just him against the world and he'll eventually win he'll become that legendary of a hero so yeah safe is an interesting character and he sticks to his ideology and unfortunately that dragged fujin and raijin into it and that's why i love everything that fujin and raijin said about everything else as well where they were like he's got a lot of people that follow him but we're his only actual friends you know they're the ones who actually have his back Whereas if Sorceress Adea said, okay, Safe is no longer part of our party, kill him, the rest of the Galbadian army would immediately turn on him. Fujin and Raijin would die for him. Complicated too. Everyone knows Safer wants attention and respect, but he's got a lot of holes in his heart. Sure he's out in my book, but canon portrayal doesn't seem lusty, really. I mean, to be fair, for all we know, they're smashing every night right now. <laughs> True. There's backstory. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's more romances in the genre. The like chivalrous knights protecting their ladies living by a code of ethics. Romance daughters in the relationship. Romance? Yes, yes. It's the romance of the three kingdoms kind of romance. There we go. Smash. Next question. <laughs> I mean, shit. Adea was fine enough as it is, but then you see her as matron and you're like, mm, yeah, fair. Honestly, I love how they've gone through all of this and their first reaction isn't, yo, how the fuck does Sid not know about this? Sid was married to her. Surely their next immediate move should be, hey, Headmaster Sid, you were married to a day I did. She invented the garden. Were you with us in the orphan? Like, what the fuck, dude? Do you want to tell us some of our history, please? <laughs> oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. Fuck me. Roger. Bum, 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 bum. We had an Ariana Grande in chat. Interesting. Shumi Village. Okay, so where is Adea's house? Are they not going to mark it on the map for me? Because that would be kind of sad. Ah, shit. Do I have to explore the entire world? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, this is what we're doing now, chat. Selfies card. No, I gave up on cards. I gave up on cards. We're just not going to do that. Do, do, do. It was making me too angry, was the thing. Like, I love this game and the whole point of doing it. Wait, what? Nita, what's going on? The gauge is going berserk. What do you mean, buddy? The gauge where? What was that? Are these mountains? Huh? The gauge is going berserk. Huh? The gauge is going... Okay. It's just that giant hole in the ground. You know what? I don't care. Not my problem. <laughs> Not my problem. New journey, new places. Yeah. I wonder if it was actually that creepy looking ruin we found and what I thought was Sentra before. Giant hole? Yeah, we're not dealing with that. But yeah, anyway, the reason I'm not doing Triple Triad anymore is because I'm trying to just essentially de-stress by playing one of my favorite games of all time. And... That just makes me stressed. And I don't like that then I end up getting grumpy towards people in chat as well and like snapping at people for no reason when people are just trying to make jokes and stuff. So we'll just not do card game. We might be able to salvage it and get all the cards that we want at the end of the game when it comes to the Queen of the Cards storyline. But yeah, I just... I don't want to add that stress into everyone's life. This week is supposed to be about relaxation until we get the Archivist release. And then things are going to be a lot more crazy around here. Triple Triad would be good if not for the, <laughs> the region rules. Exactly. That's the shame. Like, I loved playing Triple Triad all through disc one. It was so much fun. 
And then just the fact that they make it so damn hard. Oh shit, we're back here, whoops. <laughs> the fact that they make it so hard to change the rules in the remake version is just so painful. Oh, what the fuck? Did I just accidentally run into the other garden? Um, this might be a problem. Squall, take a look. I love the way you pilot this thing too. Oh, we are 50 shades of fucked, everybody. <laughs> it's time for war. What do you think? They probably know we're here too. If not, we'll make the first move. The battle is inevitable. Sorceress is with them, huh? So this is going to be the final battle. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you can't really say that when we know there's four discs in this game and we aren't technically on disc three yet. <laughs> I hope so. What should I do first? I have to give orders to everybody. It's my responsibility. I have to try to keep it simple. If I give out too many orders, it could lead to chaos. What should I say? Come on, think. There's no time. My feelings on this. The garden's course? Prepare for the attack. Prepare our defense. Call my comrades. What to do with the hot dogs? <laughs> Take care of the junior classmen. Okay, let's do the actual important things. Um, call my comrades. And then... Prepare for the attack, because we're making the first move. Take care of the junior classmen, because they're babies. And then, preferably, then you worry about preparing your defense. The garden's course. And finally, my feelings on this, because we're finally opening up. Give out your orders when you're ready. This is Squall speaking. This is an emergency, so listen carefully. No, I'm not going to waste time talking about hot dogs, everybody. <laughs> Cell can go get his hot dogs if he wants to. We're dealing with war right now. <laughs> We're going into battle against Galbadia Garden. As you may all know, Safer is with them. I plan to settle everything once and for all with this battle. The Garden will proceed straight ahead. Set speed of 50% in case we need to take evasive maneuvers. First and second class sabers, assemble in the parking lot. Those with MG rank 3 or above, head for the second floor deck and await instructions. Be sure to warm up. The enemy will probably come aboard. You must concentrate our forces at the front gate and the quad. If your student ID number is even, report to the quad. If it's odd, report to the front gate. Quistus, Zell, Selfie, come up to the bridge right away. Those who have student ID numbers ending with an 8, take care of the junior classmen. I think that was a bit unnecessary. People tend to get a little wild in battle. They just need to hear what's necessary. Fuck you, Nita! I don't think you wanted me to talk about my feelings. <laughs> Supply is core in a war? Yeah, but we're not planning on doing war for like weeks. Irvine is left off. So is, so is Rhinoa, man. <laughs> School taking charge is so hot. Help. Yeah, honestly, just any dude like take it. Well, and any woman as well. Anybody taking charge, it just instantly is like, oh, command me, please. <laughs> it's, it's an instant swooning kind of moment when somebody, especially if it's somebody that's not known to take command and it's just like a chill person that's suddenly like, okay, let me take command of this. You guys over there, prepare the defense. You guys, it's time for counterattack. That shit's always sexy as fuck. Hey, 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 what's up? I'm not invited. Um, go down? We don't go down. Oh, they took away my fucking people again. <laughs> Why do you do this? Okay, I guess I'll go down. But yeah, this has some of my favorite cutscenes. Why can't I go down now? There we go. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> my favorite kind of gap moe. Hell oh, yeah. No, it's a bunch of battle and probably a bunch of us would die, but we don't have time to defend the underclassmen. I know, right? If they can't defend themselves, fuck them. I thought I was part of the... Sorry about that. Why am I always the odd man out? Because you brought up our cringe, sad childhood memories. Fuck you, Irvine. What do you want us to do? I want you guys to help me lead the others. When Zell gets here, we'll divide into two teams. Zell, um, I think he's taking a nap. Yeah, he said he hasn't slept at all lately. What? Oh, yeah. Well, we're at war. Go fucking wake him up. Are you shitting me? Rhinoa wakes me up all the time. 
Somebody go slap this man. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. It's our little secret. What's he doing? We don't have any time. I'm gonna go check the quad. Who's coming with me? They took away my two actual fr- mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is fine. Everything's fine. You know what? I just got a new weapon for Selfie. I want Selfie. Selfie wants to avenge her garden. This Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. No, I know why they took away Raidoa. But, man. <laughs> Quistus, find Zell. You guys work together and lead the team at the front gate. All right. We still have some time, so don't bother equipping your girlfriend just yet. All right, let's go to the quad. He actually warned me, which I guess means we're not going to even get into battle. We're going to have to switch to the other side. Score, what about Rhinoa? Rhinoa. You guys take care of her. <laughs> That's so callous. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's fucking... I fucking love the war between the gardens. Come at me, Galbadia. I've already boarded you once and I will board you again. This isn't the quad score. Just gonna say that. Wait, maybe that guy needs some of my confidence now. He's normally complaining about my confidence. What are you doing? What's your status? Indirect magic operative level two, sir. You're a first class MG. Report to the deck immediately. Yes, sir. What about you guys? Fire platoon, level three trainee, sir. Fire platoon, level one trainee, sir. Rescue team, A medic, sir. You two head for the deck. Medic, report to the defense team. Yes, sir. Yo, school finally became what he always should have been. Let's fucking go. Report to your positions. Yes, sir. Let me talk to this tiny child. You. Where, where, are you, where are you going, tiny child? There's no class today. Also hot dogs? No, never hot dogs. Oh, good. The kids are being defended here. I'm scared a little. I can't do it. I'm too nervous. Being nervous will reduce your fighting ability by 20%. Just relax. Look, I finally mastered the Faraga class magic. The little child has Faraga? Holy shit. Pay attention or you're going to burn yourself. <laughs> He's even doing okay with the kids now. Let's go. Hey, you. Received a cottage. You're supposed to be in the classroom. <laughs> Get back to class, child. <laughs> That's adorable. Put in the team. You know what? That would be... He knows Fire Aga. He's probably better than some of our members. Oh, I am actually going to the quad. They just stopped me on this floor for no reason. I mean, I guess for the flavor text of telling everybody where to go. Which, yeah, was fun. Took us 20 hours? I know, right? <laughs> Took us so long just to draw the fucking magic. What are you idiots doing standing around? Okay, I can't talk to them. You know what? Keep standing around. You're going to be in charge of the team at the quad, right? I'll be there later. Good luck. We're ready, sir. Our morale is soaring because of your leadership. I did good. It's an honor to fight with you, sir. Oh, everyone respects school so much now. Oh, oh they threw an, ex an extra saver in. That's not good. <laughs> Shit's got to go real bad real quick. <laughs> school gets Firaga, Firaga at disc two. Yeah, that's what I mean, though. School's like 17. That child is like six. <laughs> The enemy will most likely come in through the front gate in the quad. I'm so excited to serve on your team. Yo, only I serve around here. Do you see this jacket? Yo, they made a fucking retinue for me. This is sick. You guys are over here. Back up the advance guards. No, oh, even Zell's learning leadership. They're so blurry. Yeah, if they don't move, they just didn't bother with the remaster. This is the big one, guys. We gotta win no matter what. Sup, Squall? I got this place covered. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, yeah. Your announcement woke me up. Uh, my student ID is even, so I'm supposed to be here, right? What the frick was Zell up to? They're hiding something from me. 
Hey, yo, Squall, come here for a sec. It's about your ring. This might not be the time, but... What is it? Give me your ring, will ya? I just want to borrow it for a while. I won't lose it or anything. Come on, what do you say? Why do you need it? And is this the time? Uh... I can't tell you that. Come on, just give it to me. You can trust me. What the hell? I like this ring. I... Guess it's alright if he just wants to borrow it. Ugh, fine, Zell. Now have my stupid ring. Wow, he wore it on top of the glove. <laughs> I actually had that ring too. It has a uh, yeah. In fact, one of because uh, I had like three of the sleeping lion hot necklaces, one tribal one, one classic one, and one that came there with a collection that had like the necklace, school's ring, and where I know his wing ring, 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 ring. Oh, and where I know his necklace actually, the little feather. <laughs> God damn it! Don't lose it. Yeah, thanks, man. I didn't think you were going to give it to me. Rhinoa's going to be so happy. Zell, you talk too much, you idiot. Rhinoa. All right, Squall, leave this place up to me. Zell, you're here? Oh, yeah, Rhinoa's here. Guys, I'm going to fight too. I don't want to just hide. I know I can fight. I want to fight alongside everybody. I hope this is the last time we have to fight in our home. Uh, we have to do what we have to do. The enemy will most likely try to come in through here, so we'll definitely have to hold them off right here. I have to fight to prove to myself that I can do it, that I belong with you guys. Take care of yourself. Aw, oh, school. My baby boy cares now. He's a good boy. Oh, we're not going that way. Zell is the worst person to keep a secret. She's not... You can at least learn how to line up, Rhino. <laughs> Come on. This is fine. She's got to do her best. Score. Get back to the bridge right now. Zell, I'm counting on... The, I, wow, that was dirty. Zell, I'm counting on you. Good luck, everyone. It's time to get it on. Well, that was having a fun time. <laughs> Rhino is ultimate support. Yeah. And she has some of the best limit breaks. I know what it's like to wear rings on gloves. You'd think it would be annoying as shit. Because, I mean, that's just, like, extra material and... Well, I guess it would be easier to take them off, at least. Look. Oh, it's time. That's so sick. Safer. Come at me, bro. Been waiting for this rematch for a while. See if you have the sorceress to save your ass this time. Safer's in charge over there. They're heading right for us. Just keep going. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Look at that giant joystick. This is fucking sick. Yeah, this is the cutscene I love. I'm gonna turn the music up. They have fucking jet propelled bikes. God, I love that shit. I know I said we were gonna slay, but they are slaying way harder. Go right. Damn, Nita, that leg. The enemy garden is right by us. Quad team, watch out. Go straight ahead to the left. We gotta stop him from coming in. And don't forget to equip your girlfriend. Yep, okay. I really shouldn't have <laughs> prepared the other team. This is fine. It always changes HP. Don't be silly. Why does it only ask me sometimes? I love this music. Yeah. That cutscene was great. And there's one coming up in a minute that's even better. Come on. Come on. They're dead ahead. Oh, yeah. 
Rainoa, here you go. Zell, again. Battlefield, my boy. <laughs> I got it from Squall. Like I said, I'll make you one just like it. Till then, hold on to it for me, will ya? What did you say to him? I just told him to hand it over. Aww. It looks cool, but it's too big. Talk about it later. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, for the love of God. Literally a war right now, kids. Deal with the relationship shit after this. Oh, God, we're crashing. Oh, fuck. Um. Right now. This is when it gets fucking sick. You got this, girl. Climb. Damn it. I can't reach her. We need a rope or something. Renoa, hold on. We'll be right back. And immediately abandoned. Oh, that's so sick. Um, come on. Isn't there anything we can use? Yeah, no, she's gonna die, my boy. <laughs> come on, come on on a journey. Ooh, they green now. Boom, boom. Oh, wait, what do they have? <gasps> Water, finally! And arrow. Well, shit. <laughs> I mean... So, chat, how are you guys doing? <laughs> a green one? Yeah, we got the paratroopers coming in. She's got this. Yeah, I'm sure I know I can climb. If nothing else, she literally has float magic, so she'll be fine. She needs Nathan Drake's arm and grip strength. Or one of the assassins from Assassin's Creed. That would work, too. Oh, fuck you. You know what? You die. I don't like you anymore. How dare you slow me down? Oh, that was... Okay. <laughs> that works, too. Super relaxed. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. I get the haystack? What? What does that mean? <laughs> Loving this drama, good times. Yeah, we're actually going to war. And immediately slowed again. Get murdered. Rhinoa Auditore? The quest got in pace. Somehow I can't imagine her saying that. <laughs> Pretty sure I need some people. Yeah, that's useless. Go for elemental attack, Jay. You're doing fine. Summon magic 30? No. Well, you don't have anything else to learn. Fuck it. Summon magic 10. Badge bonus. Perfect. HP plus 80. GFH. Nope. <sighs> HP plus 80. Auto reflect. GFHP plus 20. Cover. Spirit plus 20. Spirit plus 20. We had a few that were doing stupid things. There we go. -na 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 -na. Squall, they're coming in from the front gate. No, I want to be on that team, please. Get recover, it's OP. What does recover actually do? Is it just like life, but as an ability? Oh, I remember you. You're a pain in my ass. Ow. <laughs> Get countered. Text life shall. Nah, you're good. Get carded. I don't think you're above the age of 18. Oh, the double counter. Let's go. Hey, we got a free card. I need those for something. I can't remember what. But those cards are important for card modding. Squall. Reyno is in trouble. Squall, she's in danger. Damn Squall, listen up. The enemy is attacking the classroom. The junior classroom classmen are there. We have to do something fast. The enemy is heading this way. Squall, did you hear me? Yeah. But she's not the only one in danger. Didn't think you were so heartless, Squall. Rhinoa's gonna die. Don't you realize that? We have to divide into three groups. Who should come with me? Selfie and Quistus. Quistus and Irvine or Irvine and Selfie. I I mean... 
Why can't I take Zell? I like my boy Zell. Um, Christus and Irvine. Irvine and Selfie. Christus, you go with you. All right. Irvine, Selfie, come with me. We'll head for the classroom. Zell. Oh, Zell, you help Rhinoa. Do whatever it takes, all right? Leave it to me. Um, we're gonna get crashed into. Oh, damn, they rammed us. How the fuck is that heartless? He's not the only person that ex exists and he's in charge of everyone? Yeah. That was kind of a silly comment to make, honestly. They literally were just told, hey, the kids in the classroom are all gonna die. So yeah, there's a lot more going on than just her. And she said she wanted to fight. So, oh shit, those are the school's things. So she'll be fine. She's a big girl. She can handle herself. But yeah, I mean, it, it's still Rhinoa. School. Go to the 2F classroom. The enemy's coming in from the sky. We're going to the 2F classroom. Come on. This is still a cool fucking sequence of events, though. Zell the Imbo hero? Yeah. The one moment the game forbids you to pick who else you want. I mean, it locks you out of certain options a lot of times, but yeah, it was weird how it was like these specific two people. Score's gonna really regret it if Rhinoa ends up dying, though. Oh, here we go! The baby Gundams! The big responsibility of the leader of the garden? Exactly. He has to worry about everybody's lives, not just Rhinoa. Currently, there are a bunch of children about to be killed. There are people fighting for their lives at the two different directions of the ship. And now we have fucking paratroopers! <laughs> God, I love Gundam. Um, some dialogue is like, what? Well, they're still thinking like kids. School's, you know, trying to think like a leader a little bit now. What a waste, though. Just fly them in and fight. Cowards. That's so sick, though. Stay away from my kids. There were way more computers in this room than that, but okay. <laughs> Dispose of this garden as planned. Dispose? You little sea twerps. See who you think is a twerp when I shotgun ammo ya. Also go to sleep. Get him, Irvin! And they're all dead. <laughs> you don't fuck with a shotgun, baby! <laughs> Wait, let us move the computers first? I would love that. I would love if the battle actually started with school being like, Wait. We just got these computers. They're really expensive. They have all the new games. Selfie just put her diary on one. Can we just move them to the side of the room before we fight? I don't want them to get destroyed. <laughs> Shiva learned elemental defense. And Voxy leveled up. Sweet. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, elemental defense twice. That's not bad. Come on, baby boy. That was quick. Yeah, man, the shotgun just took them all out. <gasps> Did you see the little guy fly by in the window? That's so sick. Okay, I dealt with the classroom, so I guess I can go save Rhinoa now. I mean, I guess. I have to. It's not like I want to help her or anything. <laughs> I'd be me in a life or death situation. Please, not my PC. I'm not going to lie. If my house was on fire, <laughs> much as I should be worrying about my, about my own life, first thing I do, get dog the fuck out of there. Second thing I do... But try to grab my PC. Not the whole setup, just like the main CPU. Just like the main big box. I try to get that out of there. <laughs> Everything else, not so bad. The cats would get out by themselves. They can jump from any height. They'd be fine. All the other expensive shit can be replaced. But the PC, man. Dog, cats, PC. Exactly. And your cats too. My cats aren't dumb. They, they know how to jump out windows. They'll be fine. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, we've got all the colors here. Do any of you have anything useful? 
I have Thunder Blizzard Scan. Nope, you're all kind of useless. So you must die. There we go. Doggo in the brick. <laughs> the brick. My computer not a brick. They'd be a brick if it tries to survive a fire. Valid point foo. Be ready with fire extinguishing your PC. That's always a good idea, honestly. When I got into such a situation in reality, I immediately took the laptop. At least it's a laptop. That's easier to deal with. Oh, God. Zell, did you save my girlfriend? Not the girlfriend I have junction, but... Oh, nope, she's dead. Oh, apparently I wasn't meant to come here. And Rhino is dead. Well, shit. It is what it is. Ow, one shot, really? We'll just ignore her for now? Exactly. PC tower is too heavy. Well, you'd have to, man. <laughs> I mean, even if you just throw it out the window, it's better than it being in the fire. You might be able to save the hard drive and some of the components after that. M m most of them would probably just be exploded, but... She's fine. She's got enough arm strength. Yeah, she can hang on for days. I'm sure she's doing great. Oh, the insta-death. And the counter! Let's fucking go. God, you can summon such stupid magic. Fine, that'll do. Go with Fire Aga. Yeah, it was something. Our, jewel <laughs> Our jewelry's been lost to Zrod Sedan as well. <gasps> no, I'll never get my ring back. That's the true horror in all of this. So where the fuck did it want me to go? Did it want me to go out to the second floor? Yeah, maybe it wanted me to step outside from up here. They just really didn't tell me where to go. Oh, maybe I had to talk to the children. Yeah, I probably... That makes sense. That's the more human thing to do. <laughs> that was so scary. You're gonna be alright. Follow that girl and listen to everything she says. Okay, no, it wasn't even that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. You can't go through here, either. I guess I have to go back to the entrance of the school. Literally, I've been everywhere else. So, <laughs> other than the third floor. You know what? I'll check the third floor. Maybe Nido will tell me something to do. Nido, what do I do next? Okay, you're not helpful either. Yeah, okay. That's... that's I, I, I... Fuck it. Uh, I guess we're going down to... The, the, the beginning of the... No! Stop doing that! Let me choose which floor I go to. Ooh, money! Always love it when my salary comes in out of nowhere. Wait. Where the hell do I go? Nothing's... Am I insane? Did they tell me where to go and I forgot? You need others to leave your party? That 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 they're, they're just not doing that. I I went to the entrance. This game really just doesn't tell you sometimes. Yeah, this is getting weird. Haste would probably be good. But we're gonna die, so Oh we back? Ah. Okay. Your leg got caught off, would it hurt? Yes? <laughs> why, why wouldn't it? <laughs> what kind of question is that? But welcome back, everybody. That was... God. It's been like three weeks since we had one of those. I was hoping it would just stay not happening for a while. We've been doing a, we've been doing a lot of long streams recently as well. I thought we were free of it. But welcome back, everybody. If you refresh, we should be back. Um, there's currently no sound, but that's because it's paused. I paused it pretty much as soon as it fucked up, so yeah. Let's go! Oh, we're about to be out of shotgun ammo. Where have I? No, you're weak. 
But welcome back, everyone. Sorry about the interruption. I kind of wish Renza Kukin would show a zero when the enemy was dead. Somebody's dead. Yeah, Selfie's dead. Oh, she lived! Maybe I should unsilence Squall too. <laughs> He's not weak. Well, he didn't do, you know, murder good. <laughs> Showed I learned HP plus 80. Let's fucking go. Showed I, what are you up to next? HP bonus, yes. Plus 30 bonus HP at everything. Fuck yes. And then... Whoever has Kyodai, we should junction that. And let's heal for up first. Why can't I... Oh, because he's silenced. <laughs> Shit, that works even out of battle. That's fucking harsh. Uh, this was mostly fine. Selfie, on the other hand, took a damn beating. Okay. Do you have any Asuna? Sweet! My sister's BL books came in. Also, what did I miss? Nah, not much. We're at war. So nothing special. <laughs> okay, so. I still don't know where to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try the quad again. Maybe I just had to interact with a different area. Maybe that's what went wrong. Selfie's still throwing it back. Yeah. She's just awesome like that. She worries about how she appears in battle. Oh shit, I didn't put on the HP plus. Junction. Who has it? Yep, him. Okay, goodbye HP plus 20. Hello HP plus 80. 75? He has 7,500 health now. That's insane. Do you want a hint? Nah, I'll ask for backseating if I need it. Bum, 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 bum. I feel like I've ran everywhere like twice and still nothing's happened. That's the kind of point when I'll be like, okay, guys, I'm, I'm done wasting you guys this time. Tell me where to go. Why must you slow me down? Oh, he's storing energy. Oh, Demi's going to hit pretty hard. Stop with the slow. I did like nothing, dude. Yay, another one of those cards. Awesome. Don't count on me this time, I forgot. Fair. <laughs> Ooh, running fire is a good item too. You sure you don't want to jump down there, Squall? Your GF kind of fell that way. No, there's definitely nothing to interact with here. That's weird. Where did Zell and Quistus and everybody else go? Okay, so I'm going to try second floor again. That's okay. I'm going to try entrance and then second floor one more time. And if nothing's happening, yeah, I'm going to ask you guys to just sack beat the shit out of me. Because I don't get where the fuck everyone's gone and why it won't let me go to the actual gate. Oh, you can even get the crit hit on a counter. I didn't know that. Ah, thank you for the gifted set memberships as well. That's a lot of health. That's crazy health. That means he'll probably hit critical state where he can do his limit break at like 2,000 health. Near enough. That's insane. Yeah, it just, it does not let me walk past these stupid barriers. They've really limited where I can actually go right now. So, I mean, it must be on the second or third floor, but the dude on the third floor would not talk to me, so... Uh, second floor? I must have missed something here. Me when I know, hee <laughs> hee. Very funny, Saku. You are a genius for knowing this part of the game. I bow down at your wisdom and epicness. Too dangerous here. Go to the infirmary. That did nothing. Just rins a kook in the barrier. Believe me, I wish I could. Stop silencing me. Such a dumb thing to have to cure between battles. Oh, someone learned something. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Right, he's out of things. 
It always gets sad when you start to get to that kind of point. GF recovery medicine refine. Nah, let's go with spirit plus 40. Try to get to a spirit boost ASAP. Maybe it's the emergency exit. No, definitely not the emergency exit. I, I feel like I've literally tried every option at this point. Well, we got our paycheck twice at least. <laughs> Finally, someone recognizes my greatness. Yeah, I get you now. Okay, third floor. Did I just not talk to Nita properly? Nita, 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 Nita. Okay, Sack beat me. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Remember having a difficult time here as a kid? I just, I'm so sure I've been everywhere. I've been to the front gate. I've been to the quad. I've been, I've been everywhere. I Was there like some person I didn't interact with? Some person I needed to talk to? I just, I'm so confused. Come on, Saku. I know you've been waiting for this. Parking lot? You literally can't get there. Bum, bum, bum. Wait. N yeah, no, because there are people stopping you. You got to find Dr. Kadawaki in the headmaster office. But I was just in the headmaster office. There's nothing there. Want help? Yeah. I do want help. And there's nobody in the headmaster's office. It's just Nida up here. You can't talk to him. Talk to the girl in the classroom again? I already talked to her twice. Eh, boop. Too dangerous to go to the infirmary. Wait, do I have to go around back? Oh my god, what? That's stupid. That's the stupidest fucking thing ever. Good work. Take them somewhere safe. Yes, sir. I... Why do you have to go around the back when it starts you at the front? That's so dumb. Come on, guys. Let's go. Squall. Squall. Now what? Squall, come up to the bridge. Dr. Kadawaki is here. What does she want? That might be the dumbest way I've ever gotten stuck in anything ever. <laughs> Two small hitbox for dialogue. Plus, it starts you on the other side. Which means that you literally have to run around the whole classroom to get to that girl. If they wanted you to talk to her specifically, why not start you right next to her on that side? So the natural thing to do would be to talk to her. <laughs> One small dialogue got you stuck. Yeah. Plus the fact that talking to the children did like nothing. He tells them, go to the infirmary. But they just don't actually do anything. He can't use magic, right? Damn it. There you go, Irvi. At least we'll soon get our cool cutscene now. Didn't realize you had to specifically talk to the older girl? Me neither. That just seemed dumb to me. Why not just make it you could talk to any of the three? Oh, little baby boy. Get up. You got this, seed girl. It hurts. It hurts. Are you okay? I can't believe they did this. Are you okay? Okay, so they don't matter. Bye. Suddenly, it doesn't matter if I talk to them anymore. Oh shit, you guys good? Uh, uh, our garden, we're finished. Help me. You know it's bad when the medics are asking for help. That's why quest markers became a thing. Yeah, well, it should have just been like when I talked to the students. It should have just done that dialogue. It should have been they were all three acting as the same. What's the situation? We were able to stop the first two waves of the attack, but our forces aren't looking too good. Many are injured. If they send another wave, I don't know if we can hold them. How's your team? Not good. The force at the front gate is still holding its ground, but barely. So, looks like this is it. Their garden has more experienced fighters. On the other hand, most of our troops are students who are still in training. Like school said, one more wave and we might be finished. 
Maybe I should have focused on attacking in the beginning in the beginning instead of concentrating on our defense. I literally selected attack first. Fuck you, Squall. <laughs> Safe is still with them, right? You said it yourself. There's no way you can run from him. It's kind of like your destiny to fight him. Looks like it's now or never. You've come this far already. What is there to think about? You're not going to run away, are you? Never. There's no way I'm going to run from him. Besides, attacking them might be our only chance. The only problem is, how are we going to board their garden? Say, how about if we crash into their garden? I know it sounds crazy, but at least we'll be able to get in. Their pilot's been ramming us all along. I'm sure Nita can do it too. Hell yeah. We'll just stand on the front and just fall off onto them. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you pick. He always has doubts. Ah, fair. We have no choice. Let's do it. Where's Rhinoa? Sorry, man. There's nothing I can do. There's no way to get to the quad. That's a fucking lie. I went to the quad like three times, Zell. Those bastards have the area barricaded. Man, the only way we can get to her is by going over the roof or flying there. I know. Oh, wait a minute. You just gave up on her, didn't you? Listen, do me a favor. You go help Rhinoa. It may be too late, but don't give up until you're certain that there's nothing more you can do. I... I have to lead the attack. I don't care what you have to do or how you feel. Just do it. Please. For Rhinoa. Listen to Irvine, school. She's one of us. What are you waiting for? I can't believe you. Come on, Skull, please. It's gotta be you. You're the one that has to save her. See, things like this are a bit silly in my opinion. <laughs> this to me is more silly than the whole um, the, the orphanage thing. Where everyone's just like, Hey, we know we were trying to make you be a leader this whole time, but now don't be a leader. Now just, you know, save the girl. <laughs> I'll take everyone inside Galbadia Garden, don't worry. I know the place like the back of my hand. We'll clear a path. When school arrives, we'll move in. School, you're forgetting something very important. What? Oh, up we go. Guess it's just us. Talk to your men, Squall. Encourage them. As their leader, it's your duty. You probably don't know, but everyone in this garden looks up to you. They like you. <laughs> Which is such a tuny thing to say as well. We know you treat them like shit, but man, you're just so strong that they care about you anyway. <laughs> Everybody, this is Squall. How's everyone doing? And you're all probably too tired to even stand up after all the fighting. Love this theme as well. But I want everyone to listen to me. We still have a chance to win, and I need your help. This is going to be our final battle. We're going to attack them before they come in again. To do that, we're going to head straight into their garden. So I want everyone to prepare for a major collision. Take care of all of the junior classmen. Irvine, Quistus, Zell, and Selfie will lead the attack into their garden. As for everyone else, please support them if you can. Seed was formed to fight the sorceress. At least that's what I heard. And Garden was created to train Seeds. So this battle is Garden's destiny, and also our destiny. It's a grueling battle, and I'm sure you guys are all exhausted. But I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want anyone to feel like they lost things this day. So just this once, I want you guys to give everything you've got. For yourselves, and for me. You did great. That was wonderful. Okay. Let's bash into them. Fuck yeah, Anita. Yeah, that was a great moment. 
See, that's what I mean. It's silly, but the rule of cool applies. <laughs> Just because it's silly doesn't mean I'm not going to be like, yo, that was fucking sick. He's become a leader again. Oh, yeah, we're in. Ready, guys? You betcha. For Balam and Trabia, it's payback time for me and Selfie. Let's rock. Okay, good. I don't have to deal with them. <laughs> They're their own problem now. I love this scene. Me too. It's so good. All the moments where school actually becomes a leader are great. Okay, let's see if I can get outside from here. Please help me. Mark is gone. Please help me find him. Damn it. School, you just decided to just save Renoa. Please, please find him. I guess I have no choice. Wait here. Oh, that must be Mark. A tiny child. Get up off the ground, you duh, spoiled brat. Hey, kid. You all right? Yeah. There's a person waiting for you down the hall. I want you to go over to her, okay? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I fucking love this bit. Come at me, bro. It's time for a fist fight. You're kind of beating the shit out of me right now, though. Oh, fuck. Eh, stop hitting me. What the? School, fight back. What should I do? Threaten the enemy. Get out of here if you want to live. Oh, that did not work. Open the emergency hatch. Just let him fly out the next time he rams us. Press the button for the emergency exit. There you go. <laughs> we took way more damage than we should have. We're fucked. I'm going to have to do this without taking a single hit. Punch! Why, why? None of my buttons are working. What the fuck, school? There we go. <laughs> this is such a cool scene. You bastard! Oh, okay. Wait! No! I'm dead. <laughs> it's so dumb. The delay. Try again. No, I don't need HP plus 200. You can execute a special move by blocking the enemy's attack numerous times. <sighs> Get up, child. I'm not voicing this again. Why didn't it let me do the whole, like, interact with things at first? This feels so weird. It is, but it's normally cool. That's why I hate this one. Button's not working. Yeah. Okay, open the door, school. Come on. So we have way more health this time. Come at me, buddy. Silly but cool. Yeah, at least it looks cool. There's like such a delay between pressing a button and things happening. And I swear to God, the first bunch of it. There we go. Block. Block. I want to see what happens when you block a bunch of times. Death blow up. Oh, oh. It, no, fuck you. Give me my death blow. No, I want my death blow. Oh, you bastard. Death blow. No, son of a bitch. I hate this. What the fuck? Try again. I know. I, I fucking know. Fuck you, game. I wanted to be cool. Hey, kid, you all right? Yeah, there's a person waiting for you down the hall. Get out there. Oh, no. Paratrooper. Round three. Round three. Three is the lucky number, man. The heck? I don't know, man. First, it didn't let me do the death blow at all. And then I got hit even though I tried to do the death blow. <laughs> Come at me, bruh. Hate the minigame too. But doesn't it look cool? <laughs> it looks really cool. Block. 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 Death blow. That wasn't even a death blow. Fuck you, school. Fuck you, game. Straight up lied to me. Death blow should mean it does death. Okay, he blocked. Kick, 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 quick! What are you doing? And I blocked that and it didn't... 
What the fuck is happening? Hit him. There you go. Block. Now hit. Now hit again. Fuck it. Block. Oh, we don't have the energy block anyway. Punch him! Yes! Okay, we're done. It looks so cool, but why do they give you such a tiny amount of health? Well, at least this is a cool way to rescue right now. Unless we get chopped up by these things. <laughs> Squall! Squall, climb up the thing! Squall! Squall, climb! Okay, we got lucky. <laughs> I remember correctly, Kit can't be blocked, but yeah, this minigame is just kind of frustrating. Yeah. This! I love this cutscene so much. Where he just sweeps down and grabs her and she smiles so much. And then we're just back in the battle. I don't know how he's controlling that thing from hanging on. Over there, there's the entrance. Run to the left. Oh my god. Okay, but I want to be in the shot. <laughs> oh, that guy took a dude off his bike with the gun blade. That was sick. Squall. Thank you. It was, uh, don't worry about it. I totally didn't try to let you die for like a good 10 minutes. And then my friends had to tell me to go save you. Uh, it was my job. We're still under contract. And it was everybody else's idea, too. And I just happened to find you. That's all. My boy, this is too much Sundere energy. Just chill. So like I said, don't worry about it. You know something? I couldn't afford to fall off that cliff and die. Something very important that belongs to you. I can't die until I give it back to you, right? Zell gave it to me, see? I've been holding on to it. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> That's my favorite ring. You better give it back. I'm sure it is. It's a cool looking ring. What's this monster on it anyway? It's the Griever. It's not a monster. It's a lion. Lions are known for their great strength and pride. Hmm. Great strength and pride? Kind of like you, Squall. I wish. Hmm. So this lion of yours, does it have a name? <laughs> she's she's so teasing right now. She's like, oh, you got a little baby lion. Oh, is he special to you? Oh, we just got to ignore the battle we just passed. Yep, 100%. School doesn't care anymore. The power of bonus is stronger. <laughs> of course. Oh, I can name it. Oh. Could be Griever. I didn't know you could name the fucking necklace. That's kind of wild. Hmm. What should we name our... Legatus? Yeah, Legatus sounds good. It's the deep, chuny energy inside of us. The Legatus. There we go. So that's what you call it. You know, Zale said he'll make one exactly like it. Who knows? Maybe I can become like a lion too. Maybe I'm a lion! Fucking line. That'd be crazy, huh? I and mean, everyone might, you know, get the wrong idea about us. We are in the middle of a war, my girl. <laughs> if it's so crazy, why do you sound so delighted? Everyone's trying to get us together. It's so obvious, even I can tell. You sound like you want everyone to get the wrong idea. No, 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 no. Well, everyone's waiting here. Wait, everyone's waiting. Rhinoa, let's go. Okay. Yeah, you think I'm gonna split up from Rhinoa after that? I just doomed the whole garden by saving her ass. Score, let's go. Oh, she did the salute. She's so fucking cute. Okay, let's get you junctioned up. What the fuck? Yeah, let's give you massive health. Just tons of invincible moons. This girl's head, where is it? Where is School's head, man? <laughs> he just ran through that giant battlefield and then was just like, ah, we're fine. Right, Noah. You're here. Are you all right? 
And now the party's back together. The sorceress should be here somewhere. But first, we need to deal with her guard dog, Dopio Drop Scythe. No turning back now. Forget about the past. She's our enemy now. Don't think twice for a second. There's no way we can fight her like that. I, for one, can't. She chose to fight and become our enemy. We chose to fight back. We have no choice. At least I'd like to think so. Seems like I'm the only one confused. We've come this far. I guess there's no need for me to say anything. We're still listening. Score, we want to know how you feel. I'll tell you later. After we all get out of this. Let's go! There we go. We gotta stop Pio Chan? Yeah, we do. Gotta go put an end to Pio Chan's evil. And then make him our baby boy. You guys don't want to speak to me? Is it because I didn't bring you in my party? Okay. Wouldn't it be better to be door version of Pio Chan? Yeah, I mean, it will be door, but we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> definitely going to be door, but I think I'm just going to name it Dopio. Eventually. There we go. Ooh, not bad. Oh shit, the one hit KO. Let's go. He's such a puppy. Yeah, he is. We're going to make him our puppy. Um. Wait, locked? Oh. Well, at least this one's open. Although it doesn't do much for us. <laughs> Shit. Useful. At least I finally got to see what a classroom in Galvadia Garden looks like. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, the second one was unneeded. Come on, man. They're just bullying me at this point. <laughs> Doggo 3, what happened to 1 and 2? Um, Doggo 1 is my dog. Doggo 2, I'm pretty sure we named another dog at some point. Dog 2. Dog 3. Okay. Let's go upstairs then. Surely the pre... Oh, hey guys. We're not enemies anymore, are we? Let's just go. Let's get it over with, you know. Request! We're leaving safer up to you now, you know. We don't know what's going on anymore, you know. We just want the old safer back, you know. In date with death. There we go. Thank you. I knew we had dog two from somewhere. Safer. He probably thinks he can't go back now. All right. Fatigued. Oh, God, I still love her. It's okay, guys. Have a break. I'll go deal with Safer. I'll get him back for you guys. One day we'll have up to dog 20. 100%. Lock two. Just... This is the most frustrating thing about RPGs in general. And he's dead. <laughs> Fujin rest. Exactly. That's what I would do if I knew someone like that. I'd probably just be like talking back to them in the same way. Just be like, fatigued. And I'd be like, sleep. <laughs> Hungry. Eat food. Eat. <laughs> Granola. <laughs> Power bar. <laughs> you know I know. Yeah, by now we definitely know. Oh, hey, buddy. Can you unlock the doors? Please don't kill me. I'm not your enemy. Those bastards stormed in during class and took over this place. Most of the students were kicked out then. You guys came to fight the sorcerers, right? Here, you can have this. I know two other students are hiding somewhere. They also have card keys to open the restricted areas. Be careful, guys. Thanks, kiddo. I like your hair. It's not quite a pompadour, but it's like longer in the front. I like that. Better open this door or I'm going to come back to kill you. Oh, uh, it didn't open the door, so I'm going to murder. No, here, you live for now. 
Such a good kid. Yeah, he just doesn't want any part of this shit. Where are they hiding? I'm gonna find those children if it's the last thing I do. Drag them out of their hiding spots. Battle encounters are 100% the reason I couldn't play JRPGs as a kid. Instead, I read the stories on Wikipedia. <laughs> that works too. Sometimes you don't want to play a game. Sometimes you just want to see the story. Nowadays, we have like Let's Plays for that, but yeah. Okay, now I need to go find out where the fuck Keycard 1 goes because it's nowhere around here. Could it be Keycard 1 is in unlocks the first floor, maybe? These guys are weird. I like them. They're weaker than the last ones we fought. Oh yeah, they go down quick. It's not even much of a fight to make them go down. Classic grinding method, run in circles. Yeah. At least we've got three times speed for things like that. <gasps> Kuchan learned auto reflect. Let's fucking go. Kuchan's a beast. Now we can finally learn something else. Status defense, maybe? No, let's start working on vitality. So the level ups matter more. Wee. Wee. Wait, we're on the first floor, so maybe this will be open now. Nope, that's still lock three. <laughs> that's the classroom. God damn it. Did we open this one? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Let's go, Kuchan. Kuchan's our beast, man. You guys see how she picked up Overwatch 2 so quickly yesterday? Shit was insane. Unlocked, finally. So kid with key card number two has to be in here somewhere. Wow. So Trebia was all about basketball. This place is all about ice. Oh my God. Am I really fighting an ice hockey team? Because I am so down. I do not remember this being a thing. This is kind of sick. <laughs> this is... I like this. Please let me do Renzikuken. There you go. I'm going to destroy these children. Albania is now Canada. I mean, they do have a lot of red on their school too. Maybe it's all about the maple leaves. <laughs> Space Jam, but on ice. I mean... Surely that would be Trebia since they're all about basketball. <laughs> Come to think of it, I haven't even checked if they have good magic. Oh, they have Blizzara. Nah, fuck it. Dude, you are so dead. <laughs> you get Doggo Cannon followed by Renzikuken. I'm not even going to crit hit. Oh, he's already dead. Ah, that's fine. They got ice magic? They do. But only Blizzara. And we already have some Blizzagos, so... It's not a big deal. Ba, 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 ba. Protect found. We already have all of those. <laughs> That's fine. Very good for defense. Okay, where the hell are we now? This garden is so confusing. We don't stand a chance against them. You're our last hope. Thank you. Go solve your problem for you. Guys, solve everybody else's problems. Cute, they've got cheers. Do they? Wait, were they cheering? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you're getting Ren's Kukent. How dare you fire Arg on my girlfriend? Don't do a. Okay, good. No faded circle. I want more of these cards. There we go. Doggo Cannon always sends me. <laughs> it's a fun time. <laughs> Wish they programmed silly ice slippiness for that area. Yeah. They had that giant ice cave at one point as well. Was this one locked? Yeah. Aggravation. See, sometimes I speak like <laughs> Fujin as well. Or it's just like uh, aggravation, frustration, anger, hate. For fuck. There we go. Take him out, school. Oh, 
Fuck it. Yay, Invincible Moon. Now we can turn them all into cards. As the good boy Doggo 3. Yeah, you can't do shit. But I can counter. No, not yet, Squall. Not yet. We must card the enemies. Hurry up, dude. I need to card ya. Otherwise, you're just gonna die anyway. There we go. Good sound. Please say Renza Kuken like for you from Street Fighter. Or well, like the sure you can. No. <laughs> That's actually how I normally say it. It's like Renza Kuken. I've done that like lots of times during this playthrough. <laughs> oh man. It feels nice. It does feel like a battle screen. He's just got pretty color portraits of characters. Wait, how do you mean? Brings a whole new meaning to being carded. Yeah. I mean, they're clearly not old enough. Otherwise, they'd actually be able to damn fight. I don't do. Let's save while we're here. Now that we've got two out of three of the key cards. I will spit out my water. <laughs> that was just silly. Oh, that's a big boy. You got anything fun? Arrow? Oh, wait. I got all of those. Well, you're fucked. How the... F oh, yeah. She has 7,000 health. I was like, how the hell did she manage to get her limit break so quickly? But, yeah, no. Good reason. Oh, that was just the counter attack? Let's go. Deathclaw card. Sharp spike. How huge can this garden be? Oh, we're only dealing with the freaking baby part of it for now. We've got so much more to deal with once we actually get into the center. I know it's lock three. Leave me alone. A bear spider? Yeah. Fun time. Damn, we're getting lucky when it comes to carding. Kind of reminds me of an owlbear. I love owlbears. Is this one locked too? Yeah, sweet. Ooh. Can we jump down from here? Oh yeah, baby! Oh, they have a basketball court too. Okay. Owlbears are the best. Yeah, they are. They're awesome. And unlocked. Wait, it was just locked from the other side? You could have... School, you have a gun blade and you have fire aga magic. You could have broken down that door. No fucking problem, my dude. Okay. Sixty-six. Try again. We can't play the card game. We can at least turn every enemy into a card. <laughs> Nothing new since the diff disc one cliff jump. True. We are trained for this. I meant to draw that thing. Shall. Shit. Okay, Pio Chan, I'm coming. I, I, I said I'm coming. I'm still coming. There you are, Pio Chan. G give me just a second. I'm gonna need to get around you. It won't let me around him. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, this guy's back. Damn it. Well, you can't be carded, so I guess you just have to die. Good job, strange monster. Zell will slowly beat you to death. It may take him a while, but he'll... Mm. Damn it, you had to attack score. <sighs> That's fine. Yeah, I knew there was a saver over here. Okay, Pio-chan. It's time. It's 
okay, Mom. He's my dog. I'll take care of him. It's Pio Chang! Do people here know GF? Uh, let's just take it. Pretty confident. Let's see how you do. Damn, that hit like a fucking truck. I need Quake, but how much is this going to hurt us? That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, so that's Quake. I'm going to need that. But I'm also going to need to survive this battle. So he has triple as well. Oh, we are so level, so many levels apart. And he used triple. Somebody's dead. Is he going to do triple Quake? That might actually murder us. Um, reflect. What we really need is some serious fucking healing. Keep school alive. I put fucking soul. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm an actual fucking idiot. Um, at least that can't hit him. Oh, but Thundaga heals him, apparently. So Zell is probably dead. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, we're just going to party wipe this time, and then we'll come back in. I should have healed all the way to fall. That's on me. I didn't respect this fight enough. Stop healing yourself with Thundaga, you dick. You just keep going. There we go. Oh, he dispelled my shell. That's smart, I reflect. Is it possible to dispel him? Yep. Kill me already. Oh, you're so slow. Why are you so strong when you don't want to be? Theochan too powerful? Yeah. Don't Thundaga. You're better with your normal attacks, you dick. <laughs> there we go. Game over. Boss is definitely no joke. Yeah, I don't remember him being that badass. It's kind of sick. I mean, if we just wanted to kill him, it would be too... It wouldn't be too hard. But I want to draw those quakes out of him. Uh, quakes are incredible. Okay, so let's heal up this time. <laughs> Draw school. Draw Zell. Or I know her. Can't believe she's almost at fucking max health already. Okay, puppy. Let's do this again. Stack elemental events. That would actually be genius. Probably should have thought of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Do people here know GF? Pretty confident. Let's see how you do. Triple is really good as well. But we'll see if we can get that. Triple is like an incredible one for magic. But Quake, I think, is one of the best things for strength in the game. If I'm remembering correctly. All right, triple blind. That's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Beefy Rhinoa? Yeah, her HP is crazy. I can't believe it's at 8,000 already. Pio Chan is feeding us well today. And yeah, if we lose this again, at least we can. We can just put Thundaga as our elemental resist, and that should actually help us absorb this. Rather than take any damage from it. The main annoyance when he does triple is just the fact that it takes forever for him to cast his damn spells. Because <laughs> the Argos spells take forever to cast as well. Well, he has arrow as well. Okay, I should heal school. Uh, Zell. 
He doesn't have anything useful in that way. I know I have high potions, yeah. That should be good for now. Okay, everyone's back on draw. Those smoking heads? Yeah, they can't see shit. <laughs> they don't need to, though. They're just drawing magic. We're just back to Dratsudan. Damn, that hits sell pretty hard. Yeah, do I know her. You're going to have to chip away at her health for fucking ever. Although his physical attack is still better. <laughs> At least we're getting lots of quakes. Oh, the arrows, though. When you do triple cast, it's three times cast. When the Bros does triple cast, it's three times animation. <laughs> yep. Oh, even Doggo missed. No. My poor baby boy. This guy's going to end up killing himself just based off of me beating him to death by counterattacks. I should probably heal again. Um, Zao's doing fine. Oh, just still getting quake school? Come on, man. I get you could target everyone by hitting left or right. Yeah. I think it depends on the spell, though. Like, some spells that doesn't work on. Why did he dispel us? We don't have anything on. <laughs> that did nothing to us, my boy. Yo, Chan's thinking way too far ahead. How about Kiraga him? Why would I want to Kiraga him? What do you mean, Squall or Zell? <laughs> I don't want to waste a third level spell. Cure is enough. Oh, he finally finished. Good. Now we just need those triples. Takes so long, man. Okay, he needs to be healed. There we go. He should probably heal himself again. Yeah, he definitely should after that. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. All of these Thundagas. Yamate could have stopped for the love of God. Such an excited boy. Yeah, he is. Just like Pio chan We found the perfect name for this one. Although, should I name it Door instead? Honestly, don't know. Yeah, let's heal up school. Whoa, his normal attack hits like a fucking dump truck. Jesus, dude, again. Really likes his thunders. I know he's getting close to be able to do her fucking limit break already, too. Back <laughs> to that. No, not quite yet, but she's close. Jesus, Cell is just not going to be able to attack at all. Okay, I think that'll be enough triples. This fight is just getting frustrating now. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, he tripled on her specifically. Jesus, my dude. And here comes the blinds. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the blinds and I say... That kind of sucks. No, you need to attack from now on. 
Don't you start silencing people. Oh, fuck. Is this going to work? Yep. I can't do shit. Good thing she can use items. Wait. Do I have anything for silence? Uh-oh. I have remedies at least. Are we really going to get wiped after all of that drawing? Jesus. Cura on Rhinoa? Yeah. Damn it, only cannon? That's not great. We should call it Doom and Destruction. I saw the clip of what happened when he tried to name something that. It doesn't go well. It just plainly don't work. Ah, poor Doggo 3. He's blind along with Rhinoa. Show me what you got! Should I just keep combining with her? Yeah, we've got someone who can heal. Although she really needs to get Invincible Moon for the love of shit. Why does everything have to be RNG in this game? He's got to be close to death with the way he's speaking. Not bad, mortals. Ah, oh, there we go. Didn't know he could miss. Yeah, when Rhino is blind, he gets blinded too. And we got Cerberus's dog, and magic bonus, and initiative. Okay. Votes in chat. Do we name it Pyochan or Door? Or D4? D4, Door, or Pyochan? Dorpio? Dorpio. <laughs> Dorpio. Okay, we can go with Dorpio. 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 There we go. Should I have two piece? Nah, this is fine. Dorpio. I know he gets something crazy. I think it's auto haste. Alert. Prevents back attack. Not bad. He can get speed junction as well. Let's fucking go. Speed junction. Wait. Have I not put Astro on anybody? Oh, he hasn't been learning anything. Shit. That's stupid of me. Put a potion, move HP up. Familiar. Um, let's go with familiar. That sounds interesting. Elemental attack junction, elemental defense, summon magic. I think he's out of, yep. He's out of shit. Summon magic, out of shit. HP bonus, HP plus 80, lit plus 20, spirit plus 40. Okay. So I never equipped Aster to anyone, <laughs> which is a pretty stupid move. I, I got to give school Pio-chan. It's, it's just, it's just how it works, man. Oh, he does not need the hit junction though. He's the one person who already has 250% and he's got too many skills. Okay, no, you don't get him. Sorry, school. I wanted it to happen, but it's just too much. Um, I guess you can have Pio-chan. Pio. Yeah, his hip has actually always been super low for some reason. Oh yeah, he has Mug. Um. Fuck yeah, why not? Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. and Rhinoa can have Asta. I don't think that'll actually unlock anything. Oh, nope. Gives me elemental attack. Fire, thunder, blizzard. Arrow. Wake. Water. Um, why not arrow? Why not? 80% air attack? Sure. Um, I should also change everybody's strength to quake. Triple is actually stronger than... Oh, wow. I feel like quake did something really... Oh. It's the same as region when it comes to health. Vitality? No. Magic? It does do magic pretty well. Interesting. Guess we'll put it on magic. I really thought that was the best for attack for some reason. Bum, bum, 
Fire up and die up. Oh yeah, his spells are all over the place. <laughs> Triple. 112. And he only has 45. Oh. These aren't even all of them, right? Jesus, triple is insane. You know what? We're just going to make school a fucking beast. Sorry, Zell, but I'm taking all your triples. How many did you even get, buddy? 25. Oh, you're giving them to school. Right, no way you can give some of them to school. <laughs> We're just going to make school fucking terrifying. How the fuck did she get 100? It may still be better for her magic. Anyway, we got Dorpio. I don't know why I thought it was Quake instead of Triple. Triple is one of the best for speed. That makes sense. I don't think we've unlocked Speed Junction with anyone just yet. But yeah, tri uh, Triple and Haste, I'd imagine those would be the best for speed. Right, you won't be able to use it. <laughs> use a Suna. There we go. And now some heals. That'll do. Okay. Now we've got Dorpio. We can move on. Ripzel's hit percent. Oh, did I still have that junction? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> 109. 139. 29, 39 is the best so far. Yep, 139, which was double. Imagine if that was triple instead. <laughs> okay, I feel like there was something else I was supposed to do. But I can't remember what, so... Eh, kind of been too important. Let's move on. Did you equip all the GFs? Yep. They're all equipped. They all have their status effects and stuff. I can't wait to see how much damage school does. Couldn't steal? That's okay, buddy. You did your best. Okay, good. School didn't go to sleep. 2,000 without a crit hit. Yeah. That's what we're doing now. And we got the card. Lock three. Okay. Let's find somewhere else to go. Okay. We can't go that way. <laughs> it's a classroom. It's also a classroom, but... Here's the last card key. It'll open the lock on the elevator. The sorcerer's room is on the top floor. Good luck, guys. Okay, there we go. Triple's crazy good? Yeah. It's weird, though. I really thought... I really thought that Quake was good for something. Stop 13 hastes. What are you? Holy shit! Okay, whatever element I have on Squall was apparently strong against that thing. He just did max damage. I mean, I know it was a back attack, but Jesus Christ. Um. Oh, good. Kyodai learned HP bonus. Kuchan learned Vip. Poor. What were you? Yeah, that. Pff, that guy died first. Yeah, right. He's dumb as shit. Um, summon magic. No. Also dumb as shit. Summon magic. Um. Boost GF? Nah. Uh, yeah, let's learn cover. HP plus 80 is still going. Status defense serve it plus 40. Nar Nar is doing fine. Speed junction, speed junction. Familiar elemental attack. Okay. What did I... I'm sure there was something else I was supposed to do, but I can't remember what. Unlocked. 
This place is huge, man. Hurts my brain. The strong monster and you one shot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Told you we could eventually break this game in a crazy way. I'm pretty sure there's some way to get like 99 triples by just using a card mod thing as well. Oh, Jesus. Mug and then card. Wait, why is it school again? Oh, is school fast now too? No, don't counter attack. Ah. Uh, Big Fujian just created a boss. Now imagine what would happen if the sorceress manages to mind control school and I have to fight him while he's like that. Well, he can do 9999 damage at one hit. Suffering from success. Yeah, he's just too powerful, man. That was useless. Uh, might as well save here. Oh shit, that's what I wanted to do. Kyodai. I have to find out who has Kyodai. Give them HP bonus. Yes, okay. Get a permanent HP bonus, Rhinoa. She's still on 7,000, even when I took away the 40% boost. Aww. Look at this adorable little critter. I'm gonna murder it. Yay, four coral fragments. Don't not get carded. As nothing? I mean, yeah, I already took it. <laughs> Imagine confused school, one hit KO anyone. That's the problem, yes. That is a thing that can happen. <laughs> An enemy confuses me. Yeah, and come to think of it, I better make sure that I can stop that. Maybe I should give him a status effect junction that'll stop that from happening. Wait. Where is the elevator now that I think about it? Um... I just assumed I had to go to the top, but nope. <laughs> so imagine if you could combo cover slash counter. Just always manage to be the one who gets attacked and then counter. That would be sick. I don't know if these can even turn into... Yeah, okay. I don't think they could turn into cards. Oh, they beat down Rhinoa real hard. Doggo three cannon. And I got two missiles. Those are nice. Score with counter. You might kill the enemy too early if you want to draw. Yeah. That is the suffering from success, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Somebody just learned something. Was it you? No. 3 plus 80. Pet plus 40. Spirit plus 40. Speed junction. Speed junction. I've got so many GFs now. So many girlfriends. So little time. Fine, Lone Doom. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. I need to heal again. Bum, 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 bum. That'll do. This door you just can't even interact with. Very confusing. Make sure to give Quistus her abilities through items. Never. Never use Quistus anyway. <laughs> She's going to be level one even when this game ends. <laughs> nah, someday I will. Someday I'll start actually feeding her the items that I have collected. Get her all kinds of weird blue magic. Big Chan's got a harem going. Not intentionally. Oh, you shouldn't have attacked him, buddy. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna die. Fuck it. Bye. The quest is slander. No, don't get me wrong. She's good for in your party. She has some good moments when it comes to her. You can't go through that one either. When it comes to her limit breaks, but... I'm just not into it. Why did I miss... What the fuck? Hello again. Oh, you are quite strong. Oh... Oh, you didn't die. I'm impressed. Now become my card. Or die. It's your choice. Okay, you've chosen death. Good night.
sweet prince. So many GF levels right now, too. <laughs> okay, that was nothing. So where the fuck? I, I guess it's through the main building. But how do I... Yeah, through this way. Real love-hate relationship with blue mages. Yeah, they're worth it once you actually train them up, though. Okay, you die. This is taking too long now. Rip whoever wants to attack score. Well, they get to damage him at least. It just doesn't end well after that. After that, it becomes a problem. Oh, maybe up this way. This was the waiting room we were at. Okay, there we go. Hello, sorceress. I'm glad there's a save. Um, um, can I get to the save or are you going to make me fight? Yay! Oh, this is going to be an intense fight then. Holy shit. <laughs> Something's going to go on here. You know, it's bad when they're like, hey, there's a badass right in front of you and we'll give you a save point just to not die immediately. I'll be right back, actually. I need to check the other side of the hall. Here's some healing options. Yeah. They even give you the option to just straight up use a tent and relax for a bit. Oh, it's just the top floor. Well, we should explore just to be safe. It's so loud because the day is theme is so quiet. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, the core cool auditorium. I forgot about that place. Oh, that's the way to the auditorium? What the? F that's it? Okay, let's get out of here. Back to Adea. <sighs> It might actually just be better to reload. <laughs> ah, come on. Even while you're asleep, you won't get carded. Do it. Shit. Never going to get that card. <laughs> Psyching out listening to music. It's a good time. This game has fantastic music. It's called cool. Stop Running. No. Nope into things <sighs> okay go kick the shit out of a sorceress and her lap dog hey guys you ready for me oh you guys shouldn't have i was gonna come visit you at my old home shut up <laughs> i love school just being like fuck you dude you know your friends even want me to kick the shit out of you for the ship did you guys come to fight Matron? After all that she's done for us? Oh shit, he does remember. Rhinoa, what are you doing here? You're gonna fight me too? Come on. Remember a year ago, we... Did he just try to initiate the fucking NTR route? I will kill this man. Stop it. Hey, chicken wuss. Lots happened between us, huh? Yeah, I'm dying to get even. It's too late, Safer. You can't mess with our minds. To us, you're just another enemy. Like one of those monsters. You're comparing me to one of them? <laughs> I ain't no monster. I'm the sorceress's knight. And look at you, attacking like a swarm. You guys are the monsters. Chicken us. Yeah, it's been a while since we heard that one. Been calling it, calling them it since they were babies. Let's go after them monsters. Dara to spell haste. Nah, we're good. Oh, good. We just get to beat someone to death for once. That's fun. Couldn't steal. You haven't got shit safer. This is pathetic. Ready to die, squall? Kneel before me. 
I love this. This is his cinematic attack from the beginning of the game. Well, no, okay. He did not do the whirlwind before. But using fire magic and then attacking with the gun blade. That was kind of sick. You know what? Props where are props to do. Get counterattacked. <laughs> Is that all you got? I can't be beaten. So eight mega phoenixes. Jesus. This can't be. Why? <laughs> My dude, it was literally one round ago. You said you couldn't be beaten. What are you doing? <laughs> Would have been funny if he got counted and fell down. I was really hoping for that. I was hoping like the whole, I can't be beaten and then attacked. I was like, come on, come on, finish him. Finish him now. <laughs> 20 AP, HP plus 10, spirit plus 40. <sighs> Worthless child. Oh, she just disappeared. He got mugged and then got beaten? Yeah, I beat his ass outside Whole Foods and take, took his shit. The auditorium is right below. Hey, Safer, can I have that gun blade now that you don't need it anymore, you chicken wuss? There's no way you guys can beat her. You want to play a game of cards? Okay, he doesn't want to play a game of cards. That's unfortunate. Bye, Safer. <laughs> Stay on the ground. It's where you belong. Lusak. Ethos. Lusak. That'll do. No more cures. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe a game of carpet? Yep. He's a pushover that you can walk over. Hopefully he'll realize since the sorceress abandoned him that maybe he should rely on Fujin and Raijin and just not be a part of this. Game of cards would have saved him rather than a fight. <laughs> yep. Step on him? Oh, I wish I could. There was an animation for kneeling down in this. I would have teabagged the shit out of him. But they don't let us do that. Um. I thought you said the auditorium. Oh. What's going on? A nice corrupted version of this song. Oh, you fucking badass. She waited for them to show up for the dramatic entrance. <laughs> so, the time has come. You're the legendary seed destined to face me. What is she talking about? I must say that I am impressed. An impressive nuisance. Your life ends here, seed. How the fuck are you back up? Worthless fool. You're not our matron. All seeds must perish. Okay. Time for the final fight, everybody. Oh, he's already down on the ground. Safer, no, go home. I'm the sorceress's knight. You'll never... Get past me. I'm going to steal one of those hastes, though, my boy. Don't die just yet. There we go. Good boy. Now you can do what you want. In fact, let me mug you, too. Do I want to... No, I can draw from him. There we go. Triple haste. Safer, no, please. I know, right? This is just death at this point. I can't afford to lose. He really doesn't have anything right. Okay, yeah, good. Oh, but I should check. Because it might... Oh, I can't... Oh, he's literally defending her. I can't attack her until he's dead. Sorry, Safer. That was the counterattack. There's the real one. <laughs> Damn. I'm disgraced. There we go. Give me that Alexander. 
quiet Alexander. Defeated. Useless fool. Enough play. Seeds must die. I'm going to check how much damage this does before I decide if I'm going to start drawing demis. Nope. Fuck that. Too scary. Destroy her. She fucks me up. Still one royal crown. Fuck yeah, that's a good item. Blizzaga, we can take that. 80? Shit, I must have Blizzard drawn to her. Imagine if you could card a day LO. Okay, not the time for Renzikuken. Oh, I put her to sleep. That's nice and comfy. Yeah, still no Renzikuken. <laughs> Oof. And back to sleep she goes. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I missed. Demi cuts current HP by one quarter. No, I know. Demi's great. Don't get me wrong, but... That Maelstrom thing she did to me hit like a fucking dump truck. I... None of that. Ugh, I can't be defeated. And we got a hero. Red the Quaddle. Shiva learned Doom. Siren learned Summon Magic. Kyodai learned Cover. That's a lot of AP. Okay, Alexander. Big old knight in a suit of armor. Also kind of shaped like a town. What do we name Alexander? Big old giant MFR metal. I don't think we really have anyone in Digi Sun. Oh, Vivi! Vivi's a good shout. She has armor. But I'm going to do it in a way that will annoy her if she ever hears about it. Vicky. <laughs> oh, I love how much she hates that, that nickname. <laughs> I'm thinking Vivi because of the armor. Yeah, Vivi's perfect. What happened? My body. Rhinoa, what are you doing going over that way? He ain't your boyfriend anymore. I am. Rhinoa? We really are doing the NTR route. Oh, hell no! I know. Safer. She gave him the kiss of life. Oof. I know. You are right. School. Christus. Selfie. That face plant sounded bad? Yeah, that was a thunk and a fucking half. Irvine? Cell? You've all grown so much. And become so strong. I've waited for this day to come. And also feared this day would come. Is today a joyous day? Or an odious day? Where is alone? If I protected alone? I don't understand. Squall! Now you're about to. It's Rhinoa. Rhinoa? What's wrong with Rhinoa? Goodbye, disc two. <laughs> We're on disc three, baby. Dun, dun, dun. Is it over? Should we end there? What time are we on? 2.30, started at 10. Oh, it's only been four and a half hours. Wait. Yeah, it's only been four and a half hours. We can keep going.
That would have been a good like cliffhanger to end on, but yeah, let's keep going for a bit. <laughs> Damn it. I, ah, we never get to end at the dramatic moments where it's like, mm, scary stuffs. Oh man. Is it over? What happened? I know. What happened to I know? She cheated on you, my boy. She kissed another man right in front of you. Brought him back to life. Took him to safety. You got cucked. School. When old Headmaster Sid was teaching you about the birds and the bees and the BDSM, he let out this very particular fetish. Some people have this thing called NTR, or cucking, that they enjoy. Anyway. Squall, can you hear me? Head to Adea's house at once. The sorceress Adea. Matron is back at the orphanage. But... Uh, sleeping beauty. I want my ring back. Give me my ring back. You're lucky this game keeps moving me down when I'm trying to move right. Give me the ring! Box my ring. Fine. <sighs> Don't even have Dr. Kadawaki here. Guess the sleeping shooty, beauty and she'll be yours. I don't think that's how consent works. <laughs> Didn't you get the ring already? Nah, she held on to it because she's going to make her own version of it. She's holding on to it. And, well, Zell is going to make her own version of it. So yeah, she's holding on to my ring. Oh, I can go to B1 again. She's holding on to my ring until Zell makes the other one. But that was in the fairy tale. The fairy tale is fucked up, man. Another fairy tale is a little girl get eaten by a wolf, which is actually probably an analogy for some other fucked up shit. So, would you let that happen? No? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I really wanted to challenge Headmasters. Oh, you're one of the fucking card game kids. Get out. Get me out of here. I refuse. Prince Philip didn't know consent either, yet they ended up together. Look, I mean, we're not going to judge people for what they get up to. <laughs> if, if it happens to work out that you kiss someone while they're unconscious and they like it, that's up to the person who's unconscious. But still, the person who did that is pretty fucked up. Unless there's like, they've already been in a relationship for ages and stuff. But otherwise, yeah. Where's our next destination? Matron is back at that house. Are we ready to go? Yeah, but I still don't know where the house is. We just, oh god, I lost Rhinoa. You know what, Irvine? I'm tagging you in, buddy. Welcome to the big leagues. That was an old Disney film, so they definitely sugarcoat that stuff. Oh, that is the... It was where I appeared earlier. I can Why can't I open the main menu? <sighs> you should be able to open the main menu while you're in the fucking ship. And we land. Right, I need to switch things too. Irvine, take all Rhinoa's shit while she's asleep. Oh, that was switch member. I was like, what do you mean I can't take back my shit? There we go. Let's go see mommy. Sausage party team this time? Hell yeah. The boys are back in town. I feel uncomfortable seeing her. I'll go after you, Squall. Okay? This is a very fancy house for an orphanage. I'm, I'm just gonna say... <gasps> you finally gonna stop running away from this old man? Talk to us about all this shit? Been hiding it from us for years. Many thanks for your hard work. <laughs> Are you angry with me? <laughs> I don't blame you. All I do is talk big, but in times of trouble, I run away. I was in a no-win situation. Your defeat would be the end of you. Your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear... to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but... please forgive Adea. Oh shit, that's a fucking book. Fucking Timber Maniacs, no one cares. Me Combat Kings or Weapons Monthlies. Boss fight done. Oh yeah, we kicked the shit out of the sorceress. She's gone now. Bum, 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 bum. 
hit is the worst. <laughs> Debatable. He definitely be kind of fucked up throwing his children under the bus with all this shit. Did I draw any magic or something? I think I did. Eh, we'll find out later. But at the same time, I understand him being like, hey, I mean, if you guys won, my wife is dead. If she wins, you're all dead. It's a lose-lose for sure. Just, you know, she do be kind of evil in trying to take over the entire world. So there comes a point where you're just like, mm. <laughs> my children, please forgive me. I raised you as my own. It's still I. We feel the same way. We fought you too, knowing you were our matron. Matron. You are seeds. You cannot back out of a battle, I know. You are magnificent. However, it's not over yet. At any time, I may. You may what, matron? I've been possessed all this time. I was at the mercy of Sorceress Ultimacea. Ultimacea is a, a sorceress from the future. A sorceress many generations ahead of our time. Ultimacea's objective is to find Alone. She's after Alone's mysterious power. I knew Alone very well. Ultimacea is a very fearful sorceress. Her heart is filled with anger and hate. There was no way I was going to let Ultimacea get a hold of Alone. The only thing I could do was... Surrender my soul to Ultimacea and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save alone. And the end result? Oh, you all know. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was in fact Ultimacea inside my shell. Ultimacea has yet to achieve her goal. I believe she may use my body again to carry out her plans. And to take a stand this time. But if that does not work, I may have to face you in battle once again. I ask for your support, young seeds. What do you guys think about this? Not much? Sid? How do you feel about your wife being possessed by an unholy spirit from the future? And the fact that you didn't get to smash that? Please listen to what Adea has to say. Who knows when she may be possessed again? Okay, fine. Maybe they should just say what they want to say instead of making me keep talking to her then. Oh yeah, booty in the shot. That's way better. It was one of my awakenings as a very young child when I got the action figure of like the FF8 characters and realizing just how big a day as butt was and being like, damn, why do I like this? <laughs> me at like pre-puberty pre -puberty age just being like, this is nice. Why do I like this? <laughs> Have you heard of Sorceress Adele before? She was the ruler of Esther during the Sorceress Rule. No one knows of her whereabouts. That's what I learned. The Galbadians must have thought I was the Sorceress who received Sorceress Adele's power. However, that's not the case. I received the powers of the previous Sorceress at the age of five. I don't quite understand. I believe Sorceress Adele is still alive, and that Ultimacea released my body in order to... to use the body of Sorceress Adele. Sorceress Adele is the type who will not hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires. Should Sorceress Ultimacea from the future bequeath her anger and hatred onto Adele, their power would be unimaginable. Uh, uh, are we done finally talking to you? Can I talk to other people now? Uh, yeah, you already said that. Um... She stop, she's stuck in a loop, though. Do I just walk away from her? Yep, okay. Good to know. Bye, Matron. Skull, I'm sure Matron has much more to say. Then why is she looping? <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> this game is so weird about these things sometimes. <laughs> Adea means that Ultima Seiya plans on possessing Adele, but possessed Adea in order to inevitably possess Adele. Yeah, essentially. Um, Adea knew that she was, that Ultima Seiya came across time and was looking to steal Alone's power. And so to protect Alone, she instead offered her own body to make sure that she could secret Alone away and get her to like grow up. And then she also established the seed in the garden. So all this time she was doing all of this just to protect Alone. It is kind of fucking awesome. She literally set up the group who was going to eventually possibly kill her. Um, 
just to protect her baby girl and gave up her body and soul to Ultima Sea. Missed so much of the story and now I'm so confused. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. It gets very confusing. It gets a lot more contrived as time goes on as well. <laughs> and now you know that Ultima Sea is from generations and generations in the future. Don't expect that to make much sense as we go on either. <laughs> it gets just more crazy as time goes on. I've heard enough. I understand that listening to what Matron has to say is important. But Rhinoa... Oh, you know what, school? I fucking respect that. You learned the lesson your friends were trying to teach you for like the last... That wasn't even a motorbike. That was just a real fucked up truck. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you finally learned the lesson your friends were trying to teach you about, you know, caring about the people you love. So confusing. So interesting and confusing. It's one of those ones where you have to just kind of look away from a bunch of silly moments. And then it's just like... Ooh, time control is fine. <laughs> Gave up on giving understanding the plot a long time ago. I'm here just to vibe. At the end, we'll talk about like all of it. But yeah, for now, it's just very much like I can't talk about many things without it essentially being spoilers. So as we unlock more plot points, I'll talk about like theories and stuff like that. But for now, just like sit back and enjoy the craziness. <laughs> we got witches. We got time travel. Ah, oh, shit. I almost said something that would be real bad. We got fantasy. We got mechas. It's awesome. Matron, do you know what's wrong with Rhinoa? Rhinoa is the girl in light blue. I remember vaguely. What happened to her? She was with us when we fought you. After the battle, her body was cold. She didn't move. Did Rhinoa die? Sid? You didn't even check in on Rhinoa, <laughs> you piece of sh- Wow, you know what? Sid does kind of suck. No. Forgive me, Skull. I don't think I can be of any help. Hmm. It's all right. Skull, I understand how you feel. But you're in a position of leadership. So were you, old man! You were the fucking headmaster, and you kept pushing everything onto a 17-year-old boy, you piece. Okay, okay, okay. The other students at Garden have a right to know about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Take whatever information you can get here back to Garden. Remember, it wasn't just Rhinoa. Everyone fought. Except for you, because you couldn't fight your wife. And now my girlfriend's in an infirmary. She just fucking cucked me in front of all of my friends. I think I have a right to be pissed off and have like a couple of days. Oh, hey, Super Shiggy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why does Laura Shiggy Haru always come in when I'm saying crazy shit? Hey, hope you're having a good day. <laughs> but yeah, Sid's getting on my nerves today. I've been defending him through like the entire first two discs, but now it's just like, dude. I understand. But... But, 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 that isn't something a leader should say. Two minutes ago, you said I wanted to help, but I couldn't kill my wife. I'm sorry. No, it's just kind of funny timing. <laughs> I mean, this the, these are the kind of streams I have. It's just, yeah, it's just funny. Every time you come in, I'm like in the middle of like some sort of dirty sexual joke or like something very cringe. It's one of the two. <laughs> Damn it. First time we met was the day I became a seed. We met again in Timber. Oh, she's still speaking. What to say his objective is to find alone. Alone's mysterious power, sending one's consciousness back into the past. So what to say I wants to use alone's power, right? We had a lot of arguments at first, but in time things began to change. I get it. Ultima say wants to send her consciousness from this period further into the past. What's she going to do in the past? You were looking at me. You smiled when our eyes met. Time compression. Time compression? It made me feel calm. Tranquil. It's time magic. Past, present, and future get compressed. What's going to happen in the world? Why do something like that? I know. Give me another chance. Can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Yo, Skull! You're not even listening. 
So basically, all we have to do is prevent Ultima Seiya from getting hold of a loan. Yes, but... We're going back to Garden. We have to let everyone know. Hey, we worried about Renoa too, you know. Then why don't you? Forget it. <laughs> this is where... This is something if they ever actually make a proper remake of, they definitely have to deal with. The way these characters go back and forward. Do you remember, like, literally one hour ago when School was trying to be a good leader and put the fate of the entire garden in front of Rhinoa, and he was like, but I'm the leader. I... I have to worry about everyone. And they were constantly like, oh, Rhinoa, come on, Squall, you're being an idiot. Save Rhinoa. You care about Rhinoa. One fucking hour later, and they're like, Squall, we don't care that Rhinoa is dying right now or possibly a statue or some shit. How about you listen to what Matron is saying? This is more important. It's like, what... Don't go so wishy-washy just depending on the scene. It's such BS. What they could have done is just split, like, between the two. They could have had, like, I don't know, maybe Quistis and Irvine constantly be telling Squall, follow your heart, bro. Come on, you know you love Rhinoa. Spend your time with her. Grow. Have compassion. And then maybe the other ones being like, but the fate of the world. But Galbadia... D d d Timber God? T t Tabia. But Tabia Garden. Like, if they'd split it like that, it would have been better. But them just constantly going backwards and forwards is just silly. The riding stats would definitely put all into school. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I still love this game, but yeah, there are moments when I'm just like, this doesn't make sense. Didn't they call him heartless? Exactly. And now they're all like, come on, Squall, listen to the story. Sure, we could brief you later when Rhinoa wakes up and you could be busy trying to fix Rhinoa. Also, I really love the thoughts going through his head right now. Um, I do love him just being like, especially the fact that he's quoting eyes on me. He's saying the same things that Julia said to Laguna. The whole, like, when we first met, you looked at me and you smiled. It made me feel calm, peaceful. That's so fucking sweet, man. He's growing, he's developing, and they're ruining it for me. <laughs> time compression. Yeah, time compression is an interesting idea. Because I think the whole idea is, like, yeah, she wants to go back to the beginning of time and, like, make it so that all of time happens at once. Which is a weird idea. I mean, considering, like, theoretical physics basically considers time a fourth dimension anyway. And there's all kinds of theoretical physics that suggests that maybe at some point that fourth dimension will break apart. Maybe during the big crunch or at the end of the universe or something like that. Um, all of time will essentially happen at once. Or time will go backwards and, like, restart. Um, so time compression, the whole idea of, like, making everything happen all at once. She just wants to essentially destroy the universe. Elevate us beyond the fourth dimension or something. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds to me like a stasis, so it's like you're ruling over Paul's time. Yeah, possibly something like that. All of time happening at the same time and her being able to control it all, being able to do whatever the fuck she wants. I, I genuinely don't remember if they ever explain what her actual goal is or if it's very much a like... You'll never know what Altina Seer wants. Her mind is far, far beyond our own. She thinks on a wavelength that we can't even begin to comprehend. We'll see. Give us some time. <laughs> that about covers the update. Oh, Casey Deddy? Yeah, my mods talked to me about that. Um, essentially, you're fine to come back now. Just chill. Essentially, stop going off topic and stop getting angry every time they time you out for going off topic because they're doing their job. They timed you up for 24 hours to give you one more chance to calm down. Because yes, if you go off topic again, if you start bringing up things that are just completely unrelated, they are going to permanently ban you this time because this has been an ongoing thing for multiple days. So this is me giving you the one final chance before they have to do that. I think I remember what the plan is, but no spoilers. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It'll be fun to find out while we're going through this playthrough as well what happens. Our task at hand is to find a loan. Then we'll deal with Ultima Seo. I believe that alone is on the White Seed ship. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. We'll gather information for a while. Be prepared for battle at any time. Oh, he's so conflicted. <laughs> and... Sorceress Adea is back at her home. She's probably not our enemy anymore. Let's just leave her alone. Yeah, thank you very much, Sensor Sheet Bots, for always working so hard for us. That was a much more somber announcement to the troops than he's ever done. 
Is there no in the firmary? infirmary? I'll go visit her later. Oh, so now you care. I don't want to say this in front of Quistus and you, but... I don't know if some people will be so forgiving. I mean, she was being controlled, though. <laughs> so... They can be angry all they want. It's just if they try to kill her, we're going to have to kill them. Because she's our mommy. Our matron. The image of school standing in front of the joystick looked so dirty. Well, how did you feel when... What's his name? Knee... Knee... Knee something. Knee... I'm just going to call him Nichan. <laughs> when Nichan was doing like the big giant leg movements while he piloted it. I'm going to the infirmary. Fuck you guys. I'm going to go see my girlfriend, even if she did betray me a little bit. Oh, that is the infirmary. Good. I wasn't here. Didn't happen. <laughs> you know what? That's a good way to live your life. If I didn't see it, it doesn't exist. Because it didn't affect my brain. Oh, yay. The music. Give a ring back exactly steal the ring nida thank you okay nida uh, yeah but he's also a nichan yeah he's an adorable nichan i know uh, you feel so cold you're gonna be like this forever isn't there anything i can do you were so full of life now you don't even make a sound I want to hear your voice. This is like talking to a wall. Rhinoa. Call my name. <sighs> oh, he's so in love now. That's so cute. Oh, well. Um, wow. They actually let me do this. You unjunctioned all my people. Why does it matter? <sighs> I mean, that's... I know Quistus has some magic, I guess. Did I lose... Oh, no, I just have to rejunction everything that was on... On... Um... Ba -ba 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 right now. Why the heck do I have to do this? Because we have no money. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ward's mute now. Right, he had his throat cut in the last war. Every remaster this game, they need to fix that. There's a few things they need to fix, but... Like I said, I still love this. <laughs> More than anything, I love... Like, I can see the glaring flaws here or there, especially in the story and in, like, some of the combat systems that you can just break them whenever you feel like. But I still love this game so much. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of my fault that we stayed at the hotel so often. But heck, I'm not cut out to be an actor. So you say. But we know you're really quite excited. Okay, everyone, take your positions. Man, I can't believe this director making a movie with me, an amateur. The heck am I supposed to do? All right, all right. So we were lucky I got the job. As long as we make some money, right? Are you serious? What kind of costume is this? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no complaining. Let's go, let's go. Yo, he's a fantasy knight. Let's fucking go. Hey, look at you. Not bad. This is your co-star, playing the part of the sorceress. Hi, nice to meet you. All we need now is someone to play the dragon. Oh, perfect. Hey, you two back there. Yes? I'm kind of in a squeeze here. The guy playing the dragon is sick. Do you think you could put on the dragon costume and kind of just... Walk down here. I'll pay you. I guess so. The funniest thing is this reminds me so much of the beginning of FF9 when you have to do like the play. I mean, even though it's like a fantasy setting, which kind of suits FF9 anyway. <laughs> like as soon as this started, I was like, I remember in FF9 having to like play a hero and doing a little stage performance. It was so much fun. That's one of the few things I remember really well from FF9. And in 7 in Gold Saucer. Oh, shit. Yeah, you had the dragon fight in FF7 as well. Damn. Okay, just be on standby over there. That's a pretty bad knight costume, to be fair. He's got pauldrons like Cloud. Why, why do they have those giant things? That sounded like a real dragon to me. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh. FF7 Cloud looks so cool. I mean, FF7 Cloud manages to pull it off. But I've never liked his pauldron that looks like it just has a bunch of screws sticking out of it. Okay, people, here we go. Scene 12, Death of the Sorceress. Ready? Action! Oh, Sir Knight, save me from the wicked dragon. Uh, okay. Oh, save you from the dragon. Darn it. I'm getting all nervous here. And what's with this gum blade? I haven't used one of these since training. Kinda... Like this? Yeah, you got it. That was awesome. Hey, not bad. I'll just put in some voiceovers. Okay. Bring on the dragon! Hey, come on, guys. The dragon. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck, it's a ruby dragon. Ah, shit. Wow. Just like the real thing. Excellent work, Kiros. How would that possibly ki be Kiros? How would it be moving all four legs? Wait a minute. Was the costume that big? Well, Kiros and Ward are taking this seriously. Man, looks like the real thing. Kagatakoya, bitch. Uh! Jeez, take it easy, Kiros. What the? Is this thing real? What? No wonder. What am I doing? I'm getting out of here. Well, Sir Knight, it's all yours. Sir, Sir, Sir Knight, I must bid you farewell. I fucking love them. You'd think they would have at least stayed nearby to record it, just in case he did win. <laughs> Look, it's a sorceress's knight with a gun blade having safe his pose. It's almost like maybe Safer eventually went on to watch this movie. And that big dramatic double flourish and then holding the gun blade up to his face is, yeah, his romantic dream. His idea of becoming the sorceress's knight. It all started here. With Laguna! Hey! Don't just leave me here! It's not gonna let me go. Mm. Gumblade. I defend. Okay. Jesus. Maybe I'll get to do a death blow too. I'm gonna let him attack first. Thanks. All right. Let's go. You are so slow, Laguna. I was bought. Defend. Okay. And attack. 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 I'm pressing the button. Okay. Defend! 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 Okay. There's so much fucking lag for this. Attack, 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 attack. Fuck it, keep attacking. Ah, oh, that was a bad move. Okay, defend. I wonder if it's like school's thing and I can charge up a death blow. Let's do a triple defend and see what happens. Nope. Okay, fuck it. Back, foul beast. I will vanquish you this day. What happens when he actually uses his breath weapon? Oh, fuck. He started to attack early that time. <laughs> Ragtime dragon battle? Yeah, this is just silly. No! Okay. You really have to... No! I didn't get a chance to defend there. Lagoon! I hate these. I fucking hate these minigames. Not yet. Okay, let's go again, dragon. Defend, attack, 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 attack. Defend, defend, defend. Luna Guna! Why? Why do you even fucking exist, Laguna? <laughs> defend! I didn't stop. There you go. Attack me, you ruby dragon piece of shit. Are you serious? Okay, I'm going to attack now, but you better not attack me. Okay. Defend, Laguna. Laguna! He's just not attacking anymore. Fuck it, keep going. Maybe he's broken. <laughs> Maybe I tired him out. Yeah, let's fucking go. Just slap him in the face. 
Oh, he's a poor little tuckered out baby. Oh, yeah, I know going kind of crazy though. Yeah, it's kind of adorable. Okay, the, 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 he literally glitched out somehow. I shouldn't feel so good about this, but you know what? Fuck him. <laughs> I don't know why this scene is so broken. <laughs> Now's my chance. Run! Nigerundaya! I love the way he ran with the gum laid out in front of him, too. <laughs> Laguna, keep moving. Why? Oh, he's in front of us. That's why. Hey. Darn. Stupid dragon. Where the heck are Kiros and Ward? Laguna, did you call me? Yeah. Oh, poor Ward. He did his best. <laughs> Wait long enough. Here. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Time to kick some dragon butt. Although one of them is going to be completely unjunctioned. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, good. <laughs> that was nice of them. They knew how much they were about to fuck me. <laughs> they unjunctioned. They did unjunction all of them. It wasn't just one. I fucking... Okay, it definitely wasn't Quetzalcoatl and Shiva. It was Quetzalcoatl, Kyodai... The Dorpio? I... I never equipped Vicky. Go go for it. We'll equip Vicky too. <sighs> and he has no magic. <laughs> um draw magic card. HP plus 80. No, we don't want you to cover people. HP bonus for sure. HP plus 40. How does that still... Oh, right. We haven't junctioned anything to your magic. So now I have to give all of the magic from... We can't get all of the magic from Rhinoa. So mad. I'm so fucking mad. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Every other GF goes to you. Do you at least have your magic? Because I switched you with someone else. Magic. Oh, thank God. Um, HP. That's... Region, right? Region. Strength is... I don't know. Um, triple. Triple. No, you don't have triple. Okay, um, 49, 58. 58. 83, that'll do. Vitality, 31, 37. 46, 41, 55. 68. Let's go with the 68. 24, 28, 34, 36, 20, 50. 50, 50, 50. Lots of 50s. Yeah, let's go with a 50. Spirit. I, I really don't care. It's like watching Charlie Chaplin all over again. This is... This is just painful, man. This is... Worst thing is, probably when we go back to our other characters, they're just going to redo this all over again. <laughs> No, you definitely don't want Fire Aga against a giant fire dragon. Um, let's just go with a slight. Let's have a bit of Blizzard on you. And we want to defend against fire. So Fire Aga, you absorb 50%. Fantastic. And then, I don't know. Shell for a little bit more of everything else. Okay, at least Ward's got to do great. <laughs> Use Doom on one enemy. Why don't they tell you what Doom does? HP plus 40, Vitality plus 40, and Mug. And now I'm probably going to switch Mord with Kiros because I prefer Kiros. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Why not? Let's go kick a dragon's ass. After I save, of course. This three, baby. Should we heal a bit? We should probably heal a bit. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Music is not helping. No, it takes way too fucking long, man. It's such light heart. Oh, there we go. Battle theme music. It's a fucking bug. Must we? There we go. <laughs> I feel like every time Fuchan stops moving, it's because he's screaming into his hands. Happens more often than you think. 
The worst thing is these are the types of things that could have been solved when they made the remaster. The remaster was only made like five years ago. So they, they knew some things. They could have sorted this shit out, but they didn't. <laughs> uh, what you got? Arrow and fire, not useful. Okay, you must die. I don't like not having the crit hit with my strongest character. Oh shit, I have fire attack. My strongest attacker is now useless. I didn't check. Oh no, any counter attacks. Uh oh. How about a GF? You got Shiva on you? Um, I don't even know what Kuchan or Ukiki do. Let's do Kuchan. Reload. We'll see. We'll see how this goes first. We may have to reload. Ah, Kuchan comes up right by the gut, right through the ground. Was that just like a reflect on everyone or something? Genuinely don't know what that was. As long as he does not attack <laughs> the other character, uh, Laguna, we should be fine. Because Kiros and Ward are still decently strong. Oh, Chef's Knife. That's not going to work. <laughs> that was adorable. 500 damage. That took so long for 500 damage. Okay, how about Siren? If it would not help us at all. Silent voice. I think this just does status effects. It's crazy we're this far in the game and we're only just seeing GFs. I really do not utilize my GFs like at all. Yeah, you know what? Keep doing Siren. That hit pretty hard, actually. Oh, shit. Ward's almost dead. Yeah, do the massive anchor. Drop it on him, boy. She's the one they censored. Aw, oh, man. <gasps> he is a Dragoon. Let's fucking go. A Dragoon who uses an anchor instead of an actual weapon. <laughs> oh, fuck. That reflects onto him. Shit. At least they didn't heal too much. <laughs> Everything about this fight is going wrong. <laughs> what did they do? Did they add more like wings to censor more of her chest? I mean, she's still showing quite a bit of stain. I kind of like the wings. It looks like he has a headache. I just want him to go to sleep, man. The reflect wore off. That's not... No, that's fine. Siren is practically naked aside from her feather pasties. <laughs> I think the design is pretty good. It is silly to censor things like that that have already existed, though, but... It is what it is. Laguna, no! Stop countering! For the love of God, you're too strong. At least we're getting a lot of massive anchors. And he's dead. Wow. Garuda didn't exist in this game? Nah, this was before Garuda's time. I have the figure. She's a cutie. I don't think I ever had the Siren figure. Now that I think about it, I wonder if that was because... Maybe I wasn't allowed to get the Siren figure. I don't remember ever seeing one. I think I had a Ifrit figure. But I had definitely had all the humans. The leather skirt was not there. Oh, the feather skirt? Interesting. That shouldn't have been too bad, honestly. <laughs> this poor dragon. He's just getting battered. She was the sexy bird before Garuda? Hell yeah. Not a main summon until later FFs. So yeah, Garuda's actually pretty damn fresh, honestly. I don't even remember Garuda in number 10. Correct me if I'm wrong. They may have been in number 10, but I do not remember them. Stop attacking Laguna! God, they're healing more than they're taking damage now. Fuck him up, Siren.
We might actually lose this fight just because I forgot that I had fire junctioned on score. <laughs> Never heard of Garuda until 14 and I was mostly raised on early FF. I don't remember Garuda in 15 either. I just remember them in 16 and 14 to be fair. Stop! God, if Laguna could actually do damage, we would have won this fight ages ago. Instead, he's healing him. Oh, that does a lot of damage, though. No. Maybe I should just kill Laguna myself. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, we're ending this fight. We're going to reload. Oh, my God. They had Valifor in 10. Oh, yeah. Valifor was like a giant... Um, what should we call it? Like a giant hamster. Kill yourself, Laguna. Sorry, my boy, but you're getting in the way more than you're helping. We got to put you to sleep, buddy. Let's see if Desperado heals. No, that did damage. Okay, so apparently limit breaks don't count whatever a thing. Okay, whatever. It worked. 9,999 damage. I just had to give up on life. Try to kill Laguna. And then everything worked out. I was sure. So many people learned sp sp speed junction. Oh, my brain. That was odd. You did it? Yeah, I mean, I did it. Yay. <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> How many are there? They just keep coming. We're out of here. Just jump off the cliff. You know there's water. No, no, there's not water down there. Okay, don't do that, Laguna. What is that? Rudo was an extra collab boss in FF15? Oh, I do not remember that at all. I can't disconnect. What is this connect thing? Wait, does Laguna... Oh. Is it you, Squall? Yeah. Is this alone? Connect is just what I call it. When I use my special power. Oh, I know. I must be asleep. That's why I can't control it. I'm sorry, Squall. Just let me use your spirit for a little while longer. Let me go back. She ain't here either. If I may ask, what happened to this alone? She was kidnapped by Esther soldiers. Been traveling. Try not the, the traveling? I've been traveling. Trying all I can to get inside Esther, but they were looking for a successor to the Esther Sorceress, Adele. Yeah, yeah, exactly it. Is she your daughter? No. But she's just so cute. Oh, I wish I could hear her voice. I want to hear her. I know his voice. <laughs> School went from aloof to fucking down bad as shit. Is something the matter? No, just the fairies. <laughs> I forgot he can kind of hear them and feel them. I don't care if it's in the past or what. I want to hear Rhinoa. I want to see Rhinoa. That way, there might be a chance to save her. I can't change the past. I just found that out. When I was kidnapped, Uncle Laguna went on a journey to find me. But because he did, Uncle Laguna wasn't able to be by Rain's side when she died. Oh, fuck me. Rain wanted to show Laguna her newborn baby. Rain kept calling out for Laguna. So no matter what, I wanted Laguna to stay in the village. But it didn't work can no longer make it back to that moment. And also, I can only send you inside someone I've met before. I'm sorry, Squall. I'm about to disconnect. I'll try again to speak to you this way. Sis? Alone? I'm... Rain had a baby? 
Yeah, which means it was probably Laguna's baby. I would hope. I mean, I'm not sure, but damn. He went to try and find alone. Wasn't there when Rain passed away. Oh, fuck, man, that sucks. Although the fact that alone just said her baby, maybe they never did end up together. We'll find out. But yeah, that sucks. Hopefully he got back home to his child. We don't even know if he survived yet. I want to hear Renara's voice. I can see you if we go back in time. Maybe even change things. Alone? Alone, can you hear me? Send me back to the moment Rainoa went into a coma. <sighs> Alone, you won't answer me? I know she's on the White Seed ship. White Seed. A day of seed. A day of seed? Maybe a day it would Maybe a day would know the whereabouts of the ship. Then I can see alone. Then maybe I can go back. Well, let's go see mommy again. <laughs> Time travel never really works out. Yeah, it always just leads to more pain. But when you're desperate and in love, you'll do just about anything. Can't believe I'm still only seed level 11. <laughs> <laughs> Should really be more like 39. <sighs> Bro is getting so desperate. Yeah, he is down abysmal. Are we ready to go? Roger. Oh, fuck me. Okay, good. They did keep their stats. Okay, Zell. I want Irvine again, but I'm going to have to junction exchange with Quistus. So Quistus saw that dream with me. Nice. Um, um. Fuck, I forgot you can't go into the main menu there. Okay, Roger. <laughs> Zell's still dead. It's fine. We don't need him alive. We'll work it out when we need to. Wait. Shouldn't we be right next to... Okay, I was going to say, we should be right next to a Deus house. <laughs> I mean, we were right here. There we go. Oh, I've got so many potions. <laughs> if it works, it works. <laughs> Just dragging around his corpse. I mean, the boys can't split up. The boys are back in town. That was a loud growl for the weaklings. Okay, Irvine, mug him. Ooh, 12 screws. That's useful, actually. Screws are normally used to make new gun blades and some other weapons. Oh shit, yeah, I got new junctions. Oh, right, I have to junction everything onto him. And get his magic. Oh my. Okay, oh, magic. I know. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Zal receives all. You give all. There we go. You know what? How about we auto junction for attack? And then for magic. You check. I fucking hate you. I hate everything about you. Uh, why don't you fill in everything? I can prioritize attack and still do other. Wait, where's all my magic? Did Rhinoa not have. Who has the magic then? What happened to all my magic? Oh, Quistus has it for some reason. Okay. Um. Don't scare me like that, game. <laughs> Why does Quistus have it? She was never part of the party. I'm so confused. Now let's try order. For attack. Much better. There we fucking go. Um, um, um. Oh, yeah, they did pretty good. I'll go with that. Fuck it. Remember you said she had lots of magic? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't remember shit. <laughs> Order than fine-tune. I'm not even going to fine-tune yet. I'll, I'll do that off-screen. We've interrupted this gameplay session way too many times for silly things like... Like accidentally running into the opposite screen because the joypad doesn't work. 
This is fine. This is fine. We're just going to see our matron. It's fine. No, I'm not even going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to the old man. The White Seed Ship. We first came up with it to protect alone from Esther. Adea served as the captain of the ship, but before long, many children were brought on board, and it became somewhat of an orphanage. Adea taught the children well, and they too were referred to as seeds. Ah, so she still worked at an orphanage kind of thing. That's cute. <sighs> Is there anything at all I can help you with? The white seed ship. The one it loans on. Those children are... They're very cautious. They would never remain in one place for long. I see. Oh yes, however... Those children seem to have taken a liking to Sentra's landscape. Therefore, they may have stationed their ship by an inlet somewhere on the Sentra continent. And Score, please take with you this letter that I wrote. With this, they shall welcome you. Okay. Well, I guess I got the letter. Okay, we've, we've done this. Bye! Thank you for the letter, I guess. Now we have to go find their silly seed ship. White seed is not something you want to hear, though. <laughs> it was a bit wrong. Okay, the center continent, which is... We were just there. It's this area. So they've got to be somewhere in the middle of all that mess. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, hey. Yeah, I mean, I only just thought about it. That's the weird thing. Normally, I would have made that joke ages ago. Be on the lookout for the white seed, everybody. It's my white whale today. A white seed. Why am I going at normal? Ooh, the water looks different here. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, this is a good area to hide, actually. There's a lot of inlets. Good area to be, like, ditching out from everybody else. God, it's hard to drive through. <laughs> oh, what's that? Glowy rocks. Interesting. <gasps> Why was that? I see you, you bastard. Can't escape me. If the ride, you're stuck here with us, Fuchan. Good. Hope you enjoy the ride. We meet again. My name is Squall. We're seeds from Balam Garden. I'd like to speak to your leader. I'm in charge. State your business. Depending on what you say, we may ask you to leave immediately. I want to see alone. We pose no threat. Adea told us that you would be here. Adea? How? Oh. Adea is no longer under Sorceress Ultima Seiya's control. She's now our ally. I just realized I'm still at triple speed. I was like, why is he moving so weird? <laughs> so there's no reason for you to hide Alone's whereabouts from us. We want to take Alone back to protect her from Ultima Seiya. Thank you for coming, but we have no reason to believe you. Please leave. School, the letter, my boy. The, the, you had one job. You heard our leader. There's nothing more to discuss. I woke up to White Seed. Oh, they've still got children on board. I thought all the children became the White Seed members. I don't talk to strangers. Honestly, good life lesson. The leader said that, um... We shouldn't talk to strangers. Okay. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. I'm sorry. That's all good. I quite like their uniforms. I feel like in high quality graphics, they look kind of sick. The white and gold trim? Yeah. Come back here, small child. I wish to know what you know about the world. Whoa. 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 C -c 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 cool. I g got to t talk to a st stranger. Okay, nice conversation. <laughs> they haven't been treated they haven't been teaching them good conversation skills. What? What are you doing here, buddy? Wow, long time no see, sir. <gasps> and zone. Whoa, look who's here. Squall, how's it going? Can't believe you're here. Everyone doing good, sir? After you guys left, the Galbadian buttheads came after us. <laughs> buttheads. <laughs> Shit, I haven't heard that in forever. And we barely escaped to this boat. I was sure we were goners, sir. Zone went nuts and was thinking about swimming across the sea to escape. Hey, it was a plan. All you were doing was whining like a big baby. 
We're going to die. We're going to die. And look who jumped in first, you, you numb nuts. I don't see how these wackos keep surviving. <laughs> True. It's like Biggs and Wedge. How do they keep coming back? So, how's Rhinoa? Where is she? Rhinoa fought with us against Adea. For some reason, she went unconscious after the fight. She's resting in the garden now. I don't know what happened. We couldn't protect her. You son of a bitch! What did I say? What did I say, huh? Told you not- I told you to take care of her. And nothing better happened to her. Scumbag! You pathetic lying scumbag! So, come on. Easy, sir. Easy. She's not dead. They just don't know what's wrong with her, that's all. Ain't that right, sir? Squall would never give up on her. Am I right, sir? We came here to get alone because there's a new evil force after her. If we can get alone and Renoa together, maybe we can get Rhinoa back. Really? C-Zone? I told you, sir. Rhinoa's gonna be fine. She promised she would come back. We all have to free Timber together. Don't worry, sir. All right. But I'm gonna say it one more time. If something happens to Rhinoa again, I swear. You better run away. You can't do shit, my boy. <laughs> you want to find out if you could survive against me? Because I don't think so. Care for information, sir? About alone. Is alone here. Oh, you mean that pretty girl, sir? She left when some other ships came. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what other ships? Who were they? There were some soldiers on the ships. I know I've seen them before. Esther. They were Esther soldiers, sir. Why Esther? What do they want with alone? I don't know, sir. But I think she was smiling as she left. What the heck's going on? Damn it. You know what? I don't need any more information from you. Esther's my next target. That's good to know. Here. This is Matron's writing. She really gave this to you. You guys call her Matron too, huh? Yes, ever since we were little. We were raised by a day or two. It was difficult to fight against her. But we did. Unfortunately, everything turned out well. Oh, fortunately, everything turned out well. A day is no longer evil. She's back to her old self again. A kind matron we remember. Why would you have chandeliers in a ship? That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> you get some rough waves and whoever's underneath that table is going to die. Yippee, Esther. Yeah, I'm so excited to go to Esther. And beyond. Squall. Thank you. We owe you and Balam Garden much. Even our salute is the same. Matron told us it hasn't changed since Seed was established. Kinda badass. Holy... I need, like, another 90 of them, please. <laughs> so it says in the letter, you're looking for a loan. I'm sorry, a loan's no longer here. Didn't the Titanic have chandeliers? Yeah, but, I mean, they thought the Titanic was literally too big to sink. Uh, which, obviously, was wrong, and probably fucked up a lot of people when things started to go bad. <laughs> but th look at this ship. Compare it to the Titanic. It's way smaller... It's all made of wood. There's no metal in sight. It's just, it's no, nowhere near the same. Why? Oh, remember we, remember we picked her up from your garden near the coast. Yeah, that was a weird moment. Oh, she's good with all the kids. That proved that it is a bad idea. True. <laughs> After that, we headed east to get away as far as we could from Medea and Gobadia. <laughs> Fucking Ward was already there. <gasps> Titanic lost to an iceberg. I mean, pretty much any boat will lose to an iceberg. Before long, we encountered the Galbadian fleet. They had a lot of ships. Obviously, they were searching for us. We should have been more careful. They pursued us in full force. Luckily, we were able to escape, but then our ship broke down and we were stranded. <laughs> Why do we need ward in the thingy, uh, the zone in every shot? <laughs> there was no way we were going to let the Galbadians take a loan. Eventually, the Galbadians caught up to us and we had no choice but to prepare for battle. 
Then, an Esther ship appeared. It was weak to ice and not fire. <laughs> yeah, man. Should have stacked that Blizzard Junction. Then they would have been fine. This music's really good as well. Oh, I thought this music came in here. This is drifting. Some of the most complex and interesting harmony in the OST. Yeah. I like the way it swells up and down. Battle between them and we were caught in the middle of it. Then something strange happened. Suddenly an Esther ship came up beside us, and Esther soldiers came aboard. They told us to get aboard their ship. It sounded like an order to evacuate. Of course, we refused. We didn't trust them just as we didn't trust the Galbadians. As the Esther soldiers were trying to convince us, the battle became more intense. Soon they were forced to leave our ship. Yeah, just keep shaking your heads. <laughs> Their armor is crazy. Holy shit. Titanic should have casted reflect. <laughs> oh, I don't think it works when the ice is just floating there. <laughs> As their ship was pulling away, Alone yelled out something. Then all of a sudden, she jumped onto their ship. It wasn't like her at all. To this day, I don't understand why she did that. After that, Esther's fleet withdrew from battle and fled. It's a good thing the Galbadians left you alone, because Jesus, alone could have just left you to your death. If they... Oh my god. She just jumped off the ship and left them, and then all of Esther retreated, leaving the Galbadian ships there. <laughs> They're lucky the Gal Galbadians chose to go after her alone. All otherwise, all these people and all these children on this ship are just dead. After they left, we... Well, it's a long story. After our ship is fully repaired, we plan to go to Esther. Sorry, Squall. We couldn't protect her. So, Malone's in Esther. We believe so. Well, with that, I can get the hell out of her. With a smile on her face, no less. <laughs> At least that means she's probably doing something she wants to do. Rather than, you know, just abandoning them to their death. <laughs> Have you decided on a destination? Esther. Oh, man. Xenophobic Esther? That area's terrain is not really suited for flying the garden. Anyway, set a course for Esther. <laughs> School doesn't give a fuck, buddy. You're gonna take me there whether you like it or not. The Esther continent is surrounded by a huge mountain range. It's literally, literally hidden away by the mountains. There isn't much contact with the outside world. That's why they're called the Silent Country. I can't believe we're going to Esther. Those soldiers give me the creeps. Yeah, their armor is badass. They look, you know what they look like? They look like Kamen Rider. <laughs> they have the big giant red glowy eyes. They have like weird purple battle armor. They look like Kamen Rider. I respect it. Roger. Ultraman. Ultraman would work too. You know what? Yeah, Kamen Rider, Ultraman, similar things. They look like tokusatsu heroes. Oh God, he has 9,000 health now. <laughs> We're doing pretty good on health. And he's only level 33. Jesus. Okay. Esther. Where's Esther? Bayer's house. Windhill. Desert prison. Belling city. Dollar. Timber. Fisherman's Horizon. Malam. Trebia. Chumi. So it's got to be somewhere around here. Remember Beetleborgs? Yo, Beetleborgs was the shit back in the day. I remember... Oh, no, I can't remember the opening song anymore. I remember really liking the opening song, though. Now I can't remember what it sounded like. Big bad Beetleborgs. It was something like that. Big beep Beetleborgs. But yeah, that was a fun one. My god, Beetleborgs? Yeah, that's a throwback. I feel like just about nobody ever talks about that one anymore. Because, you know, I mean, Ultraman, Barman Rider, Power Rangers. Other ones just ended up completely dominating. Wee! The nostalgia just hit? Hell yeah. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure there was some other... 
there was some other series that had like a similar kind of feeling to it. Oh shit. Can't go any further this way. That that can't be the right way. That's too open. The song is nice. Yeah. Garo, my favorite series. I don't even Oh, I remember the anime of Garo. I don't remember like a live action to what version of that series. I'm remembering Dredge. <laughs> Wait, Dredge. Oh, this has got to be it. Icy Continent. That feels like Esther. Um, Dredge is in like the fishing game. <laughs> is it just because we're driving around the water so much. Mystic Knights of Tyrion and Og. Yes, that was a fun one. That was actually the first time my dad started to tell me about the Red Branch Knights and Tyrion and Og and the two other Dun and all the Irish myths. So I remember being like, yeah, I'm watching a show called The Knights of Tyrion and Og. And he was like excited. He was like, Tyrion and Og? I know all those stories. And then he saw what the show was and he was like, uh huh? <laughs> this is not The Knights of Tyrion and Og. <laughs> oh my God. No, there doesn't seem to be anything on this continent. It's just a barren, endless wasteland of ice. Oh. Looked like there was something in the distance there. Let's see if we can jump this. Hikuzo! Yep. Nah, there wasn't anything there. It confused me. Oh, there's another one of those giant holes. I wonder if this one... Oh. Oh, this is where the garden was. So this isn't even Esther. Shit. Run to PG. The more you tell me to do things, the more I'm going to time you out and ignore you and specifically not do the things you tell me to do. For that, I'm going to be running around the entire world map for like the next 10 minutes doing absolutely nothing. Stop trying to backseat me until I ask to be backseated. One more time and you're getting permanently banned. Bam, 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 bam. Trying to enjoy one of my favorite games of all time. If I want help, then I'll ask you for help. Bam, And yes, I did see your first message, which is why I, to I chose to completely ignore it and do the opposite. There's literally a rule in my chat thing that says no backseating unless I ask for it. So yes, let's move on from this and be happy again in the future. Ooh, you can even stop trains when you're sitting in front of them. <laughs> Just yeah, no more backseating, please. Some of the Celtic stories are awesome. Yeah, they're crazy. Well, now I've called that out, though. I can't really waste time here. I should go to Fisherman's Horizon. <laughs> Damn it. On the way we go. Bum, 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 bum. It's in the middle of the water, right? Yeah. What system is this game on? Currently, I'm playing this version on the Nintendo Switch. The original came out on the PlayStation 1. Nowadays, you can get it from pretty much anywhere. Explore Sudan? Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry, everyone. I can't go on like this. It's a bit far, but we'll make it. Oh, he's carrying her. Not princess style, though. That's a bit of a letdown. He's doing him his best. Just cruising? Yeah. Having a fun time just cruising. He's so gentle. Yeah, he's changed completely. Ah, oh, the music again. It's pretty far. Didn't think it would be this far. What am I doing? Go to Esther. Find alone. Talk to alone. There's no guarantee that everything will be resolved if I talk to alone. Even so, I'm... I sure have changed. Yeah, you have. I'm so proud of you, baby boy. At least he's not carrying a potato sack style. <laughs> yeah, just one leg on either side of him, dragging her along the ground with her head bouncing on each one of the rails. That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my God. I just realized that he's walking that giant bridge. I I was very confused when somebody was telling me to go to Fisherman's Horizon because I was like, huh? I, I guess it makes sense. The giant bridge connects to that continent, I'd imagine. School's grown so much. He has. 
a little bit too much. Some I don't like how incredibly down bad he is out of nowhere. I wish there was like a little balance. There needed to be a bit more growth over time. Because he slowly started to open up a bit, but then... Like, he just immediately fell in love with her after he rescued her, so... It is what it is, though. He said he basically always liked her from the first time they met. He was just keeping it shielded. Just now, he's just like, yeah, completely devoted to her. I wish they just, like, approved that just a little bit, giving it more time of him opening up about his feelings specifically to her. I wonder what everyone's doing. They're probably laughing at me. Or maybe they're angry. What do you think? I'll tell you the truth. I worry too much about what others think of me. I hate that side of me. That's why I didn't want anyone to get to know me. I wanted to hide that side of myself. I hate it. Squall is an unfriendly and introverted guy. It made it easy for me when people perceived me that way. That's a secret between you and me. Got that? Oh, now he's really opening up. See, I really fucking like this, though. That is a thing that so many people fall into as well, where it's like, oh, I care too much what other people think, so I'll just take a hold of the narrative myself. I'll shield myself by making everybody think one thing. Ugh. He's doing his best. And even now, he's deciding to take Rhinoa by himself so he doesn't have to worry anyone else and take anyone else's life in his hands. I know. Some people do just fall in love fast when they meet someone they like. No, very true. And to be fair, like I said, he pointed out that he actually loved her from the first time they met. From the first time. She she shyly placed her eyes on him. Oh, they fucking beat him here. I love these guys. But yeah, I just wish there was a bit more of him like opening up to her about his feelings before everything happened. Score. You're late. Is the princess still asleep? She might wake up with a kiss from the prince. Don't make that joke. Is that why you came all the way out here? To tell me that? You're going to Esther, right? We're coming too. We're a day as escort. Wait, is a day are coming? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's an interesting choice. Let's just be on our way, Squall. Well, we got a mommy with us now. Is she actually in the party? Oh, <gasps> I didn't even fucking remember that. That's crazy. Hey, what's up, mama? Shall leave as soon as we're ready. What business do you have in Esther? I must go see Dr. Odine. Dr. Odine? You've heard the name, right? Odine. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's probably the last time we're going to get to say this now that he's opening up so much. Whatever. Why do you need to see him? Sorceress Ultima Sea is alive. She's able to take control of my body at any time. If that were to happen, I would once again bring terror. I too value my well-being. I want to protect myself. If it were possible, I'd like to rid myself of the sorceress's power. Dr. Odine may, no, may, 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 may know a thing. I don't know. I'm sorry. I was distracted. He may be able to save me. I understand. Let's all go to Esther. What about Irvine? Selfie? They just off having a date? They don't want to come along? <laughs> I mean, that works for me. You forgot the mommy? How dare? I didn't forget the mommy. I just... Well, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, there we go. You guys are definitely late. Yo, they're back. Two of them went to take a look. Now we've got a huge fucking party. I still don't get how they beat Squall here. We were literally walking along a bridge. How did they manage to get in front of Squall without him seeing that? Unless they, like, piloted the garden somewhere? I don't know. How's it going, Scar? Is Rhinoa still asleep? Reno is so cute when she's asleep. Whatever. So how is it? We make it to Esther? Haste. 
<laughs> Genius, actually. <laughs> they just hasted, jumped into the water and swam in front of him. <laughs> Maybe they ran ahead. No, but that's what I mean. We were literally on a bridge. We could see everything. They couldn't have ran past him unless they literally piloted the ship around him and got to the continent in front of him. Or yeah, if they swam. <laughs> Don't question it. The plot demands it. Fair. <laughs> Woo! Are you blushing? Selfie, don't make school angry. Esther's on this continent, right? It's supposed to be huge. I don't know why, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Wouldn't it be up north or down south? Let's try going east next. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, they keep saying it's hidden behind mountains, so... Oh, I can take a dare. I shouldn't. But I will. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, go take all of Irvine's shit, Adea. You're part of the party now. I got my mommy with me. Do it? Hell yeah! Look how sick she looks, even in the tiny portrait version. Golden eyes, the purple helmet. Let's fucking go. You guys are slow. You're making me do a very strange walking movement. I miss my ship. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight so many enemies. That's okay. They might have some new magic. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. What does a nail's limit break look like? I don't know, but we're about to find out because she already has critical health. Oh, it's one of the unicorns. You guys are good for something. I don't remember what for. Sooner life cura. Not that. Definitely want to card it though. Or it could die in one hit. That's that's also an option. Okay. <laughs> Mesmer? Yeah, those things. Oh, we got the card anyway. Awesome. Ifra, Vitality. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I still haven't done my speed junctions. Um, got a lot of things to do now. Summon magic. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think you still have some stuff to learn, don't you? No? Shit. Summon magic, GF HP boost. Um, sure, why not defend? Might as well. GF HP, no thank you. Dark side. Sure, fuck it, let's learn dark side. Kutang! Vip bonus, that's what I'm talking about. Bum, 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 bum. Sure, let's go with recover. Why not? Fenart? Oh, wait, spirit bonus. Then recover. No, Aster. No summon magic. Elemental defense time. Ooh! You get a strength bonus too? Sure. Let's work on that. Speed. Oh, you can get a speed. Okay, let's go that way. Door PO. You're so powerful. Med data doubles the effect of medicine. Doubles? Holy shit. Boost. High magic refine. That. Elemental defense times four? And revive. You can just use a revive. Com oh my god. Okay, we're starting with high magic refine, but damn, Vicky. Jesus. You really are built. Uki Oh, yeah, you're still learning familiar. Okay. Um, junction. Oh, we did put things on speed. Not for a day, though. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, it even puts up your evasion. 28. 40. 40 with arrow. 68 with stop. She's gonna be zooming. Yeah, okay, stop. Oof. I wonder if that's better than what Zell has on. Oh, he's already got stopped. Okay. <laughs> They're going to be zooming too. Barely paid attention the past few hours. That's a lot of GF. Okay, okay, Sky. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot more girlfriends. School has improved his harem exponentially. Step on the speed to go fast. Yeah, I wonder if it improved. Oh, yeah. Look how fast they do shit now. God damn. Oh, I couldn't steal? Hey, how about a card? Thank God that missed. 
Yay, mystery fluid. Okay. God. And if not, you're gonna die. Oh, the counterattack killed you. <laughs> that works too. Oh, Lulu is from this game for a second, but that's 10, not 8. Yeah. Lulu is the goth GF from number 10. Day is the goth girl from number... A day is the goth girlfriend from number eight. People are not driving well today. I do not know what's going on. Let's see some sorcery. No school! I'm never going to get to see sorcery. I'm never going to get to see sorcery. That was a car? Yeah, it was very loud. Somebody either did a crazy break or they skidded like mad. Do I literally just go in? Oh. That's not hospitable. <laughs> Hello? I don't see a city. Yeah, that's more of like an iceberg. Looks like we're in for a long trip. Everything will be all right. We'll be by your side all the way. I mean, I, I think she almost killed us several times. I think she'll be fine, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Zhao. But remember, you must stay alert even in my presence. As long as I can be myself, everything will be fine. But if Ultima Saya gets inside me again... Oh, God, that's the phrasing. Um, you all know what to do. Hated this area in the original? Oh, I'm sure it'll be just as bad in this one. I cannot remember this. I can remember the journey to Esther in general being a pain in the ass, but I can't remember much else. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I miss something? Uh-oh, it's so quiet. The air's getting heavy. Guys? What's wrong? Are we falling asleep again? Come on, we're all together again. We're gonna bring back Rhinoa. It's like a picnic. We're gonna have fun. Somebody once told me that if you mention bad things, they'll come true. I know it's a silly superstition, but right now I want to believe it. So let's not talk about it anymore. I was thinking the same. Yeah, I kind of... <laughs> Just locked in there, man. My mind just went there. <laughs> Pokemaster, that's great to hear, but at the same time, please read my chat rules. I'm gonna put you in timeout for five minutes. Have a lovely day, but there's a new chat rule, number 14. It's been there for like two months now. It says, do not tell people when you're leaving. Ooh, a dinosaur graveyard. This is sick. Reminds me of the elephant graveyard in Lion King. What a diplomatic way to say shut up. He's trying. He's not being as angsty as he used to be. He's trying to be more friendly. Oh, I can hit the hands too. But why would I? Give me sorcery. Okay, fuck it. Just mug them. Ooh, lightweights. Don't know what they do, but they sound cool. There we go, finally. Take out Righty. Holy shit! That was some insane magic. Uh-oh. Oh, it's what killed Squall. Sick. Well, it didn't kill him, but it kind of like put him to sleep. Do it again. Why not? <laughs> and then a Renzakukin if he survives. Ah, memories. I know, right? Remember when mommy tried to kill us instead of working with us? God, those were crazy times. <laughs> School will be like, my chest's the pain. Yeah, he just sees her do that and he just like clutches his chest. The PTSD comes back. It's like, oh God, I can still feel the ice inside me. Who's got some cures? Ah, cure us will do. Phantom pains? Yeah, that shit's terrible. Oh, wait. Cross the bones? Well, at least he doesn't have hands this time. Let's mug him again. Oh, we actually got the lightweights. Let's go. Oh, he can't become a card? That sucks. Shishiva too. 
<laughs> no, she's better. She's mommy. Shiva just learned summon magic. Oh, Uki Kilo and familiar. Awesome. Bum, 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 bum. Learn. Familiar complete. Cool shop. You can just call a shop out of nowhere. That's crazy. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do that. We roll. I did this area because it was hard to navigate the map. You couldn't tell what was background. Yeah, look at this shit. That's apparently the way to go. <laughs> Meanwhile, you started right next to that area. It didn't look like that was a way to go. Andaga. Wait, is that all I came this way for? <laughs> shit. Yeah, I can see why you hated this area. At least I have the option to turn off encounters if I want to. Even without the powers... She's giving me Angelina Jolie's Maleficent. Damn. Honestly, true, though. Mug him. Ah, you'll get him next time, mama. Wait, what does zombie do? Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> oh, and now she's doomed. A life ring. Heck yeah. And he stopped. These monsters are kind of scary. Jesus Christ. They got doom. They got stops. I really hope that doesn't stay outside the battle. GFs are going nuts leveling up. It does. Oh my God. Remedy time. Just these two regular dudes next to a goddess. How dare you call school a regular dude? I'm fine with you calling Zell that, but school... He's so beautiful. Oh, it's just two hands. God, I should have had Mug forever ago. I didn't know it just replaced attack. I thought it was like another option you had to equip. Let's go. Is Tuny King? Yeah, he is. Above average dude, a jorts dude in a class. <laughs> he's not just above average. He's freaking incredible. How dare. <laughs> School slander, I know, right? How dare. Oh, save. Uh, uh. At least you get to run for a long time in this area. There haven't been too many battles. Why does it have a saver here if there's nothing to do here? That's so confusing. Okay, back we go. Glad I went right before left. Yeah, if we'd gone left first. We'd be fighting this thing without having saved. He's got a chain around his neck. I mean, that's called a necklace. <laughs> Let's not make it sound like he's got some crazy stuff. An undead monster. Use recovery-related magic and items and stuffs. Unless you want to steal this. Oh. Han stock it. What the fuck is it? Or is it because... Oh, he has no space. Is that Flare? No way that's flare. Okay, I need to lose this battle. Um, I need to be able to let everybody draw all of those. Yeah, sorry, Zal, but you, you kind of got to die, buddy. We got to turn this into a draw sedan. I put myself to sleep at school. <laughs> it's going to make this take so much longer than it should have. And now she's confused. Fuck my life. Okay. The monster design gave me nightmares as a kid. It's pretty fucking sick. Flair, it's one of the strongest pieces of magic in the game. <laughs> she's asleep. She's confused. She doesn't know what's going on. Oh, that heals her. She has fire absorption. I forgot about that. Okay, school, you kill yourself. There we go. <laughs> has nothing. That's such a rude way to say it. I'm already blind, you idiot. Kill me. You know what? I'll cast flare on myself. How about that? You silenced... You are so stupid. Why are you making it so hard for me to kill myself? I hate this thing. Oh my god. I 
can't hit myself because I'm blind. And he silenced me, so I can't use his magic. Please, kill me. End me. Stop confusing me and just end me. Wow, does this game love to torture you so much? I don't know. The worst thing is when I want things to work out, they don't work out. When I want to just die, it just, yeah, it just plays with me for like half a fucking hour. <laughs> okay, now we can reload. <laughs> Get rid of some space in Zell's magic. And then we'll just draw the shit out of this guy. Although I need to block Confuse as well. Confuse is a pain in the ass. A great salt lake. Oh, so it's not ice, it's salt. That's adorable. Um, where did I need the door? Okay, um, get some magic off of Zell. He doesn't need thunder. He doesn't need blizzard. He doesn't need fire. He doesn't need 11 fucking drains. Or 11 sleeps. Click on one. I don't care which one. <laughs> uh, as soon as we'll keep. Zombies? Nah. And breaks. That'll do for now. That's enough space. Um, does Squall have space? Nope, he's out too. Okay, so... 13 breaks. Give him to Irvine. 10 holies. I should probably hold on to those. Andara, don't need it. Infuse, we're probably about to use those. 44 waters, not enough. Shit, I did it as soon as Aura. Um, that'll do for now for you. The day I have, you've got lots of space, okay. And then Junction, try to get them to not be confused. He can't, <laughs> okay. He can, sweet. Sooner and blind. Um, Sooner barely does anything. It's only 3% of everything. Confuse. Um, I should check if anybody else has confuses. Dea, you got any confuses in there? Yep. Give him the squall. There we go. Okay, we've got space. We've done our best to get confused junction. Save again. Let's do this. It'd be funny if Squall couldn't even fight because he was too busy holding Rhinoa. <laughs> Love how the confusion ended up hurting the monster more because of recovery items. I know, right? Ah, that's the worst thing. All I want to do is just draw all these flares from this monster and then I can just use an X potion on it and it'll be dead. It'll be over. It's funny that they tell you that now and not when we dealt with the undead fake mare thing or whatever. Um... Okay, draw. Stock. Draw. Stock. Draw. Stock. Go nuts, kiddos! I'm trying to remember if it was. A deer's too pretty, man. It's the golden eyes, man. The gold and purple go together so well. The way her rhyming is just like blowing behind her in the wind all the time is so sick. I was taking a bit of a beating. But he'll be fine. Game telling you three discs in. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is the first undead enemy we faced other than that guy. I wonder... Oh. I never thought about the fact. I wonder if you can cast a zombie on a monster and then use a healing item to kill it. That'd be kind of wild. Menu management in this game is so wild. I can't imagine figuring this out as a kid. I mean, they have very detailed tutorials at least. Kind of annoying sometimes, but... Ah, oh, here we go. Suna, cast, on Zell. You keep drawing, buddy. Um, um. Okay, Suna again, cast, on Squall. For the love of God, do not let him... Oh, it missed. Even better. Okay, back to drawing. 
No cost. God damn it. I don't know. What, whatever the Art Nouveau elevator. Oh, fuck. Zell. Why do you keep getting hit with that? Oh, nice. You punched him in the face. Good job, buddy. No, not caught. Fuck. I swear this is a strat used before, but I don't know if I'm misremembering. I think you probably can do that against enemies. It just makes sense. Why else would zombie even be a thing, honestly? Oh, no more space. Sweet. Um, Kiraga. Fuck it. Why not? And then for Zell, yeah, you can start attacking it. You can't do much damage anyway. Especially if you put on your weapon. Mm, didn't even think about that. Can you put healing onto your attack of your weapon? That'd be kind of crazy. I do want to mug him before I kill him too. Oh, good. Draga cast on Squall. And then Squall, do you still have space? Yep. Oh shit, not confused. Oh, thank god. Yeah, if school ever started getting confused and doing shit like attacking the party, we'd be fucked. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not great either. <laughs> she still tried to mug him. Good for her. Damn, he still isn't full. Did I just cast a Suno on the wrong person? I did. Stop making this harder for us! I hate you, Sal. I hate you so much. Someday I will have my vengeance. Well, at least he got seven, finally. Oh, the protection sound is so funny, too. <laughs> we still can't steal? Jesus Christ, this guy's good at protecting against steel. Okay, one flare? That has to have been the last one, right? Oh, thank God. Okay. Fuck it. Um, Kiraga cast on him. And then magic... Wait, why wouldn't I just draw from him and use Kiraga? I did the wrong thing. It's okay. Where's my expotions? I just want to end this. I could use an elixir. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Just end this. <laughs> That's so anticlimactic after all of that. Ah, but oh well. Monster looks like someone who just did their nails and is waiting for it to try. <laughs> the position do be kind of funny. I know he's definitely a really good card as well, Abaddon. But I very much doubt you can turn a boss into a card. I still learned strength. Vicky learned high magic. Wow, that was fast. Okay, uh, Aster... I really wish you'd just follow the paw. <laughs> and Vicky. Med data, summon magic, revive. You go for elemental defense times four. That sounds crazy. We have that. We can block against so many things. Okay, junction, score, magic, strength. It's still not better than triple. Holy fuck. That's surprising. What about vitality? No? Magic? Okay. Magic soars with that. So does Flare. Flare does pretty good for health. What does Flare do over here? I see. A little bit of everything. Oh well. Really thought it was better than that for strength. Should be better than Quake, though. 
Wait. Where did your flares go? Oh, there they are. Yeah, 93. I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, he does have triple. If 89 is better than all these flares. Nope. Nice. Okay, so we got some strength buffs for everyone but Squall. Bum, 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 bum. Save and we continue. I'm just going to try to get us to Esther and then I'm going to stop for the day. I'm now aware it has already been six hours, so we'll be ending soon. Bum, bum, bum. I love the music in this area. It's very atmospheric and relaxing. Full death. Ah. Uh, death though it was definitely a cool death um guys the world is glitching they really are technologically advanced <gasps> it's wakanda there's something here well what the hell is that it's some kind of hole or tunnel this looks like the only way oh and there's even a ladder that's nice <laughs> it's a bug better reload you know what you're right i better just real quickly no i'm kidding truman show moment yeah that's kind of sick tell him baku i said hey baku's awesome i'd rather go hang out with killmonger secret tunnel secret tunnel through nothing honestly what are these transparent panels I wonder if they have anything to do with the console. Fuck it. Try operating it. What's the worst that could happen? <gasps> OCS display test menu. Random. Hit me with the LOL XD. Ooh, very aperture. Okay, so you're just, yeah, you're just silly little panels. <gasps> the sky. Okay, well that was fun. Wait, can I move on now? Nope, it's it's still going. It's just what the f okay. Finally, holy shit! I'm gonna exit test. Cool technology. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, 99. That might have been a little bit mind blowing. <laughs> Nowadays, we're close to having that shit. And like invisibility stuff, like the Windows XP screensaver. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Esther's all kinds of crazy. XD Logzoys? Rufflecopter? I'm so random, <laughs> tee hee. What is happening here? What the hell is this? It's an elevator, my boy. Never seen an elevator. <laughs> what is this, an elevator? I haven't the slightest clue. I don't know what I'm doing, where I am. I don't know if we'll ever get to Esther, but I don't care. I'm not turning back now. This elevator's moving pretty damn fast at this point. <laughs> okay, pick Rhino up, or don't. We, we can't talk to anyone? Okay. Oh shit, I can step on her face. Oh god, my throat's in- my- my foot is in her throat! stopped is that it it stopped see that's why school thinks those thoughts in his head Zal, because that's pretty obvious my boy <laughs> Ooh, school what are you thinking i don't care at this point nothing's gonna surprise me what else let's go yeah this is when shit goes really crazy in this game Welcome to Esther. Technological super city of the future. The hell is this? What's going to happen now? And it's freaking huge. Oh, I can move. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. That color scheme is great. That is moving way too fast. We would fall off and die. I'm glad they didn't. 
Come here, Squall. Show me that sexy face. Damn. Moving really fast. Yeah, I thought the elevator was bad, but that thing was zooming. <laughs> my stomach would drop yeah i would instantly hit the ground and just hold on for dear life <laughs> this is what we thought the 2010s would look like i ah, give it another 300 years we'll be fine <laughs> judging from their technology they must know we're here it's possible we might encounter some hostility so stay alert uh, uh, no not now this isn't good why now, alone? What the fuck? I, I thought you couldn't... Why? Why? What? What? You un... You don't have... Adea as an option. You're making me do this shit again? And he's clearly unequipped because his HP is so low. Why would I need to... <sighs> I'm done with this game as soon as I get to my next saver. Why have they done this five times to us today? <laughs> Skinny one and the fat one, get your asses down to Lunatic Pandora. You're gonna stay here and work. The rest of you get back to work. <sighs> At least they have a Mumba with them. Mumbas are cute. Is this where the Mumbas started to fall in love with Laguna? I'm hungry. You, I said no talking. It's only been three days, you wimp. Three days without food? Holy shit. When I was young, I worked all day and night with no food. I at least... Okay, good. At least I'm stocked up. As long as you can get a day as magic back. Yeah. Oh god, what if she leaves the party and just everything I had on her is just gone? I would cry. I wonder if Kiros and Ward are working too. No talking. How many times do I have to... Oh, meal time. All right, it's time to eat. You keep working. That's what you get for your big mouth. That beast over there. You too. No meal until your work is done. Hey, you can't be serious. I'll be done in two to three hours, but his job won't be done for days. He just won't get fed for a few days. If he wants to eat, he should work faster. Yeah, this is where the Mumbas fell in love with Laguna. Oh, poor Mumba. Six days without food is fucking killer. It, it st you stop feeling hungry after like three to four days, but even then, you might pass out if you're doing proper work and shit. Come give me a hand. I can't handle the big guy alone. Oh shit, he's fighting back. Let's go. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. The camera's watching you. Come on, Mumba friend. Let's get the hell out of here. You all right? You look exhausted. Do they feed you all right? You got a fever or something? Or are you just scared of heights? Uh, uh. Your stomach's going grr? <laughs> That's funny. I think that thing's grr grr means thank you. You know what? You're the first one to care about his well-being. These Mumbas get worked to death for no reason. They only get half the food and sleep compared to us humans. Esther, so technologically advanced and still so fucked up. Experiment, experiment. Let's just do this. Fuck, he's just going for it. Bah, this is a failure. Sounds like Dr. Odin's up to something again upstairs. Okay, I guess I'll follow the way they went. Screwed you and my... Oh, I can't go that way. <laughs> Shit. What? That Odin. I don't think he knows we're here. The scientists are all the same. All they care about is their research. Okay. That's the danger that you stop feeling hunger? Exactly. Huh? What's up? You need a tool? I'll go get it. Wait right there. I think there was one here. Hey, you over there! Yeah, standing next to the elevator. Go get the guards upstairs. Tell them there's an emergency. Roger that. An emergency? Maybe the guys are up to something. Go now. 
All right, I'm going. Not. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, catch. No, Mumba friend. Oh, Laguna, you murderer. Oh, sorry. I feel so horrible. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt or anything, but... What? They can fly? I'm just so ashamed of myself right now. What? <laughs> don't worry, it's not a ghost. They might be treated badly, but they still put safety cables around them for a job like this. Oh, okay. Why didn't you just tell me that first? You're such a nice guy. Not many guys like you these days. Oh. That sounded like flirtation to me. You seem like you'd be a good candidate to be our leader. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> just like school. Just thrusted into the position. A leader? That's right. A lot of us are dissatisfied with the way Adele's been ruling Esther. We may be disorganized now, but someday we'll gather our forces to remove Adele from power. We're overthrowing the ruler of a country. A sorceress far beyond our powers. A half-baked plan would never work. We're waiting for the right time now. Most of us involved in the Adele resistance are specialists. It's easy to research ways to fight Adele, but there's no one to lead the movement. That's our situation right now. I'm sorry, you have all these specialists and everybody coming, and you tell a random person about this. Just a completely random person who might just go, oh, thanks for the info. Hey, guards, <laughs> these guys are planning a coup against the sorceress. Does that get me any special treatment? I mean, we've been looking for someone like you. Someone who's strong and righteous. Hey, did you go tell him? What are you doing? Up to no good again, aren't you? Stop. Wait, did they let me keep my gun? These Esther soldiers. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. I'm fine with this. Get wrecked. <laughs> the logic of JRPG slash anime. Yeah, you were nice to that cute creature. So I trust you wholeheartedly. <laughs> He's so cute and empathetic. He can't possibly be a bad guy. True. Don't move. Darn it, I did it again. Oh, too bad. Just get on and go. Go on, little mumba friend. That's a good boy. Kiros, Ward, great timing. Except that the elevator's about to leave. Or should I say, bad timing? Stop talking and just keep walking. It's not so bad. Two is better than one. Four is better than two. Right. So who's the fourth one? Jeez. Are you starting to hallucinate? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, my sweet owl. You make your uncle so happy. Hey, now's our chance. You know what to do. Just finish him off and get out of here. Before we do that, are we all geared up? Better check. There's no, we are not. Please tell me I've still got my... I don't have my magic. No, this is the shit I threw into Irvine. Ah, God. Why did they do this to me? Wait. Oh, they did take it completely off of the other guy as well. You never combine Quetzalcoatl and Shiva. It's Quetzalcoatl, Kyodai. And I don't even fucking know. Come on, man. Why would I be expected to remember this every time? Just auto do the magic. Um, draw, item, card, HP plus 80, HP plus 40, HP bonus. He's still only at 2646. That's okay. That's okay. That's perfectly okay. Does that mean Laguna? He's fine. Um, Kiros. Yeah, they took him off Kiros too. Ogre blast in through the speakers. Wait, what happened? I connect my Bluetooth to college speakers on accident and you were playing through the college speakers. Well, I'm glad we haven't said anything saucy recently. That's still pretty bad though. <laughs> Hope you don't get in any trouble. That's kind of crazy. 
<laughs> Good luck with everything. Thank you for donating the food fund. I'll read that properly at the end. But man, that's insane. <laughs> Uh, we need someone with items. Magic's always good. HP plus 80. Um, Spirit plus 40. We definitely need Mug. That's more like it. 7,500 health. Perfect. All right, let's go. Probably heard you raging at junctions. Oh, dear God. That must have been embarrassing. <laughs> Everybody in the school just like, what the fuck is going on? Why do they have a monster with them? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Bazaar, Cura, Fyra. Fyra, Thunder, Bazaara. Shall protect flow. Okay, none of these matter. Oh, damn. Do you want to give me a seizure? That's crazy. Did he just delete Laguna? I'm sorry, what? I didn't even see what the name of that technique was. Laguna just gone. Um. Stole one Phoenix down. Oh, okay. In which case, blood pain him. Where's Laguna now? I, I guess he's just erased from time. Time is gone. <laughs> Hello, it's been me. I've been wondering if you want to overthrow this country. He, he's not even... Oh, he's back, I guess. <laughs> Jailbreak. Am oh, I? He's dead. I was <laughs> fucking... What? Just happened. Okay. Adele Fuchan? I, I don't think we can count that as like Adele's shit. That was just a random monster. Oh, this guy's wild looking love that collar no security guard now's our chance oh that's dr odin i i missed all of that i'm not even on three times speed but nope okay let's get out of here i don't want to deal with them i just want to find a save point thank god hey you waited for me Aww. stay on your toes don't get captured again oh he sent the moomba for you Darn it. Promised him a meal and a nap when we got out. Oh, I guess he's better off running... Curry. Ah, uh, shh. It's okay. He's an LDL Resistance member, too. He's Dr. Odine's assistant. All the hot info about the lab comes from him. Is he a new member? Welcome to our group. You made quite a bit of noise down there. Well, this may be a good time to leave the facility. Did something happen to the doctor, or did Adele stop funding this lab? No, it's Dr. Odai and he... He's done it again. He's found a new toy he prefers over a big one like Lunatic Pandora. Some child named Alone. Alone? What has he done to my daughter? You know her? Know her? She's really the only reason that we're here. Where is she? Where's Alone? Dr. Odine would probably know her whereabouts. So look for Odine, right? We're going back. Thanks for all your help. Better go someplace safe now. Adios. Wait a second, I still owe you. If you're looking for that girl alone, you'll eventually need help. Facing Esther and Adele with only the three of you will be difficult. Why not let us help you? We'll provide you with all the information you'll need. It's not a bad idea. We don't know anything about Esther. I never want to go through all this again. I'm sure Ward feels the same way. <laughs> I mean, you could give us a thumbs up, Ward. <laughs> huh. Mm, okay, fine. We'll accept your help. In return, we'll help your anti Azel movement or whatever. <laughs> He's so fucking funny. It's Adele. Start listening more closely because it's getting embarrassing. Is what Ward would say. Can't you see it in his eyes? Yeah, sure, I always see it. <laughs> I always see his disappointment. That's fucking funny. But who cares? I speak with passion from the heart. That's what matters most. Yes, that's right. 
It all sounds crazy, but I like you. Oh, well, this is this guy. I was like, whoa, where's this confession coming from? I like you. I really want you to be our leader. Leave it to me. Once we find a loan, I'll take up that offer. Well, let me go pay a visit to Odine. Wait right here. Darn it, did it again. Well, I don't ever think things through before I answer. Well, it's been okay till now. I'm sure things will work out. Yeah, totally. <laughs> been lucky so far, my buddy. Oh, death! Death approaches. Fantastic. <laughs> Save point, baby. Okay. That's... Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to erase that one. Just in case we have permanently lost the magic. I'm not sure if Adea stays in the party. If she li leaves the party when we go back, yeah. I, I'm going to have to reload. I have so much magic on her. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're going to stop the gameplay session for today. Which is funny since somebody just dropped in. What's up? Star drop. Sorry, I had to read that name and make sure it said what it, what it said. Olga's so diligent, I left at one point of the stream to sanitize my bed. Came back and he's still going strong. Yeah, I mean, especially the last few days, we've been doing a lot of longer streams. Wait, is tomorrow more Final Fantasy or is tomorrow Zelda? Let me check real quick. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Ah, yay, tomorrow's more Final Fantasy. We, yeah, we should be able to finish this game by the end of the, the end of the week. Tomorrow, yeah, we'll probably get close to disc four and then the final day. Disc four isn't super long, so that should work. Thank God. Wait, what? Th th oh, about the extra save. Yeah. Zelda's Wednesday. Heck yeah. Okay. Let's put this to sleep so I don't even have to turn the game off. I can just let it rest. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing a lot of long streams recently because we want to power all the way through Final Fantasy VIII before the Archivist. But I'm looking forward to finishing Zelda too. This should be great. It's a nice week. It's a nice relaxing time. And then Archivist. I took a day off before Archivist so I can like get everything else set up. <gasps> Set up. Oh, fucking hiccups every time I go Zatsudan mode. Ah. More FF8 tomorrow. Lol, the cliffhanger. I mean, this wasn't too bad of a cliffhanger. It would have been a better cliffhanger if we stopped right after Rhino had, like, disappeared and passed out and stuff. Which song should I put on? Let's try this one. Yeah, it's been a while since we played this one. This is a nice chill tune. Bam, bam. Bless you. Thank you. Although I didn't... Did I sneeze? <laughs> Gaslighting myself. I'm like, did, did did I sneeze? I definitely like hiccuped. <laughs> this week is Futan week. Yeah, this is just basically my self-care week. And then we become the archivist. And then shit really kicks off again. Which makes sense. Because um, then we're doing Mother Simulator. So that should be fun too. It was just a hiccup. Oh, well, thank you. I've never heard somebody bless people for a hiccup, but thank you. I couldn't function, literally. Super excited for the rest of the hyped week. Me too. I'm excited to finish Final Fantasy. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited to just continue Final Fantasy. We're definitely not going to finish it tomorrow. I think we'll be able to finish it on the final day. I'm very excited to finish Zelda because they have been hyping up this Ganon fight like nobody's freaking business. Oh, man. With everything they've been like, leading up to how powerful they've been making Ganon seeming I, I I hope everything comes forward as much as I'm hoping for because yeah it looks like he's going to be able to like turn into a dragon and probably also do the beast mode I'm so excited I don't know if we're going to get Zelda back either shit's going to be wild you love the end of Tears of the Kingdom I am hoping so no joke it's super hyped let's go we still have a few more things to do during it as well I forget we have to get the frostbite armor. I think we were going to get some other armor. Oh, the 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 the, the champion's leathers. Um, um, we might do a tiny bit more exploration as well. Truthfully, I don't even know where the fight with Ganondorf is going to take place. <laughs> so we also have to find our way to Ganon. So that'll be probably a pretty long stream as well. I'm hoping for that one to be like four hours rather than six hours. <laughs> the six hour streams are starting to weigh down on me. Just a little bit. <laughs> Wolf Cub Eli 2. 
my course leader called me into the studio and asked for your name and my brain was barely functioning in that moment so i just made a random name up <laughs> oh shit oh were they like who was that person on the speakers what's going on <laughs> that's so funny i hope you didn't get any trouble but yeah asking for the name that's so funny just be like um um that that was mr beast you never heard of mr beast that that would normally work like a lot of people would have genuinely heard the name Mr. Beast, but not know anything about the videos. So they would be like, oh, that was Mr. Beast. Ah, I guess just a weird, honest mistake. That's fine. <laughs> just, yeah, give some massive name of just somebody that you hope they haven't watched any videos of, but they know of. <laughs> Thank you for doing the food funds. I hope everything goes well. Don't give away my government details, Sunako. <laughs> Asami. Thank you for doing the food chance. Uh, food chance? Thank you for doing the food funds. It's happy to see the battle between Balam and Galvadia Guardian. Wasn't that so cool? I love the bit where Skull flies down and manages to collect um, Rhinoa. That's so sick. Said your name was Carol Jackson. Hell yeah. Carol Jackson sounds like someone who'd come from down south. Someone who chews tobacco and drives a Ford F-150 pickup truck. Someone whose hands are grizzled. A real man's man. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, school speech, school and his friends fighting together with Adea. Yeah, school speech was amazing. Like I said, there are some bits in this story that go like different directions and kind of feel a bit broken. But I still love this story. I love the big hype moments. I think that's what I like in stories more than like an actual perfect sto streamlined story. <laughs> like it's the same for some of my other really enjoyed things like I wouldn't call it one of my favorite stories or games of all time, but I really enjoy um, Detroit Become Human, even though there are so many glaring flaws in that one. <laughs> I genuinely was okay. Well, I liked The Last of Us Part 2. You know what? Yeah, enough time has passed. I'm never going to fucking touch that game again. I'm never going to play it again. <laughs> but I liked it because of like the set pieces that were really good, the moments that were really dramatic. So yeah, I guess I'm just the type of person that can overlook even the most glaring of flaws, as long as something can make me like really emotional in like different parts. But yeah, there were some great moments today. I'm glad you enjoyed them, Asami. Thank you for donating the food funds and I hope you have a lovely evening. Got away with it though, because she was too lazy to tell me off, but she kept give, uh, she giving my class a talk about using the speakers appropriately because of my accident. Oh no, <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't your fault anyway. I, I have occasionally accidentally like projected things onto my smart TV just because I was like clicking things wrong and then suddenly hear it like blasting from the living room and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Noeen, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I see food, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for donating. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you have a wonderful evening. To a college though. Yeah, sharing it with an entire college. Oof. That's just more embarrassing than anything else as long as you're okay it's all good imagine if they'd done that like during the a date with death stream or just any of the sussy moments <laughs> what oh god what if it was during the moment when i went on a try eight about cucking just me doing the school voice like no no it was the sid voice yes school i for i forgot it when i was teaching you about bdsm there's this other thing that people love called ntr or cock holding God, imagine if that was what got projected all over the school. Then you'd probably get in trouble. They wouldn't think that was a mistake. They'd think you were just trolling or something. <laughs> Sabrina, say bye. Hey, say bye, Hagen. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. My mom used to tell me I was growing tolo whenever I got hiccups. Nowadays, she only tells me you're growing. To which I reply, yeah, sideways. <laughs> TY for the stream, foo. Sorry for the random super. You never have to be sorry for that. Thank you for donating the foo funds. That's a cute comment too. Well, maybe that's why I've been having hiccups. Maybe they'll stop when I finally, well, this Saturday, after Archivist is released and after I'm finally, finally, 1.9 meters, six foot three, I'm coming home. I don't have to be a baby boy anymore. Maybe that's what all the hiccups are for. <laughs> Bluetooth technology is dangerous. Yes. What else is there? There's something that I'm always terrified. Oh, just freaking liking things on Twitter can scare the shit out of me sometimes. There's so many times I'm like half asleep and like on my phone and I like drop my phone onto my face and then I'm like, oh no, 
Did I accidentally press any buttons? Because <laughs> one of the worst feelings in the world is just like scrolling through Twitter randomly and just being like, oh no, did I accidentally like a thing that I shouldn't have liked? I swear, I don't actually like that thing. I'm, I'm not making any kind of like statement. It's just, I pressed a button wrong or I dropped the phone on my face. Please, no. And there's so many times that I like accidentally like open messages that I'm trying to save for later. <laughs> But I'm half asleep, whether I just drop it on my face or whether I do accidentally open them and just close them immediately. And then I just forget there was even a message. It's just gone. It's gone forever. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food fund. Sabrina, say bye. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. They sent me an email about it. They're banning the students from the speakers unless you're a performing arts student. That's fair. To be fair, when is anybody else ever going to need to use the speakers? Unless there's like an event going on or an emergency, I guess. But even then, they should have specific people to deal with that. Are you scared of accidentally sending a link to someone? Oof, yeah. I'm always very careful to like hold shift and press enter when I'm like writing out tweets or something. Because there are some programs where if you press enter instead of holding shift and enter, like to make an under, uh, uh, go down a line. Yeah, where just enter will just immediately send a thing. I've done that so many times where I just press enter without thinking about it. It sends a message and I'm like, I wasn't done with that. And I start like immediately continuing to type furiously to try to get like the second half of the message. <laughs> Surprised they didn't do that preemptively. Yeah, I feel like even back when I was in school, they had like protections over most of the technologies. I, I guess in a college, they trust students more. College age kind of thing. Whereas like, yeah, in secondary school, we had projectors and stuff and they like all had like heavy security on them. Undo message docker. That's the problem. Some things let you like delete messages properly. Some things is just like, no, you can delete it for yourself, but they will see that shit. They will wake up and see us. <laughs> Don't make the speaker password literally the word password. That's a very dumb password. Okay, but what if you make it a password with a four instead of the D? That's a very dopio thing to do, but also people probably won't guess it. They'd probably try password. They'd try password with a zero. They maybe try password one or password one, two, three. No way in hell they try password for. I just that's just not making sense. Ukeisuke, thank you for donating the food funds. All seeds must die. But there won't be any plants anymore. <laughs> See, I'm glad you went that with that joke. Because I would have went for a much more silly sexual joke. <laughs> All seeds must die. But I don't wanna be wait, what's the word? Sterile. I'm not ready for a vasectomy. Please. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Sukesuke. I hope you have a lovely evening. <laughs> you may hire. See why for the stream for China. I'm loving getting to experience this story. I never finished the first disc when I played it. Have a good rest of your day. I'm glad you're enjoying the story. If I was to ever like hire like an editor or kind of thing, I think that's what I'd do. Rather than like getting viral clip kind of moments. I mean, I don't do viral clips. Everything I do is very rambly and silly and tangential. Um, but yeah, no. The type of editor that I'd want would be someone who like cut down a whole game to like half an hour segments. So it just takes out like all of the needless battles and all of the random flavor stuff just so that people could see like the full story of a thing. That's one of the things I love the most about Alpha Rad's content, even though he doesn't do it as much anymore. Um, but he used to have like very good edited like full game playthroughs where I think he cut down like the first half of um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, he cut that one down to like a 30 minute video and it's just so streamlined. It gives you like the whole story. It gives you like all the characterization, but without like all of the endless battles and stuff. The Rad Brad will do that as well. It's really helpful. Yeah, I love that kind of thing because then you get to experience like the full story of a game, but without having to sit through 40 hours of content <laughs> like it when games offer a story mode too so people can choose how much challenge they want versus just enjoying story stuff oh you mean like difficulty settings yeah that's always a nice tool the internet death timing would be a great clip oh i mean that's the problem those <laughs> even if you like disconnect at like a really funny time it's hard to like edit a clip that way to make it actually funny like i've definitely seen some people do it but i mean you have to be like and this is where Fuchan's internet disconnected. <laughs> so yeah, we do get some funny moments because I mean, my, my internet dies a lot for some reason. Sometimes it's YouTube. Sometimes it's my internet. And then sometimes it's just straight up my PC crashing. Hey, 
I think we normally have it like once every other week on average. It's, uh, <laughs> it's hopefully when I get to my new place, it won't happen as much. I'm thinking part of it is definitely they, they've said my house has what's called dirty electricity where it's essentially just not wired very well. It's a very old setup. It's low voltage. Um, so it does what it has to. It's just occasionally it'll get kind of fucky wucky. <laughs> and for a fucking PC, that's a problem. Straight up blue screen of death. No, that's the weird thing. It's never a blue screen of death. It's just straight up everything disappears, black screen, and then it just immediately restarts. It's wild. Um, and yeah, I've tried things to fix the dirty electricity. I bought one of those like power banks where it can like keep your electronics going for like a good five to 10 minutes, even when it, even when like power completely goes off. Um, that didn't work, so I don't know. But I know it's not like any of the components of my PC because the same person who like fixed my graphics card when it blew, like checked all the logs and everything and said, no, there's nothing. Like it doesn't say anything when it's crashed. It's just, it just goes. So it must be the power. It's just weird. Dirty electricity, just wash it for it. <laughs> Damn it. That really sounds like bad electricity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to start looking. My... Um, I'm going to be able to start looking for a new house this coming December. So it's still quite a while away. It's still nine months away. Ooh, it's baby time away. Um, but yeah, then I'll be able to start looking for a new house. I'm probably going to move quite far from here as well because I want somewhere with slightly better winters. Where I live, the winters fucking suck. It's like normally four months of pure snow. <laughs> but yeah, eventually I'm going to start looking for a house. But even then from December, that's going to be like start looking. So it could take a few months from then as well. But I'll be gone soon, eventually. <laughs> I'll be out of a closet, hopefully. I'll have a nice streaming area where I can do ASMR and VR stuff. I'm hoping so. <laughs> Somewhere Doggo can roam to. Yeah, I'm hoping to have a decent sized fenced in garden. And with like some sort of privacy. I don't care if it's like a huge fence or just like some sort of trees or bushes around the fence. But yeah, fenced in so the dog can't escape. Um, but then he can just still just like run around outside and stuff. Um, but also, yeah, some sort of privacy just so it feels like you're not, you know, constantly being watched. <laughs> Is dog a jumper? Oh, yeah, dog can jump something like maybe seven feet. He can definitely jump higher than me. Um, this is when he was a puppy, though. I mean, he's about to be six years old now. I say about to. He's going to be six years old in about four months. It's just, it feels like it's summer already. The weather's been weird. But yeah, no, he used to be able to jump higher than me. He used to be able to just straight up... Like, there's some walls nearby where we walk sometimes where it's, like, slightly taller than me. And he would just, like, extend his paws and just jump right up. Like, to kind of, like, drag himself up a little bit for the final bit. He hasn't done that for a long time. But yeah, when he was, like, two years old... He used to do that and just like sniff some of the trees and stuff up there and then eventually jump back down. Whole last garden is going to need a cage. <laughs> Hopefully not a cage. Hey, that's what I mean. Like if anything else, like just a decent like six foot fence. I don't think he'll want to jump that. I think he'll realize, okay, this fenced in area is my area. Um, I, so I don't think he'll try to jump over that fence. And by the time I move, he's got to be like well into his age six anyway. Is it easy to find a house where you live where you can keep a pet? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I live in a a very, very rural kind of area. So <laughs> everything around here is like big, spacious areas. Yeah. You may hire. Thank you for donating the food funds. TY for the stream for China. I'm loving getting to experience the story. I never. Oh, wait, I already read that one. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Sorry. I forgot I went into a complete tangent about like someday possibly or, uh, possibly hiring an editor to do like long form videos of like entire series down into nice small chunks like i feel like we could get like the original last of us down to like a good two hour like four 30 minute videos kind of thing that sounds like such a long process though for the editor so yeah i'd have to find a good like committed editor <laughs> secret life of anna thank you for donating the food fun zip i'd see foo i was tuning in at work I took the puppet to sushi and sake last night. Let's go. It was delicious. Hope you have something good tonight too. That's got it for the stream. I am going to have something good tonight, but I can't remember what. I remember I was excited for it. But I can't remember what it is that I'm having. 
I had Huashin salmon again last night um, with Brussels sprouts and rice. That was really good. The last couple of nights I've had good things. What did I have the day before? Oh, I had barbecue chicken and uh, mac uh, ma 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 macaroni and cheese. Macaroni. It was my first time making macaroni and cheese because I don't like it, but I found like a low carb version and I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. It was good. Like I mixed some of the barbecue sauce from the barbecue chicken into it. So it was like barbecue macaroni and cheese. It was tasty. Still not super big into like macaroni and cheese, but that one was fine. Mac and cheese is so good though. I, I just was never into it. I like macaroni salad. I think it's just the fact that it's just essentially pasta and cheese. It just hurts my brain. <laughs> there are some things that I like when it comes to cheese. I even just like eating plain cheese, maybe with bread, maybe with grapes, maybe with crackers, stuff like that. Um, but in general, I don't like just like overpowering cheese. <laughs> so yeah, macaroni and cheese has never been a thing for me. It can be really heavy. Low carb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like... I forget what the brand is or what it's called, but there's some sort of pasta, uh, which is just like, it's a low carb pasta, which also has like whole grain. Oh God, I'm fucking hiccuping again. Damn it. Why? Why am I like this today? Ugh. Ah, much better. But yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. About four cheese pizza? Nah, fuck that. Put some pepperoni on that bad boy. <laughs> I don't care how many different cheeses you put on it. That's still just a cheese pizza. That's boring. Well, if, if you have nothing else, cheese pizza is okay. But put something on that bad boy. Put some pepperoni. Put some chicken. Put some bacon. Put, I don't know. Um, Olives. Mushrooms. Tomatoes. Onions. <sighs> If you have enough stuff to make cheese pizza, you should have some other things to put as toppings. I need the meat. Hell yeah. Pepperoni is just so perfect for that. It cuts through so much. Onions and peppers. Hell yeah. I like putting onions on pizzas and mushrooms. A lot of people don't like, like them too much, but I feel like they really add a lot of flavor to them. Especially like red onions. Oof. Red onions on like a barbecue pizza with chicken. So good. Sorry, um, distractions. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have something good tonight. I just can't remember what it is. I don't think it's... I just genuinely don't remember. I'll find out. There's something in my fridge that I was ready to prepare. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fund, Secret Life of Adar. I hope you have a wonderful evening and please rest well. I dare you make us hungry. Everybody always talks about like, oh, food chan, stop talking about food. It makes me hungry. And it's like super late in my time zone. I'm responding to things in chat. You can't blame me for that. <laughs> they literally said they had sushi and sake and then uh, said they hoped I had something good tonight. I'm going to have something good tonight. I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> Kushami, thank you for donating the food funds. If I'm not feeling well, I go online and look up possible causes. Oh, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Trust me, everything will lead to like, oh. Hiccups that often rains and one of them is pregnancy. Maybe that's why I'm playing Mother Simulator. Maybe it's all been revealed now. Or maybe. Maybe I've already had my baby. Who knows? Who truly knows? Also, my computer almost died when I loaded up this animated GIF. Holy shit. I think that one's a bit too heavy. I should probably turn that into a WebM so it's less heavy on the computer every time I load that up. But yeah, I, I somehow I don't think I'm pregnant. At the same time, you'd probably know if you were pregnant for like a couple of different reasons. <laughs> Normally you find out before just like random things. I just want the food posts. I mean, it's probably next week. that we're, Well, is it next week? Let me check the days. Ninth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By the end of next week, we'll probably do our monthly membership post. I'll probably post some new uh, food things that I've done in that, as well as some other stuffs. The usual stuffs. I'm not pregnant. Am I pregante? Am I pregnate? Am I pregabagadunt? Am I pregrantu? Am I your pregrant? I love that video. Kit, thank you for donating the food funds. My little siblings constantly 
Hiccup you. Whenever anyone has hiccups. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> so I unintentionally said hiccup you now. That's adorable. I like that. That's as good as bless you anyway. Because I mean, it has the same level of any, anything else. It's just like, oh, you got the hiccups. It's okay. Take care of yourself. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. And I hope you have a lovely evening, Kit. Thank you for the hiccup you. <laughs> Have you seen the song version of Am I Pregnant? I have not. That sounds hilarious. I've only seen the dramatic reading where some guy like went through all of the like wiki ask things and was just like reading them in like a dramatic voice with the like, Am I pregante? Am I pregnant? Is it possible you pregnated? Stuff like that. As a song version? Yeah, I gotta look that shit up. <laughs> Surikula, thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah. Atsifutan, GG, and have a good day. Thank you. I'm glad you were here. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well and take it easy. Look up Lubalin Internet Drama Pregnant. Thank you. I'll have a look for it later. Love that vid. Let's go. <laughs> Bee Cream, thank you for donating the full funds. Yeah. Do I for the stream? Foo. The story is definitely getting more over the top, but it's been really entertaining to chill and watch. The ragtime piano accidentally killed me. Yeah, I, I can't with the ragtime piano. The ragtime piano just made that whole experience so much more fucked up. That and then also that next boss that was just like not killing a day off for some reason. I had to kill as many of my own party members as I could with Squall. <sighs> Meanwhile, fucking Pio-chan absolutely destroying my party. And then there's that giant boss that looks terrifying that can't even hurt me for some reason. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for donating the food funds. The story definitely continues to get over the top, but I, I still love it. I remember some of the beats that are coming up like really crystal clear. It gets wild. Like Now that we've hit like the lunatic Pandora kind of region, shit's... I'd like to say shit's got to hit the fan, but it's more like shit hits the fan, sprays all over the walls, covers the entire room. There's just no going back from this point. <laughs> I just, there's one point coming up where I'm just like so ready for it to be there. So without spoilers, I could just start shouting a certain phrase. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, B-Cream. Have a lovely evening. Miss Jerry Lolia. FF7 used to be my favorite, but I think eight is going to top it. Get it? Because eight is higher than seven. Lol. Thank you for the stream, Fuchan. Six out of ten. <laughs> I will give you a six out of ten for that. You could have worded that better if you really wanted to make that a joke. If you ah uh, top it, you could have gone like I don't know. I think eight is greater than it. Like that would have been a bit more mathematical, <laughs> grammatically correct, but ah. Uh, it's good enough. Good enough. But seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's why six is afraid of seven. That's true. <laughs> One hundred percent funnier from your reading. Nah, it, it was good. It was good. It was a six out of ten. It just could have been better. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Want someone to find a way to make a seven, eight, nine joke? Why does Final Fantasy VII keep getting all the remakes while nine has been completely abandoned by the wayside? Because seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, eight's been abandoned by the wayside too. And six. Why did 10 get so many sequels? Well, 10 got one sequel. Why did 13 get so many sequels when none of them were particularly enjoyed? <laughs> That's my question. Okay, we've actually got quite a few super chats to go through from earlier in the stream. It was a surprising amount while we were playing today. So thank you for donating the foo funds. 10 just has 10 too, right? Yeah. 10 just has 10 too, but then 13 had like 13, 13 2, and then 13 lightning returns. I thought 13 2 was okay. I never even went for 13 2. I wasn't a big fan of 13. I, again, that's another one where it had some nice moments. Like I still remember very clearly Snow, Snow's date with Sarah. I can't remember whether he proposed or whether it was just a date. But the fireworks scene, like that shit was beautiful. Um, didn't even remember 13 getting sequels. That's the thing. <laughs> like, I played to the end of 13, and then I was like, wow, they made a 13 too? I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm good. I'm good. Cloudines, thank you for donating the food funds. Um, Mr. Ovid, sir? C can we get Archan's foot size and chest width, please? 
Uh, maybe his blood type while we're at it. Greetings from Totally Not Silly Sheep. No. No. I may do foot size. The rest of that is way too deep. Holy shit. Chest width? Blood type? I don't even know my blood type. <laughs> I, I've donated blood before. They've never told me what blood type I actually am. Um, so I have no idea. Hip measurements? Big. <laughs> Big. Yeah, you know what? My chest size? Extra large. Extra large. What are you, cloning Folga? Maybe they are. Maybe that's their plan. Maybe they're trying to steal my identity. Who knows? Should be on your donation card. I didn't get a donation card. I mean, I donated in the UK, so it might be different between the UK and America. Um, but yeah, when I donated in the UK, they didn't really give me anything. It was like a mobile blood bank kind of thing. I just went in, I sat down, they took blood. I was interested in finding out what my blood type is and they never told me. <laughs> so it is what it is. Achan bra size reveal. Double deke. No, that would be Dopio. That's a fun joke for Dopio to make. Um, nah, I can't make a fun joke out of that. That's boring. <laughs> Shit. I'll give you my chest, waist, hip size. But I won't. But I won't. <laughs> anyway. Sudakula, thank you for donating the Fufan Zeth. Morning, Fuchan. Gamba, and good luck. Have a good day. Thank you, Sudakula. I hope you enjoyed the stream today, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here. F cups, though, that's too big, though. You guys have seen the silhouette. I I'm getting a little bit thicker, but I am not getting like bara mode. Like saying F cups is just silly. <laughs> D cups is one thing. You can make that joke, but like going beyond that is really like, eh. Uh. <laughs> Shimomi, thank you for donating food funds. Happy Niji Sanji Day. Oh. 2024, 3 4. Ah. Okay, I kind of got that. That's adorable. Although nobody ever puts the. Yeah, first. <laughs> but I like that. Niji Sanji Day. Honestly, I wish somebody had told Niji Sanji about that. Just so, yeah, we could celebrate it. The silly way. But thank you for the huge donation, Shimomi. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the stream today and I hope you have a lovely evening. I can't believe how long it took us to get Tomberry King. I was honestly scared by at one point that we just weren't going to get him. <laughs> Uh, hey, that's cute. Or is it? We have to wait 10 years for an actual Niji day? Yep. We have to wait for the numbers to go all the way back around. <laughs> they say tall people have big feet. Just confirming. Oh. Is that what they say about big feet? Is it now? <laughs> I can tell you I have big feet. I think I have size 13 US. Either size 13 or size 12. I, I literally have to check my shoes each, uh, each time because I wear like whenever I buy shoes I I normally only have like two pairs of shoes at once I have like one formal pair of shoes and then I have one comfy set of like hiking trainers kind of things that's it that's it I'm not fashionable whatsoever well right now I have nice leather boots as well so right now I have three but I very rarely wear the leather ones <laughs> can't wear them hiking I can't wear them when I'm just chilling. I can't wear them to formal events. So yeah, the boots are more like just when I'm doing something flashy, which is very, very rare. They get worn about the same amount of time that I use my cologne. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, normally in life, I have only ever had like two pairs of shoes anytime within my life. <laughs> and yeah, I normally wear those for like a year and a half to two years before I have to change them. So it's like... By the time that happens, I normally just have to look in the shoe and be like, what, what size am I again? I know I'm either 12 or 13. It's one of one or the two. <laughs> God damn it, but I don't know which. <laughs> 46, that's large. Is that 46 European? That's the thing. I've never used European sizes. They seem weird because they go up high. But in the UK, they always had like child sizes and then adult sizes. And the numbers were always just like, I, I forget whether it's either like one small or one bigger than American sizes. But yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. It works out pretty easy. You're bigger than me. I'm size 10 or 10 and a half in US woman's size. There's a US women's size? I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. Jesus. But no, I do have big feet and big hands. And broad shoulders. But I won't say anything more than that. 
what I will say is that people that make those comments about like, <laughs> you know what they say about big feet. And I mean, I joke about that as well. I did it the other day where I was like, <laughs> you know what they say about men with big hands. It's not true. It's not true. It really is a case by case basis. <laughs> it really fucking is. <laughs> Shiki MSHTS. Thank you for donating the food funds. Woo, Tomberry, infinite wealth. Infinite wealth. I don't feel well. I got a lot of chef's knives. I'm pretty sure I can probably mod those into something. I just didn't really look into it. I know chef's knives are useful for something. US gets women in men's size is complicated. I knew like women had like dress sizes. They make it so easy for men. It's like, are you a small, a medium, a large? And then there's like all kinds of extra larges and extra smalls. And then there's like boy sizes. I just, yeah. The women's size thing is just, whoa. So many numbers my brain <laughs> i guess we have to do that when we like get suits or like dress shirts and even then like, you normally have to get them fitted after bam ba bam usually women's size isn't quite as long as men's sizes that makes sense I and mean, i guess it depends everybody has like different sizes that's the thing as well like even with shoes you can get like different sizes when it comes to the width as well like i prefer to get extra wide shoes because i can use normal shoes like they're perfectly fine but I just like having a bit more free room to like wiggle my feet around just a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, normally it's either a, whether it's 12 or 13. If I could find 12 or 13 and then I think it's like EW after the thing, then I'm like, yeah, <laughs> big old feet shoes. <laughs> Do you know your feet size is the same as your forearm? That does not look correct. My forearm is very long. My foot is nowhere near that size. What? Are you trolling me? Is this some sort of joke? Is this... That's true. Wait, what? That's not true at all. I was going to say, I'm looking at my forearm right now. It's fucking massive. If I had feet this big, I would look like a Disney character. It's true for me? Huh? It can be close. I don't think mine's even slightly close. I've never measured my forearm, but just looking at it, that's fucking huge. I don't think that's right. For me, it's true. Yeah, it's actually test now, sir. I am not that flexible. You're expecting me to what? Lift my leg high enough to, go to like put it against my forearm? I can't do that. Can I find anything that's about the same size as my... Ooh, my water bottle might be as long as my forearm. Heel to toe, but... Oh. Heel to toe versus elbow to wrist. Yeah, my water bottle is about the same size as my forearm. Okay, fuck it. Let's see if my water bottle is as big as my foot. Oh, shit! My feet are fucking huge! Holy fuck! That is apparently... I mean, yeah, it's pretty close. I can't say if it's like the same through measurements. But my water bottle is almost the same size as my forearm, which is apparently about the same size as my foot. When I look at my forearm, it looks fucking huge. What the shit? Is it just because your feet are further away from you? I never thought my feet were that fucking big. <laughs> what the hell? Now you're making me feel weird. I mean, I've always known I had big feet because they're just like the numbers and stuff. But man, they're as long as my forearm. Shit. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man now i can't pick my water bottle up <laughs> okay i'll get it later it rolled under the table <laughs> what size shoe do you wear oh i said earlier it's either a 12 or a 13 i don't know one of the two now you know yeah that shit's crazy knowing is not half the battle in this case in this case it's just like wow fuchan you have crazy big feet now i just feel weird <laughs> me sitting there being like yo if my feet were as long as my forearm i'd look like a disney character apparently not what the shit it's like bent elbow forearm though it's not like wrist to like bottom of elbow it's like top like curl of the elbow to inside of wrist if you get what i mean it just feels weird that doesn't feel right anyway I was so against that when it was first said. <laughs> and yo, well, yeah, okay. Chicky MSHTS, thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> poor Zell. Yeah, poor Zell. 
Was this when I abandoned him? Or was it when he was being bullied? I don't know. We had a lot of reasons that Zell might be poor. You gotta learn weird anatomy ratios for art. There's so many of them. That's crazy. The size of your foot is the distance of your middle finger and thumb. Huh? The size of your foot is the distance of your middle finger and thumb. It's all in Da Vinci's golden ratio. Well, that can't be right because that's way smaller. That's tiny. If I had feet like that, I would just look like I had hoofs. <laughs> like, that may be more like the size of my ankle rather than the size of my foot. Minus toe. Maybe, maybe it was just explained wrong. I don't know. You spread your fingers and hand span for me. That's too small. Yeah. Like even if I do like hmm, baby finger to the edge of thumb, like top of baby finger to the top furthest of thumb. I mean that. Yeah, that's shorter than my forearm. Probably not too far off though. Maybe they meant stretched out. Even then, like forefinger to thumb, no nah way. Baby finger to thumb, if completely spread out, it's closer. Like, like that's not quite as long as the inside of my forearm. So I don't know. Kind of close if you have wide feet. Oh, is it about width? If it was about width, then maybe. Like in that case, it would probably be like closed hand, baby finger to, well, you said pointer finger. I don't even, my brain. I don't know. I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> We're talking about fingies. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> I've learned some weird facts about anatomy today that I've never thought about before and that now make me feel very uncomfortable. Still staring at my forearm like, fuck, that's huge. Is that what people see when they, like, get close to my feet? I mean, they don't feel big when I'm, like, six feet away from them. <laughs> But yeah, if you get that close and it's that fucking... That's insane. Oh my god. Um, uh, Shiki MSHTS, thank you for donating the food funds again. Oh, and two more times in a row. I went from Dr. Seuss four years prior to this. You went from Dr. Seuss to FF8 within four years? Actually, I think I did as well. <laughs> I think I started reading when I was about three. I was reading like Kipper and Emily... Uh, Keep Kipper and Emily books? Um... So yeah, very basic books. I don't think I ever got into Dr. Seuss's and Bibi. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy VIII probably came out just before I was 10. So yeah, about four to five years separation as well. This hurts my brain. Yeah, this is the secret knowledge that artists have because they need to be able to draw these things. <laughs> I, I was so sure. Like when people said forearm, I was like, nah, no nah fucking way. That's some Disney proportions kind of shit. I talked so much about it. I was like, nah, it's bullshit. It can't be. <laughs> you know, I feel dumb. Okay, well, that that conversation went in an interesting direction, especially considering that came just from like people being like, what size are archivists' feet? And it's like, I don't have to think about it too much because I'm like, it's my feet. So <laughs> I am six foot three. I have either size 12 or 13 feet. I'll check that for sure tomorrow. I'll check the inside of my shoe. You thought it was BS, but got your mind blown? Yeah, it's, I guess it's just a perspective thing. Your forearm, even if you put it as far away from you as possible, it still look big and long. <laughs> Whereas your feet, I mean, I guess, yeah, you don't even see the ankle much. You mainly just see from the front. <laughs> Wolf Cub, thank you for donating for funds. My little, says, my little cousin says, hi, Tofu. He's too. Hi, Tofu. Hey, hope you're having a good day. They should not be watching the stream. We, we go into some very messed up things. <laughs> but you don't want your cousin's first word to be like, cack, do you? <laughs> or NTR. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh Tufu. Oh, ha oh, hi, Tufu. Got you. Tufu. <laughs> hi to them. But yeah, don't let them watch, watch the stream. This is definitely like an average 18 plus stream. <laughs> Apple F, Bigfoot. God damn it. <laughs> It's big feet. No, that's hairy feet. Wait, what was it? Harfoot. Harfoots. It's harfeet. No, maybe it was hairy feet. I don't remember. I need to rewatch Lord of the Rings, clearly. I'm forgetting all my quotes. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah. M. Jane Lim, thank you for donating the food funds. No message. Was there a super sticker? Nope. Thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely... Proud foot. Thank you. Uh, thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening, M. Jane Lim. It's Proudfoots. Yeah. Yeah. He's going through all the names and he's like, Proudfoots. And they're like, Proud Feet. That's a funny moment. 
Bum, bum, bum. A scene in Fellowship. Yeah, it's very early in Fellowship. LOTR watch along. I mean, Alira already did one. <laughs> well, I, was, uh, I guess we could do the extended editions. Those are fucking long, though. They're like four hours a piece. So that would be like one movie per stream. Would not be like... Um, I need to get my water bottle back. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I will make the effort. <laughs> I will bend my body. Mm. Ah. But yeah, I won't, like, I won't be like Link Click where we just go for like a full till the end, which took forever. <laughs> I was like, it'll take like four hours. It's 12 episodes. They're about 20 minutes a pop. They're more like 25 to 30 minutes a pop. It took like six and a half hours. It was pain. <laughs> Still gonna do it again for Heaven Official's blessing though. <laughs> Kasumi, thank you for donating the food funds. I do. I had fun watching it. I would like to try FF. Yo, Final Fantasy is really good, especially since a lot of them you can get like even on mobile or other kind of um, portable devices nowadays. So you can just bring them around with you and just whip them out whenever you feel like. So I hope you. Sorry, I got a random. Oh. <laughs> I hope you do enjoy them. Thank you for donating the full funds. I hope you do get to play them. Eight is my favorite. A lot of people, seven's their favorite. Um, people really love pretty much from six to ten, and then fourteen. <laughs> Some people like twelve. A lot of people like fifteen. A lot of people think it's break completely broken. Sixteen was really good, <laughs> and then the remakes of seven are really good as well. Well, remake of seven was good. I haven't played Rebirth yet. We'll see. Ah, bam, bam, bam. But thank you for donating the food funds, Kasumi. Arigato gozaimasu. I hope you're just waking up and you weren't awake for the whole stream. <laughs> but either way, either oyasumi or have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here and please rest well. 13 just gets no love. I mean, I've shared my thoughts on 13. I'm not a fan. It has some good moments, but I mean, I've even talked about the fact that good moments are enough for me to enjoy something, but it doesn't have enough good moments compared to like all of the it feels like you're on rails for a lot of the game like the first i think like eight hours you don't get any choice to go any other direction it's just like run through these corridors or on these areas that look like they'd be open but you don't get to actually go anywhere it just it doesn't feel like a final fantasy it feels like you're on rails just going from place to place what about the ff goat jack garland Honestly, I would play Strangers of Paradise. <laughs> if we had permission, that's the thing. I would not devote myself to that offline. But for the fucking memes, I, I would play that online if we had permission. Because, <laughs> yeah, he seems even more tuny than fucking Squall. And that's saying something. I've seen some of the cutscenes and the man's just walking around like, I hate chaos. I'm here to destroy chaos. I'll do anything to end chaos it's so dramatic i forget what i think there's like some scene where um his, a ringtone is going off and it's like a really nice piece of music and then he turns off the music and he just says something along the lines of i hate that i, I forget no i forget what he says but oh was it they put music on he bullshit and then he listens to new metal was that it was it like he was listening to some part of the story and then he was just like Oh shit. And starts playing like heavy metal music in his ears. <laughs> Either way, I forget the scene exactly what happened, but that shit was hilarious. Crystal Chronicles has some of my favorite music. I liked Crystal Chronicles. I feel like Crystal Chronicles led to FF14. I feel like that style of gameplay, those two connect in my mind. I feel like anyone who likes 14 would like Crystal Chronicles as well. It was a fun time when I played it. But I, I can't remember most of it whatsoever. I just remember like what I do remember of it is like running around green areas and doing some shit. And I, I just I connect that so much to some of the instances in 14. A girl gives like a really heartfelt speech and he goes, oh shit, and pops in earbuds and walks away. Wait, was the new middle was the new metal music edited in then? Does he do you not actually hear the music? Because man, if that was edited in, they did that really well and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> It may have been edited, I don't know. Uh, Toby TVC. It's literally... Oh, it's literally in there. That's literally what they do. Oh my fucking God. I love that idea. I love this Square Enix. We're just like, hey. It worked for Final Fantasy 7 and 8 and 13. <laughs> we had an angsty, edgy protagonist and everybody kind of fell in love with them and agreed, hey, this is a fun time. Why won't it work? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Okay, Toby TBC, thank you for donating the funds. When I worked in special education, I saw staff help SMA students who were unable to stand to measure heights. They will measure the length from the left middle finger. Left middle finger. Go over the back to the right middle finger. Oh, you mean to check like arm span? I'm definitely not going to do that. That would require a tape measure. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If it requires a tape measure, I'm sorry. I'm too lazy. I don't think I even have a tape measure in my house. <laughs> that's why when somebody was like, what about your chest width? I was like, when the model comes out, I don't know. Measure it against like Luca's titties. Um, it won't be nearly as big as Luca's titties. Um, but yeah, like measure it against like other streamers. I, I, you should be able to figure out roughly things. Arm span. Wait, is arm span height? No, I don't mean that, sir. Do -do -do. Length from the left middle finger. Go over the back to the right middle finger. Well, that should be arm span, right? Just another fact. Oh, are you saying that's that? Oh, okay. So you're saying that, yeah. Arm span is essentially the same as height. I didn't know that. So the fact that I can touch both sides of my closet means that I could also not stand in this room if it was sideways. <laughs> if it was sideways. If gravity suddenly turned sideways, I wouldn't be able to stand up in this room. I'd have to crouch. That sucks. <laughs> Arm span is usually height. Some people have a longer... Oh, fuck. That does make sense. Because I don't know much about the golden ratios, but I do remember... Da Vinci's, is it the Vitruvian man or something? The something man. It's in a circle. So yeah, the arms are like outstretched. The legs are outstretched and it's in a perfect circle. So I guess that would make sense that like, yeah, it's the, 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 not the radius, not the diameter, not the circumference. Oh, is it the diameter? Diameter. So the diameter, yeah, is always the same for like arm span and height. Interesting. Vitruvian man. Oh, it is Vitruvian man. Thank you. I, I never looked into like those ratios and stuff. That is fascinating, though. That is fascinating. The circle man. Yeah, the circle man. <laughs> okay. Cool fact. Thank you so much, Toby TBC. That's sick. You can also find this out if you make your own cosplay. You see, I made... Uh, I, I'm more customized cosplays. I, I've talked about the Sasuke one, so I could talk about that. Like, yeah, I just, like... Got a fucking blue polo shirt. <laughs> Hot glued <laughs> the thing. Hot glued like the extra collar on top of it. So it was more of like a rough, loose turtleneck. And I had to make like the silly little arm things he has as well. With like the blue bands at the top and the bottom that just go over the forearms for no reason. Yeah, that kind of shit. <laughs> you cosplaying all the edgy boys? Now, surprisingly, I never cosplayed Squally and Hot. Even though I had a uh, replica gun blade. I was just, I don't know. That didn't work for me. Sasuke, I mean, I was obsessed with Sasuke for like two years. And then I got over Naruto completely. <laughs> I remember being into Naruto. And then that got replaced by Bleach in my mind. And then somewhere like, I think the Quincy arc, I dropped Bleach as well. And somewhere between all that, like I was a big Shonen fan when I was a teenager. Which makes sense. That's what Shonen anime is all about. But yeah, I went from like Naruto to Bleach. Somewhere in between there, I was watching Full Metal Alchemist, the original one, not Brotherhood. Um, can't remember what else I watched around then. But yeah, I did a Bleach cosplay. But I'm not going to tell you who. Because it was a weird one. <laughs> You're being obsessed with Sasuke. Sasuke is surprising. Nowadays, I don't like him. I, I don't dislike him. He's just not a very interesting character to me. Which is weird, because, I mean, I still fucking love Squall. <laughs> He's, yeah, they're both, like, very angsty, edgy boys. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you learned all the hand signs for Sasuke, too? You kidding me? Katon! Go Kakuna! Yeah, I can still do the fucking Katon Go Kakuna Jitsu. Why does my brain remember these useless things? <laughs> I think that's, like, the only one I knew, though. I don't know, like, any of the other weird ones. You told us before? Oh, shit. Did I? Oh, fuck. See? This is what happens when you've been streaming for two years. You start to run out of stories. I need to live a more interesting life. <laughs> Shiki, oh wait, Shiki again, thank you. Laguna indirectly debuffed safer in the future with that stance and sword play. Yeah, honestly, it's more of like a fencing stance, which you wouldn't think would work with a rapier. Oh, a rapier, with a gun blade. The way school holds his, like the dual handed thing, looks like it would provide much more power and stability. But safe is all about looking badass and being a chevalier, being a heroic romantic knight. Good for him. Good for him. 
Okay, that was the final super chat. We're all caught up. Unfortunately, I can't do Streamlabs during these ones. I'll be, I'm going to do Streamlabs um, on Zelda. So we've got two more days. And then I have to catch up on like five days worth of Streamlabs. <laughs> so I'll finally go through those in two days. I think we have like five days to do. I'm very sorry about that. Oh, I told you about Hitsugaya. Okay, yeah. I cosplayed Hitsugaya when I was young. That's embarrassing. That's definitely one of my <laughs> weirder moments. That wig was such a fucking pain. Oh my God. Uh, that, that was when I swore I would never wear a wig again. I hate wig caps. I hate styling wigs. I fucking did it with basically super glue. It was not good. Shit went bad. Shit went bad. <laughs> Toshiro is so fine. Toshiro is a cool character. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a guy is a sick looking character. If I could turn back time the way that alone could, I would have bitch slapped myself across the face and been like, Fuchan, no. This is going to take you way too much time and it's not going to look great because you're not great at being like a seamstr seamster. Seamstress? Did you say seamstress? For yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Whatever. And making clothes. <laughs> it's the guy who's my favorite Bleach character, so base cosplay. I, yeah, I still like him as a character, but yeah, it was, it was an odd time. You may hire. Thank you for donating for funds. You know, I've never thought about how relaxing it is to hear you ramble about literally anything. I really like listening to you talk. I'm happy, happy, chippy, chappy. Thank you for donating the food funds you may hire. And I'm glad to hear that. I saw that thing posted on Twitter the other day where people were trying to list like the... Oh, because it was because of fucking Shu-chan. Shu-chan posted a, like, a, who are your top five most yappy people in Nijisan GEN? And I saw like for a long time in the beginning, no one mentioned me at all. And I was like, really? But I'm the one who does, like, even when we do gaming streams, we do, like, two to three hours of Zatsudan after every one. <laughs> I think just most people don't know that because most people only know me, like, from collabs. Like, <laughs> I'm more known from collabs with other people. And in collabs, I'm, like, one of the more quiet and... Res well, I get... It depends on the person. It depends on who I'm hanging out with. Sometimes I'm very chatty. Sometimes I'm just, like, I support other people in the collabs kind of things. Whereas, like, Voxy... Yeah, even in collabs, he is 100% still <laughs> very, very vocal. Also, yeah, I wanted to apologize for that the other day. I realized I spoiled. <laughs> I spoiled the fact that Foxy was in, was somewhere. I'm very sorry about that. I Yeah, when I mentioned like being called at 6 a.m. and then later I accidentally mentioned who it was that called me. And then that's why I got angry and like quiet after that for a few seconds. Because I was like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And then he showed up at the smash thing, so it wasn't so bad. It was like, okay, I only ruined it for like half a day. But yeah, I felt so stupid about that. That was such a dumb moment. I don't think he was trying to hide it or anything either. It was just like, yeah. I was like, oh, do I, I don't think anybody knows that yet. Fuck. Um, so yeah, my bad. But that's why I suddenly like, I was talking about that story and then I was just suddenly like, oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's one of the rare moments where it was like actually Folger Holland, where I gave away something from somebody else. <laughs> What's done is done, Fu. Yeah, it's just so dumb. Because I can normally defend myself and be like, ah, I don't actually spoil things. I just, you know, I like to, to like hint towards my own things. I am very careful about keeping other people's secrets. But that time, yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> I'm glad nobody really called attention to it much, but man, uh, it is what it is. But yeah, it was a very nice call yesterday. That's yeah, because I was I was also worried after that that like people would think I was because I got like a little bit defensive at that point and went a bit more quiet as well after talking about being called at 6 a.m. So let me make it very clear. That was a very lovely call. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> I had a fun time talking to everybody for like a good two hours. Woke up at 6 a.m. and was happy to do it. <laughs> but yeah. That's why I got like very silent after that. I was like, Fuchan, you fucking idiot. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for... Wait, did I finish talking about the yappy thing? Yeah, I think it's just because like, depending on like which collabs you watch, uh, if you watch me in collabs with certain people, like I'm just quiet. I just support. I drop a joke here or there. I try to like hype other people up. I occasionally say some dumb shit or some cursed shit. But yeah, I'm not like super talkative. Whereas when it's just me and you guys, yeah, we, we talk for hours about all kinds of crazy shit <laughs> like snag snag dragon yeah like snag dragon said you were live when i went to sleep and you're still live when i wake up yeah that's going to be pretty much all of this week <laughs> monday to thursday we're just going to do long streams every day 
And then Saturday and Sunday, they'll both be pretty short. They'll both be like... I think they'll both be about three hours. Mother Simulator might be like three hours of gameplay and then like an hour or two of Zatsudan. But yeah, the, the actual like Archivist reveal debut, that won't be super long. Well, I say that. It depends on how much I Zatsudan after. <laughs> I mean, I'm planning for it to be about two to three hours. We're going to have like one hour of doing like the normal... Um, going through like people's predictions for the outfits and like I don't think I'll reveal it I think I'll reveal it after enshrouding because yeah then at the one hour mark we're going to do enshrouding we're going to do like a live reaction and then I'll do the proper outfit reveal Um, and yeah I'll make it fast I won't take like 30 minutes to get from toes to head I'll, I'll, I'll make that take like 3 to 5 minutes because <laughs> that shit always makes my mind go insane but then, yeah, we'll talk about, like, the arc of his story, and then we'll just start Sudan for a while. Um, so I'm expecting that all to take, like, three hours? And then, yeah, we'll see if, like... Yeah, I mean, that includes the Zart Sudan kind of thing, so... It just depends on how long the Zart Sudan goes. But roughly two hours, like, on either side of that, plus, like, an hour or two of Zart Sudan. So not a super long stream that time. Unless I get stunlocked. <laughs> Unless I'm just so excited because people are still like sending lots of interesting messages and we just keep chatting for hours and hours. We'll see what happens. You know me. I talk about like being there around for 10 minutes and then stay for another hour. It is what it is. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds you may hire. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad to hear that you like be just rambling because what i do that's what i do i never come into these streams like oh i have a great story to tell or like oh this will be a really funny thing to do i'm always just like i'm gonna play some games and then i'm gonna chat we'll see what happens <laughs> anyway shiki of shts oh again thank you for donating the food funds quick mention but tomberry is part of a money exploit oh okay i didn't know that i mean they're easy to farm in that one area as well as long as you don't kill odin i'm pretty sure once you yeah, okay, we knew it was Odin. I thought that was a spoiler for a second as well. I was like, wait, do people know that's where Odin is? And I forgot, it literally says, I am Odin every time you enter the first there for the first time. It's the GF, that's the X point. Oh, the Tomberry King, okay. I mean, honestly, you never really need money in FFA. Unless you get like 99, you want like 99 of every item from the shops. Like, money basically grows on trees in FFA. You can just literally walk around and you get your salary. So, yeah. He wouldn't shut up, shut up about himself. Yeah, he went for a long time. <laughs> we, oh God, we played that area for a while now that I think about it. We ran that 20 minute countdown down a few times. At least it was at three times speed. <laughs> but yeah, he kept just yapping. Odin's the ultimate yapper. Let's be honest here. As soon as you show up, he's like, who dares disturb my rest? I am Odin. Are you to challenge me? Literally spawns money or will exploit if you get smart with the abilities. That's what I mean. Like, I can feel like you can exploit pretty much anything in FF8. They just let you do it. They're fine with it. <laughs> They're like, hey, if you know how to use our mechanics against us, this isn't an online game. There's no kind of, like, online economy. Go nuts. Break it. Fuck around. Make your own kind of adventure. Like, if you want to make the game hard, you can just power level so that every enemy you encounter is level 100. Or you can just keep yourself at level 1. That can also work too, depending. Depending. I mean, with junctions, that can still be a problem. But yeah, you could essentially just make your own difficulty. Like, if I took off some of the junctions that I had now, the game would be fucking hard. Especially the strength ones and the HP ones. Oh, dear God. And we still haven't completely broken the game. There's still better things for powering up your strength and your HP. Um, and we definitely have the cards where we could get like a couple hundred of things. We could have gotten like 300 triples. Was that only 100 triples? I think you can get a hundred. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get 90 triples on disc one. So look at how crazy our health is now because we finally got triple. You could have done that on disc one. <laughs> That's how crazy it fucking goes. The special island. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Felt so smart when I figured it out at age 12. Oh, yeah. It's always cool when you figure... Especially if you figure out something naturally. If you don't look up a guide and you're just like... Hmm, I wonder if this thing will work. We've been streaming for seven hours? That can't be right. We have been streaming for seven and a half hours. I thought we were just hitting the six mark. Um... Fuck. <laughs> ah, yeah. ah, cute. Thank you for donating the food funds. 
Puchan's anatomy lesson funds? Thank you. I, I don't need to know anatomy. As long as people create sexy characters, I can appreciate the sexy characters. I don't have to know how to draw them or know how they actually work. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening, Kit. Thank you so much for being here. Please rest well after this. But yeah, I should head out. Um, like I said, tonight, I'm going to set up the enshrouding premiere. Um, so that'll be Saturday at 11 a.m. EST, one, a one hour into the Archivist debut. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to set up the actual Archivist waiting room until the day before. Because I don't want like three essentially live streams all sitting up at the same time. But yeah, I'll get the new enshrouding thing up. Um, the new video isn't much different from the old video. So don't expect to see anything new. It just like it has some things changed um, for reasons. With that said, we're going to head out for the day. We'll be back tomorrow for more FF8, actually. And now that we're done with the card game, <laughs> this was just a really fun day. <laughs> like yesterday after I finished the game, I was like kind of broken mentally. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I hate the fucking card game now. <laughs> Why does the random rule just not get abolished? So yeah, now I feel much more chill about everything. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Today was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Sorry my internet crashed for a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. more FF8 tomorrow, Zelda the day after, and then probably the FF8 finale the day after, and then a day off where I get to collect everything up and prepare everything, and then archivist, baby, and mother simulator, and I should really post that membership post, well, actually it makes more sense to do that on Friday, I'll post the membership post on Friday where I ask people like which particular games from like a certain list people would be most interested in. Sorry. I'll stop yapping now. Shut up, Fuchan. Thank you guys all for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I had a wonderful time. I've already said it multiple times. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a lovely evening, everybody. <laughs> As always, do not be led astray. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm starting to feel a bit like I am going senile. <laughs> Thank God we have the archivist model coming out because then I'll have an excuse. I'll finally actually look like an old man. <laughs> I'll be able to be like, oh, my marbles aren't as good as they used to be. I know I've already said about what we're streaming tomorrow three times in a row, but uh, it's just my age. It's just my age. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, everybody who joined the membership today. I forgot we had an old man Fuchs animo. That's adorable. That one doesn't get used to often. <laughs> okay. Thank you to everybody who joined the membership today, including Sleepy J, Feli the Sleepy Sheep. Hey, there's the Sleepy Sheep. Maru Maru, thank you so much for donating five gifted membership to the sheep pile. Rhonda PG, Ayato P, J, uh, Na Naki Kitsune, Afim Macab, welcome back. Kendra Braton Fairy VTuber? Oh, sh sorry. You told me ages ago not to read the full name. Just say Kendra. <laughs> Kendra, welcome back. <laughs> Kanami Skelly. Um, I, I might have pronounced that wrong again. I remember you tried to correct me last time. Sorry. <laughs> Pearl Uplight. Lorax Jung, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Think I came too late? <laughs> Okay, please let me make it clear. I'm not making fun of you for that comment. It's just, we get that comment so many times when we're doing our outro. And it's so funny to me when people are like, am I late? Or wait, did I show up late? Oh no, it's the end. And I'm like, it was a seven and a half hour stream. <laughs> that's, that's like a third of a day. So it got a little bit late. <laughs> so yeah, not making fun of you. I just always find that hilarious when I see that at the end of the stream. I hope you enjoy the VOD, or we'll catch you next time. Thank you for being here. Sorry we're heading out now. Ginger, welcome back to the membership. Kami, welcome back to the membership. Alone19, J Stray Dogs, Mikaya Raw, Hope Schmidt, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. That's so sweet of you. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well, and thank you so much for being here. MJ and Lim, thank you so much for the gifted. I hope you have a lovely evening. Is this what it feels like to hear an inner monologue? Pretty much, actually. This is how my voice sounds in my head. That's why I have audio listening on this. I really like when I put the echo or reverb. It's reverb rather than echo. <laughs> but I like hearing my voice with reverb. It sounds like how I do in my head. 
noise when I don't have reverb. It doesn't sound right. I hate my voice. <laughs> but with reverb, it sounds slightly richer. Slightly easier on the ears. <laughs> Mian Fung, welcome back to the membership. Chick Zama. Ipilin. Um, oh, Amane Hibiki. Oh, I started reading that name slowly and then I remembered. I've read that name a lot of times. Amane Hibiki, welcome back to the membership. Riz. Shiki. To translate this one. Um, Zhu Lin Lian. And finally, oh my god, Lala. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership. At midnight last night. Wow. I don't, I don't think, I think I barely put out the waiting room by that point. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the gifted membership, Lala. That's so sweet of you. Welcome to everybody who's new. We're going to have a new membership post next week, but probably not till the end of the week. But if you are new, be sure to check the membership tab because we've got like a lot of like exclusive songs, wallpapers. I really haven't done a membership stream in a while. Um, I should fix that. I was thinking as well as doing um, Heaven Official's Blessing Watch Along. This probably wouldn't be anytime soon, but I've been really wanting to rewatch Proposal Dai Sakusen, uh, the J drama with Yamapi. So I think I might do a watch along of that if I can find some sort of official source to watch it on. Um, but that's my favorite J drama of all time. And I don't know. I've been wanting to rewatch that again soon. I thought, hey, maybe I'll do that on stream so I can share another one of my favorite things with you guys. That's nostalgic. Yeah. It was the first time I heard the song. Shisana Koi no Uta. I couldn't remember the name of it at first. I was just like, I could hear the song in my head and I was like, what's the actual name of it? But yeah, I love that song. That song's so good. I can't remember if the J drama's good. <laughs> I remember loving it, but I'm like, is it going to be good when I actually get back to it? Or is it one of those things where it's like a nostalgia thing? I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> Love that song so much. It's so good. It's such a good song. That drama in general had a few good songs. But yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll watch that as a live reaction someday in the future. It's a classic. I like Yamapi. Nicole Navs, welcome back to the membership of the Final One. Looking forward to Archivist debut in a shrouding. Thank you. But with that said, we are going to head out. Let me see if there's anybody to raid today. Although, at this point, I'm less crazy about having to raid every day. It's just, yep, nobody. <laughs> at this point, it's just like, if there's somebody on, we'll raid them. Otherwise, woof. <laughs> everybody have a lovely evening. I'll be back tomorrow and the day after and the day after and not the day after. And then the day after and the day after will be Archivist. So, <laughs> as always, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun. Sorry I've been in such a weird mood today as well. I feel like I've been just saying a lot of random shit. I'm not even sleep deprived today. Just very chatty. I don't know why. <laughs> as always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. And yeah, I'm so excited for the Archivist. Maybe that's part of it as well. And I love FF8. There's a bunch of awesome things. And a lot of awesome things over the next couple of months you guys don't know about yet either. Bye-bye!